Welcome to Stark's Saturday Matinee. Please park your vehicles in an orderly fashion. Terrestrial vehicles should be parked closest to the screen. Hover cars are to remain six feet above the tallest vehicle in the lot. Starships are to maintain no less than 200 feet above the area and not over people and other vehicles. Do not partake in any libation not registered to this planet and timeline. Despite what Mr. Stark says, he is not the president of the world. Refrain from attempting to access Mr. Stark's stash unless given the permissions by myself or other persons with clearance and authorization. Officials from Xanadu are to use the teleportation grid from the Hollow Earth to the locked coordinates. Space dolphins are prioritized to tanks provided adjacent to the main lot with unobstructed view. Do not feed the polar bear. This stream is not meant for children, there will be crude humor, references and language not suited for individuals under the age of 18. All songs are parodies or under public domain and not meant for commercial use. The song and footage of the introductory parcel is reserved to their respective trademarks and is not intended to capitalize upon. Respect your fellow chat members, wrenches, and Mr. Stark himself. And have fun. The year is 2024. The world of pop culture is crumbling into a new dark age. Disease and poverty run rampant. In a world scourged by desolation, radiation, pollution, and despair. But hey! Don't let that spoil your day! Take a vacation! Are you literally dying to go on vacation? Well, now we're here to make your dreams come true with a visit to one of many of Stark of Iron's vacation wonderlands. Built by the sweat and blood of those same oppressed lower classes, Tony Stark has made his paradise die like gemstones on the bikini crust of our sad little dying world. Aren't you glad you can afford it? Call now! Operators are standing by. Why, hello there, and happy St. Patrick's Day to each and every one of you. I hope you got your green on today, because we are going to be having a few drinks, having a few laughs, and having a little pre-game show, just in case his lordship at the Hollow Earth wants to go on at around 4 o'clock today. Yes, this is, odd, oddly enough, going to be a show before Doomcock. Usually I like to do these after Doomcock, but uh, here we are. This is a membership celebration St. Patrick's Day special. And we're going to split this three-hour stream up into two parts. Uh, first part's going to be a little matinee, a little, little song and dance, a little transcript reading. And then halfway through the show, I will be busting out the link for everybody that has a working mic to come up and just hang out with me while we get ready and have a few drinks and shoot the shit a little bit. So uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and welcome 
everybody to the show. We will start up here with Scarlet Fever. You are first to the fight. That's right. You get to kiss the Blarney Stone first. And I'm so glad that you uh, are enjoying at least the one emoji. I, I, after, after this show tonight, in between venues, I'm probably going to work on a couple more. Good to see Canadian Spider-Man in the house. Hail to you, my good fellow. I hope your life is good up there. It all, it looked nice yesterday uh, What when I caught of the uh, Lego build over there at Steve's. It looked really nice out there. No snow, nice and sunny. Looked nice. Hail to Jeff Wyatt, my uh, executive board member, my primary investor, and a good friend. Hail to you, sir. We got Sailor Outlaw, Georgie Shock. If everybody want to go ahead and share the stream out. We are giving away memberships, most likely. Most most likely, people will be buying memberships. <clears throat> we are definitely um, definitely celebrating the fact that everybody's got their green on today. So yeah, you never know. Somebody might make you wear green. Make sure that your uh, your gifts are on your YouTube are unlocked, so that you can accept the gifted membership. Should uh, any one of our generous patrons want to give out uh, free four leaf clovers for you all. We got Legatus Legion I, usually first to the fight, last to leave. It is good to see you, kind sir. Hopefully your day is going well. And, of course, we got Nilla Wafer, our resident uh, Alice Thor and Bill Cypher fan. She says, I do have my green on. In fact, I just got a Starberry Shortcake shirt on right now. If you make an Alice Thor one, I will be using it 24-7. Oh, I absolutely will. I'm going to probably have like a... Like, uh, I was thinking about, like, putting, like, uh, Edinburgh or General Electric or Philco Radio, uh, make it red, shrink it down, and put that in there. Uh, that way there isn't too much in the way of uh, copyrighted material or, or or the face, the smiling face, just the, with the backdrop. Hey there, Suzanne Eckstein. How are you doing today? We are celebrating St. Patrick's Day with memberships. Oh, won't you take me on down, on down to memberships. Hail to Radioactive. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, he was a very, very generous uh, gifter of the uh, memberships yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday. No, it's the day before. Sorry. Things are being blended together. I've been drinking a lot. And we're going to have a few drinks on the air today, but just a couple of beers. Nothing serious. Just because it is St. Patrick's Day, and you got to have a beer in every hand. And a boot in every ass, just as Red Foreman intended. So uh, we went. It's okay. It's okay. You might get one. You never know. We're probably gonna have some generous patrons here. Everybody, just share the stream out. Let everybody know we're here. Let everybody know that we are doing this thing. And I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start things off on the right foot and uh, sing some songs from the Emerald Isle. How's that sound? Let's just go ahead and get everybody with a glass in hand or any form of libation. I will go ahead and... Child, honey, cat, you know better. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with something upbeat, something well-known. little West Kai in the jar for your lads and lasses tonight. And speaking of which, right off of the gate, we have... Radioactive gifting us 20 Stark of Iron memberships to this channel. That's how you get your green on. Yeah. See how many people are wearing green now. There's Suzanne Eckstein right there wearing green. And she's Irish as well. Hail to the lovely Cherie. It is good to see you. See? See? We're already getting our green on today. We are getting our green on, and that is awesome. Let's just go down the list. And just see who was uh, gifted these memberships on this fine day. We have Suzanne Eckstein, first, first one to get one, was gifted a membership. Welcome to the Shield Agencies. We also have Andy Morrow, James Caserta, Felix Haas, Sci-Fi Mombi, Wendy Trauma Warrior, John Hancock, the Tetrarch of Apathy, Canadian Spider-Man, Boosh McFadden, Point Curation, Jake Martin. I have become deaf, Destroyer of Worlds, Rocco the Brave, Scott Hall. Suzanne Eckstein, Canadian Spider-Man, I'm Irish, okay. Uh, R.N. Feliciano, Apex Comics. And uh, yeah, we got Sci-Fi Nation, Rancor Steve, You're a Muslim Uncle, Skogli Yotun, and uh, yeah, so guess what? We've uh, got 20 memberships right there, straight off of the gate. Now, if everybody's got, listen, nice, lovely sea of green. Now, now we're getting our green on. This is fantastic. 
let's go ahead and actually start out with a good song for us. And uh, again, in about an hour and a half, maybe a little less, I will be opening up the panel for everybody to just come up and have a good time and uh, get ready for if DC wants to do a stream tonight or not. Um, he said if he was going to do one, it would be at 4 p.m. Central, which is 5 o'clock Eastern. So this is basically the pre the pregame at the tower instead of the post post game at the tower before everybody goes to the castle if he's opening up the doors to the castle later on this afternoon. So let's go ahead and sing us a song. <clears throat> As I was a going over the far famed Kerry Mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced me pistol and then produced me rapier, saying stand and deliver, for he were a bold deceiver. Busha ring, dum a doo, dum a da. <laughs> Whack for the daddy o, Whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey in the jar. I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. I put it in me pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would deceive me. But the devil take the woman for they never can be easy. Musha ring dum a doo dum a da. <laughs> Whack for the daddy o. Whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. I went unto me chamber all for to take a slumber. I dreamt of gold and jewels and for sure it was no wonder. But Jenny drew me charges, and she filled them up with water. Then I sent for Captain Farrell to be ready for the slaughter. Musha, ring, dum a doo, dum a da. <laughs> Whack for the daddy o, Whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Twas early in the morning before I rose to travel. Up comes a band of footmen, and a likewise Captain Farrell. I first produced me pistol, for she stolen away me rapier. I couldn't stand to shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken. Musa, ring dum a doo dum a da. <laughs> Whack for the daddy o, Whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. If anyone can aid me, tis me brother in the army. If I can find his station in Cork or in Killarney. And if he'll go with me, he'll go roaming through Kilkenny. And I'm sure he'll treat me better than me own a Spartan Jenny. Busha, ring dum a doo dum a da. <laughs> Whack for the daddy o. Whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. There's some that take the light. In the carriages are rolling, and others take delight in the hurley and the bowling. But I take delight in the juice of the barley, and counting pretty fair maids in the morning, bright and early. Musha, ring, dum a doo, dum a da. <laughs> Whack for the daddy o, Whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Musha, ring, dum a doo, dum a da. A whack for the daddy o. Oh, whack for the daddy oh, there's a whiskey in the jar. Whiskey in the jar, ladies and gentlemen. And we shall keep this green comment up for just a wee bit longer. Thank you once again, Radioactive. You, sir, are a very generous leprechaun who has much a coin to share with all of these fine folks here today for my St. Patrick's Day special. So, let us continue with the fun. I do likes me a little bit of fun. Let's see here. Let's see here. And of course, requests are always open. Uh, Susan Eckstein says, I grew up with listening to the Irish Rovers music. Ah, TARDIS materialization coming in from Jason Love. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Eden Globra. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hail to your Jason Love. I hope you are doing well, sir. Hope you are doing quite well. I hope that everybody is having a good time today. And hopefully, um, <coughs> I wanted to do <coughs> much in the way of edits. My voice is already given out from, I've been partying all day, folks, but uh, the party's still going. I love the St. Patrick's Day weekend. So let's go ahead. Hear that, folks? Have oh, ourselves a beer. I drink more beer, probably at this time of the year than I do all year round. And the reason why is simply because you got to drink your, you got to drink your beer. 
I do have a bottle of Tula More Dew on standby closer to the end of the show. Before we wrap up, I will probably uh, pour myself a tumbler on ice of that as well and share with you all and wish you all a great and wonderful St. Patrick's Day. I'm happy to start this in the afternoon because I'm sure everybody's got parties to go to. We're going to go out and get smashed later. You know, wake up and, you know, face down in a ditch going, where the fuck am I? You know, <laughs> just like the good old days. So cheers. Anybody who's drinking and getting their pregame on, we are doing that as we speak. So have a drink on me. Mm. A little yingling lager. Tried and true. Good beer. Let's go ahead and sing ourselves another tune and we'll go ahead and sing a classic because i really don't want to blow my voice out let's see here let's go let's go with uh yeah i am a kentucky boy at heart so we gotta we gotta we gotta sing ourselves a little homage to the coal mines now <clears throat> down here, Morty. Oh, Alistair's probably going to get drunk today. Oh, yes, absolutely. He will definitely be under some serious libation uh, later on. We will probably have some uh, drunk Alistair for you all because all it takes is just one glass of wine and he's to the he's to the roof. He don't drink a lot. He's kind of a lightweight, you know. So here we go. <clears throat> This is a song by Tennessee Ernie Ford, and I love this song very much. It uh, takes me back to, uh, you know, my roots a little bit. So this this goes out to anybody who likes to live down here, down south of me in the holler. Oh, come all you young fellers so young and so fine. Seek not your fortune in a dark, dreary mine. It'll form as a habit and seep in your soul till the stream of your blood runs black as the coal. Where it's dark as a dungeon, damp as the dew, Danger is double, and the pleasures are few. Where the rain never falls, and the sun never shines, it's dark as a dungeon way down in the mine. Well, it's many a man that I've seen in my day, like a fiend with his dope and a drunker away. A man will have lust and lure, oh, so fine to bring down his hands way down in the mine and pray when I'm dead and my ages shall roll that my body would blacken and turn into coal. Then I'll look on the door of my heavenly home and pity the miner who's digging my bones where it's dark as a dungeon and damp as the dew a danger is double the pleasures are few where the rain never falls and the sun never shines it's dark as a dungeon Away down in the mine. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. I still got my bear tone with me, I think. Way down in the mine, indeed. So, yes, cheers to everyone that has come in. Ray Lucard, our resident necromancer, is not wearing green yet. Kind sir, apprentice necromancer, you must, uh, you must, you must dress up in your green. Yeah, maybe one person might be able to donate you that green suit, yeah? Well, let's continue with another song. And this song is a very fun one. I like this one. And it actually spe speaks volumes <laughs> on what's going on in the world today. Um... 
Right now, we are suffering a lot of turmoil. Um, this song by the Crown City Four was a civil defense spot hit. And for those of you that don't know what a civil defense spot was, uh, you're not going to voice by uh, by the evening. I won't, but you know what? I, I go back to the main job tomorrow, and that job doesn't involve me needing to talk much. So, uh, hail to Jedi Bill in the chat. It's good to see you. But yes, Suzanne Eckstein, I, I, I want to celebrate with you all. I've been partying, partying nonstop, baby. Partying nonstop. Welcome, one and all. Uh, but uh, this song definitely speaks volumes to our political status in the world and how I find just that sick humor in it. You know, uh, the, the bombs could go off at any moment. And you know what? We just want to be with our friends and our family when that happens. Um, kind of like the theme of Nuke York and all, you know, making light of an apocalypse or post-apocalypse. Hail to Miskatonic Madman. It's good to see you. You sung Irish songs today. I started one. Probably start one for a couple more too. Little gallows humor, absolutely. Because at the end of the day, we all we all have to eventually climb up that boot hill and swing. And we will be swinging tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. It could be uh, down the road. But we'll all swing eventually. So cheers once again. Mm. This little ditty by the Crown City Four. Well, at least. Warm the cockles of your heart with a little atomic fire. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Watch World War Three on pay TV. Television can be such a thrill. Sitting home in your chair, watch the boys over there charging across your TV screen, getting blown to smithereens. Watch World War Three on pay TV. If you want to keep the kids at home, they'll be glued to their sets, watching rockets and jets, blowing up schools and factories, putting an end to the birds and bees. It's worth every penny to tune in and see bum bum bum. Who wins the Emmy at the ruins of the Academy? Watch World War Three on pay TV before your television melts away. Think of the close-ups on the screen. Find a face you know. Isn't it better than Bishop Sheen? Better than the Late Late Show? Watch the boys from your hometown fighting wherever they are. Watch the cities falling down. It's greater than Jack Parza. Bum, 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 bum. They're out setting up the cameras now. Though they don't know just where, still they got to prepare. Merle's there to do his part. Waiting for the war to start. See the da 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 da. See the hydrogen bomb explode. As those mushrooms appear, you'll be sipping your beer. Cheers, zooming in with the zoom our lens. Watching as the whole world ends. It's worth every penny to tune in and see. Bum bum bum. Who wins the Emmy at the ruins of the Academy? Watch World War Three on pay TV before your television melts away. Before your television melts away. <laughs> Jack Parr. Did you just reference the Jack Parr show? Cool. Never saw it. Yeah, Jack Parr is awesome. Little before my time, but I do I do like listen. I do like watching those old broadcasts. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a retrophile. You know, there's just something about there's something about going back. And looking at some of the founding things that uh, we uh, we've gotten accustomed to, you know, that we find silly now in retrospect. But it was a simpler time, and there was there was a camp to it. There was a camp to it that that was welcoming and unique about those old broadcasts, uh, radio, television, uh, respectively. That I just can't get enough of. That's why I like Fallout so much. Um, is because it makes nods to that um, Americana, that that nuclear family era, American dream, picket fences, boatmobile vehicles, you know, just, just really, 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 really. Mikey Seussforce says, uh, Tony, sing when Irish eyes are smiling as Dr. Evil for St. Patty's Day. 
Well, I, I kind of want to sing that one as myself, but we can get we can get Dr. Evil on here and do that for you. Absolutely. Suzanne Eckstein says, Stark, my 15-year-old boy is like that. Anything and everything retro, he's into it with his uh, it's his autism. Ah, so he's got that, he's got that focus, that pinpoint focus that uh that autists have that that where they just they they latch onto a subject that they that they affiliate themselves with and they become savants with yes uh canadian spider-man says do you think that someone would do you think ever think what someone would think from the 1800s could put them in front of the guardians of the galaxy i don't know man um if someone from the 1800s was put into i mean there's well let's look at it this way there was somebody from the 1800s it's the, oh, Jesus, if I could fucking think today. <laughs> wow, I've only had one beer. What the hell? There's an episode of The Twilight Zone where uh, this scientist was experimenting with a temporal displacement device where he sent somebody back and brought somebody from the past to take his place. And that person from the past just happened to be an outlaw from the Old West. And he was introduced into the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas. So you take somebody from the 1800s and just put them in 1950s Las Vegas and they're going to lose their shit. So if somebody were to get abducted by like the Guardians of the Galaxy or, and, and like frozen and then like thawed a hundred years later, they, they I mean, the there's only so much culture shock one could suffer, you know, like. You know what I mean? So. Uh, let's see, I like how I have a hyper fixation on Sailor Moon. Of the four, of the five sailors, uh, which one? Which one do you affiliate yourself with, Noel Wafer? Are, are you are you an athlete like Jupiter? Are you a nerdy chick like uh, Mercury? Are you just are you Sailor Moon herself? What, which one do you relate to? Okay, uh, huh, I meant. Uh, what do you think of the Guardians of the Galaxy? The movie Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, anybody from the 1800s has never seen a picture show besides like the very 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 early i think there was a 18 like late 1800s picture show it was silent theater oh yes what kitty sing sing song um but uh yeah we we need to get a rotary rotary dial phone <laughs> If they were to sit down in front of the Guardians of the Galaxy, they would just think that that stuff was happening happening to them in, in real time, truly. Um, to be quite honest. All right. Yeah, silent films were around then, like late, like the picture show. And we got Wes Cagle with a $20 super chat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Says, congratulations on those memberships, which, by the way, did not create themselves. And just a reminder that these super chats also aren't going to read themselves. Yes, Wes Cagle has become the town crier. He is literally going extra, extra. Read all the super chats. Read all of them. Read all about it. Throwing out them papers for everybody that wants one for a nickel. Thank you, Wes Cagle, for the generous donation. You, sir, are fucking awesome. All right. So I suppose we should go ahead and uh, get to when Irish eyes are smiling up. For Mikey, <clears throat> when Irish sighs are smiling, yes. You want me to do this as Doctor Evil? I don't know if I can squeeze my larynx that good, but here we go. All right, here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's yours truly, Doctor Evil, and I'm here. At the behest of Mikey Susie Four, to bring unto you an Irish ditty by the by the title of which is "When Irish Eyes Are Smiling." It's a good challenge, and I, I'm I'm going to definitely definitely regret it in the morning. <clears throat> so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, Mister Stark. We'll be able to survive. I guess it's the reason why we're having a reactor side chat here in about an hour. Yes, we're having one in about an hour, folks. So if you got a good mic and you got a little extra time and want to pregame with me and just shoot the shit, we are splitting this special up into a matinee reactor side chat double feature hybrid uh, for uh, y'all's enjoyment. Ah, everybody just likes to mow the lawn at, at this time of the day. Another reason why I like broadcasting at night. Could you not? Christ. <laughs> 
<laughs> it got dogs barking over at the neighbors. Man, the quality, the audio quality of this stream must be absolute shit balls. All right, let's go ahead and sing. When Irish eyes are smiling, go ahead, Doctor Evil. When Irish eyes are smiling, short is like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, our the world seems bright and gay. Hello. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. Jesus, that is difficult. <clears throat> when Irish hearts are happy, our the world seems bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, Sure, they'll steal your heart away. Yeah, yeah, it went down in some Kermit territory. Well, I gave it, I gave it a shot. <laughs> I'm about to go rake and burn the lawn now. Yeah, is it still nice up there, Mikey? You're, you're trying to murder my voice. You, you, you did it. You did it. You did it again. Uh -huh. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and um. Center my voice with a little. With let's go back down to the key of A through C. Center it uh, with a little crooning, and I think we're gonna go with a little Frank for you all, and uh, re re get our center. Uh, this is uh, this goes out to my uh, good friend from New York. Um, a uh, great job. As long, well, if you think so, I thought I thought I, I screwed it. I thought I botched it. But hey, uh, here we are. <laughs> but if you think so, if Mikey says I, I did a great a great a great cover uh, with Doctor Evil, it's T-shirt weather day. It's T-shirt weather here too. It's nice and warm in March. You know, another uh, the another sign uh, that the uh, world is uh, quickly uh, becoming too confusing to live on anymore, and it might just end. Yes, you hear kitties. You probably hear puppies from the neighbors and people mowing the lawn. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Sing a little bit about New York. And this goes out to my friend in New York, uh, Admiral T. <clears throat> Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes are longing to stray right through the very heart of it. New York, New York. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep and find I'm king of the hill, top of the heap. These little town blues are melting away. I'll make a brand new start of it. In old New York, if I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York, New York, New York. I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps and find I'm a number one top of the list king of the hill a number one these little town blues are melting away I'm gonna make a brand new start of it in old New York. 
can. If I can make it there, I'm going to make it anywhere. It's up to you. New York, New York, New York. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A little bit of that New York, New York. We're making out of New York with this one. <laughs> The song is such a classic. I agree. And, you know, got to give a shout out to Gil, who told me, hey, lose the training wheels. And by that, the training wheels in particular are uh, uh, the karaoke tracks. Um, I feel like due to monetization and due to managing my copyright dings, I've been thrust into... Taking the training wheels off by default, and I hope that uh, my singing is still on key, at least for the most part, and is relatively enjoyable. Um, I do kind of like having the band, but uh, as Mish ha Mr. House Party would often uh, make anecdotal uh, remarks, uh, you would you would be you would be a a a, a detriment to the band, and I think Miskatonic Madman might have said something about that too. Um, <laughs> the band would hate me. <laughs> I, said, I, 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 I will not disagree. <laughs> raising, a, uh, raising a glass to Gil. That's right. Cheers. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the parting glass, uh, for not just, uh, Gil, but for anybody and everyone who has been lost. <clears throat> and, uh, then we will, uh, probably do a transcript reading to bring everybody's moods back up. And then we will have Alistor come on. Can you tell us about the wildest, the wildest St. Patty's you've seen? Well, shit. Um, the wildest St. Patrick's party that I've ever thrown would probably be the wildest one that I've ever attended. So I did, I did attend this college party. A bunch of like you know kids that thought that they could out drink an old man like myself, and I had to teach them the business. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I did keg stands at that one. I, I guess. Hey, Kronos, it is good to see you. I guess if I had to talk about the wildest St. Patrick's Day I've ever had, it probably would be the one where I brought a half gallon of Cat and Morgan uh, 100 proof spiced to a house party. This is a college party. And I had my helmet on, and uh, I, I was slinging drinks and entertaining folks. We had, we had people there wearing, like, weird shit, too. Like, it was fucking wild. Kids party nowadays. They they party. They, they they are insane the way they party. Like, you know, these college kids, you know, they party, dude. I'm not going to lie. And, like, I remember this one chick. I was sitting on a couch. I had my helmet on. I wore my helmet. And, and she was telling me a story. And she was thinking that I was somebody else. And I kept telling her, I says, honey, I think you're talking to the wrong guy. I'm not that guy. And she's like, shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> and so I had to listen to her go on. Um, let's see. Here. I'm out of town, so I'm listening. Hail to the Ginger Menace. It's good to see you. To our friend, uh, but uh, going to say who it is. Uh, if you can't figure that one with him, then I'm not saying. Um, do you know how to sing St. James Infirmary Blues? Hmm. Hmm. Well, not yet. Give me a week. I'm going to go ahead and actually pull up my song list. 
because I have some Greek songs that I'm supposed to learn too for Dionysus Larson. And uh, let's see here. Documents. Super chats. Oh, where did I put it? Where did I put you? Snow in the parking lot. <laughs> I could sing that one and get away with it. That ended up being very funny. But I don't know where did I where did I put you? Songs to learn. Did I put it in YouTube stuff? Yes or no? There they are. Cat, stop. Oh my lord, they're fighting. So we got the St. James. Infirmary Blues. And you want the Elvis version or the original version, Mary? Do let me know. We got that saved for you. Good to see uh, Andy. Morrow, hail to you. Hail to Tim's talk. Good to see you. Happy, th happy St. Patrick's Day. If not, I will be learning it. I should have one queued up for next week for you. Um, I actually got a couple songs I got to learn, Mary. And uh, that is now on the list. The list is getting bigger and bigger every day. Uh, but yes, cheers to Apex Comics. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Uh, hail to Tim's Talk and Kronos. Wes Cagle says, I gave the husband hotel another chance. And though the first episode turned me off, the season of the whole was real good. And had some really good songs. I particular, particularly like it starts with "Sorry." I knew you'd give it another chance. But yeah, the 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 first episode was very. Uh, the, when you when you have a pilot and then you have five years and a totally two different studios, there's details that are, uh, you know, missed in the middle. Oh, I do have green armor. I have some very powerful green armor. Um. I'll show it off for just a wee bit. Um, one second. This is what I saved the universe with last night. This is the Squid Buster. Uh, we're up to the Mark IV. Um, we had a lot of fun at Friday Night Frolics. And uh, Heather L. And, and Rob Wright. And everybody started getting on my last nerve so i busted out the squid buster and uh with the help of susan dolan's cyber bobcat brigade and uh trevin lane and sb4h and big daddy mri and all those fine folks there at the castle uh we we saved the day uh it was real fun but uh my thumbnail has a green suit on it too the squid buster yes the squid buster mark four runs on infinity stones and uh, mim mimics the uh, eldritch energies that radiate from that uh, field uh, whenever we save the world at Friday Night Frolics over at Doom Cox. I mentioned this because I was wondering if you had planned on making any of those songs part of my repertoire. Uh, e yeah, we could probably uh, sing one right now if you'll give me just a second. Let, uh, let me play uh, us a commercial, and then I'll do Stay Gone. This will be the first time that I've done it without a karaoke track. But, uh, yeah, let's do a little Stay Gone. So after these messages, I'll be right back. What's this unsightly blemish? Oh, rust. When you're a machine in an organic environment, rust happens. But it doesn't have to happen to you. Now there's Rust Away. Simply have your Fix-It Crab rub this gel on the infected areas. You'll have relief not in months or days, but hours. Soon the atmosphere will be a thing of the past. Until then, there's Rust Away. Ask for it by name at your replicating unit. Who is this who enters unannounced? You know damn well who. I am fat. For hire. Uh, the legendary Fet for Hire.
For thousands of years, Americans have looked for answers to life's difficult questions. Now, millions of people just like you are finding answers and taking charge of their lives through the original patented and proven program of Valhalla's finest deity, Thor. Treasure awaits you, but beware of your women, folk. Treachery is deep within her. By the coming of the spring, she shall be no more. Thor changed my life. Author of two best-selling self-help books translated from the original runic into 25 languages, Thor has helped millions realize their dreams. Beware the trap set by the frost giant. Carry your magic hammer. Available on record or cassette, the personal Norse power program looks to the myths of the Vikings for answers. Can you give my husband and I some advice to help keep things hot in the bedroom? Take a longboat and 20 of your finest men. Head to where the sun sets. There you will find a village. Pillage, plunder, and burn all that you find. And if you order now, you'll receive Thor's subliminal tape series, so you gain wisdom of the gods while sleeping. Accept the crystal cup. At the feast, beware the dwarf. Thor's personal Norse power program. Call now. 866-PILLAGE. That's 866-PILLAGE. The Admiral says they're communicating with every ship to make sure they have the proper equipment and the sailors are trained in case something like this happens again. On ABC 10 News at 5, the Admiral shares some of the stories of heroism that he heard about after meeting with those sailors. Come on, don't bullshit me. Spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that Everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Uh, there, <laughs> and there, as you saw, as we promised, an exciting end to the Starship inaugural integrated test flight. Hey there, everybody. It's your buddy, Admiral Teague. Hit those like and follow buttons for my pal Tony Stark and check out my show Saving Star Trek Fridays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time. Testing, testing, one, two. It's Alistair the Radio Demon in the house. Do I sound okay? Let me get a double check from the confirmation. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, then. <clears throat> so, I had a request for State Garden. Uh, so, uh, Wes Cagle goes out to say, uh, Yeah, sorry I put a veto on your veto of the song, but as you know, I'm a member of the Let Harvey Out to Play party. And there's people like you that we just don't approve of around here. <clears throat> so, yes, I believe uh, the request was for State Garden, if I'm not mistaken. So, by all means, let's do that now. <clears throat> the fucker's back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for two. It's been seven years! You still pissed he almost beat you that time? Aw, oh, fuck you! Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of things now. Welcome home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows there's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on! Camera speed rolling in. Three, two. Welcome to the show. Top of the hour, and we're discussing a certain has-been who's been spotting cavorting around town. Welcome to the show. After a seven-year absence, anybody miss him? Did anybody notice more tonight's program? So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? For what does that mean for you and your family? Well, handily, I got good news. He's a loser, a fossil. I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. You can take that as gospel. Pulling my viewers impossible. I'm visual. He's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I'd hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. While he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where he's been, who gives a shit? Salutations, it's good to be back on the air. <clears throat> See this rejoice, what a dated voice. Instead of a clout chase and mediocre video podcast. Come on, is Fox insecure pursuing a lure? 
Fitting between this fad and that is nothing. Working and Norris chirping every day. He's got a new format. You're looking at the future. He's the shit that becomes for that. It's Fox as strong as he purports. Or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other bees. Oh, please. And here's the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Hold on. I said no, and now he's pissy. That's the tea. You old timey prick. I'll choke you something. Uh-oh, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its races run. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Foxy Poo. There you go. Good day to you all. <clears throat> Did that uh, satisfy you, West Kegel? I certainly hope so. But while we are here, while we are here, hmm, do I do my dad jokes now or later? Well, you can always do them now and get them out of the way. Of course I can! Absolutely! So, by that means, let's do some dad jokes and get everybody excited! Ha 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 ha! bad feeling is gonna not end well. And now we have come to the dad joke segment of the show. I hope you all are ready to really get your cringe on. If your ears aren't bleeding, we haven't serviced you properly. That's the Alastor guarantee. Now let's go ahead and get down to business. How old are leprechauns? Uh, I don't know, Alastor, how old. <laughs> old enough to remember when rainbows were black and white. Do leprechauns like to eat leftovers? No, they prefer left clovers. <laughs> What's a leprechaun's favorite dessert? Uh, I, I don't know what. A shamrock shake! <laughs> what did the wolfhound say on St. Patrick's Day? I, I don't know what. Kiss me, I'm Irish! <laughs> that was pretty good. We'll give you that one. Happy St. Patrick Patrick's Day from your favorite pup. That's right, good old Alistar in the house. What did the overgrown plants say on St. Patrick's Day? I don't know what. Pinch me! You know, we really need to start, you know, cutting back on some of these jokes. Yeah, they could definitely use a little lawn care. How about I prune the dad humor? Perhaps we should just leave it up to maintenance. <laughs> uh, who was Cinderella's date on St. Patrick's Day? I don't know who. Pitch Charming. <laughs> How do you pay for your green beer on St. Patrick's Day? I, I don't know what. With a leper coin! <laughs> God. Why did the leper coin? <laughs> Silence, quiet you! Uh, settle down! <clears throat> Why did the leprechaun say no to a bowl of soup? He already had a pot of gold! <laughs> what does the leprechaun order at a coffee shop? I don't know what. Green tea! Oh, God, Christ! <laughs> it looks like we got some tomatoes from West Cago. 
We got ourselves another row of coal. Oh dear. What's going on here, Kronos? Um, I would hope that, uh, everyone, everyone get along. Or else I'll have to get mad. If people cannot get along on my stream, I might just have to show you. One more dad joke. Let's get back into the positive set of things, yes? <clears throat> One more for the road. What do leprechauns bow when the weather's bad? I don't know what. To make a rainbow? Oh, my lord in heaven. Okay, I think we're done with the dad jokes. <clears throat> um... Yes, Kronos, I'm looking at you. I will be quite honest with you, my good fellow. If you cannot behave yourself, then I will have no choice but to wrench out your soul and broadcast it for everyone to hear. <clears throat> Are we clear? I have a guest at the door. Who could this be? After these messages, we'll be right back. I'd like to build a world and you can't furnish it with love. Grow mushroom trees and atomic bees and quantum colors. Are you bored? Do you find yourself with nothing to do, wondering what can add some excitement to your life? Well, have you considered models? And we're not talking about any old models, no sir. We're talking about awesome models, not these models, or these. No, we're talking about science, science fiction, fiction models. models. That's right, you heard correctly. Science fiction models. You know, the plastic kind that snap or glue together? Things like Star Trek, Star Wars, Transformers, Back to the Future, UFO stuff, more Star Trek, more Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, both kinds. Well, if you like those things, come on over to the Sci-Fi Model Guy. Just point your internet browser to https colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash ampersand the sci-fi model guy and not only will you be able to see cool models being made but you get to hear this guy explain all about them you have nothing to lose and so much to gain so come on over and let's get modeling Come on to the Sci-Fi Model Guy today! So much to gain varies by user. Critics agree, there is only one human movie that can be considered a masterpiece. Robocop. And now it's available on EEPROM. Download your copy at a replicator near you. Relive the excitement and glory of a human being transformed into a glorious, gleaming, killing machine. Act now and receive at no extra charge. Dozers and dump trucks. A fond look back at our primitive ancestors. Robocop. Dozers and Dump Trucks. Two great programs, one low price. Make them a permanent part of your hard drive today. Greetings, my friends. I am Alistair, the radio demon. I have partook in Husker's libations. That's correct. A little bit of bourbon, a little bit of Irish whiskey, a little bit of scotch. And here we are. I'm inimitated, as it were, my good fellow. And I really would like a friend. 
Basil. Great wine indeed. I do like my wine. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway, I will perform one more song and give it back uh, uh, to 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 Mr. Stark. <clears throat> Canadian Spider-Man says, did you do that yourself, Tony, with the Nuka cola uh, Mr. Stark was part of a program, uh, a mod uh, community for Fauna 4. That is from the Old World Radio Mod. Uh, uh, you want to also uh, give out a shout out to Atomic Wolf. Uh, there's this brilliant voice actor named Eric Huffman, who, uh, if, if memory serves correctly, has an excellent Humphrey Bogart impersonation for his main character, Walter Camry. They are still doing things uh, with uh, their radio program, and I would recommend them uh, uh, severely. So, you know, I, I you know, uh, yeah. So, with that stated, let's go ahead and get back to the fun, shall we? <clears throat> Everybody is wearing their green dapper threads. I almost dressed up in green today, but it does not clash with my current attire. So, hail to Comic Relief Crusader. It's a pleasure to see you, my good fellow. Uh, how are you today? I'm a bit intimidated. I had one glass of wine. I, uh, they call me what a lightweight, whatever that is. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, if that's the best they've got, I might broadcast their screens anyway. But, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he would buy that for a dollar. This goes out to all of the fun individuals that are currently wearing green for St. Patrick's Day. And thank you for the multiple gifted memberships Radioactive. Over the last uh, 72 hours, he has gifted a total of 50 Stock of Iron memberships to this channel. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Give that man a round of applause. Canadian Spider-Man goes on to say, I just put on my shirt from Doolin's Pub in Clare County, Ireland. Best pub I have ever seen. Thank you for choosing us. We will be continuing our radio broadcast for the next two hours, approximately so. Uh, we will be opening up the reactor side chat discussion in approximately uh, 20 minutes or so, 25. So if anybody has a mic, has some spare time, would like to hang out for an hour and a half before Doomcock decides if he wants to go on or not, then by all means, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will fill this room quite up. In the meantime, let's go ahead and celebrate all of these dapper individuals who are definitely putting on their green ritz today. <clears throat> if you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? All putting on the ritz. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes and cutaway coat, perfect fits. All putting on the Ritz, dressed up like a million dollar trooper, trying hard not to look like Gary Cooper, a super duper. Come, let's mix with Rockefellers, walk with sticks or umbrellas in their mitts. All putting on the Ritz, have you seen the well to do up and down Park Avenue on that famous thoroughfare with their noses in the air? High hats and arrow colors, white spats and lots of dollars, spending every dime for a wonderful time. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? All putting on the Ritz. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes and cutaway coat, perfect fits. All putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper, ah, super duper. Come, let's mix with Rockefellers, walk with sticks or umbrellas in their mitts. All putting on the Ritz, dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard not to look like Gary Cooper. <laughs> if you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Oh, putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. 
So we are going to go ahead and pass it back to Mr. Stock now. So one moment, please, while we do that. We'll run a quick ad. <laughs> Why, thank you, my dear. It's always a pleasure to entertain you. Uh, Mary, I hope that you are having fun with your regenerative hot springs. After the stressful week you've had, you'll certainly need it. And if you require anybody to talk to you, you know where to find us. <clears throat> All right. So we'll run a quick ad. And get ready to open up the reactor side chat after a few more songs. And uh, we will see you soon. So thank you all once again for tuning in to the first half of the show. The second half of the show will definitely require long-time listeners and callers. Possibly even a first-time caller or two. You never know. We thank you for tuning in. Messages will be right back. <sighs> I told that moron not to take out my Tchaikovsky tape. No matter, let's get started. Here we are, Nancy Moon. The last time we left our heroine, she had just joined my steam colleagues at level M. We had the soldier who could not stop talking. And the kitchen with the money issues, and the vampire with the checkered past. But there are other teammates she's yet to meet. One in particular might be a little bit shocking for her. I do hope she's not allergic. Back in today, won't you? Like right now. All right, let's go ahead, and uh, I think I'm sounding normal again, aren't I? Let's just double-check that and make sure. I forgot to change my uh, clothes here. One second. Magnificent. All right, give me one second. Uh, I've been waiting, uh, family, but I ate. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to come up, you can, uh, here at the Reactor Side Chat section of the show, if you can. Uh, Mary, we would love to have you. I'll be sending out the link momentarily in the group chat. I'm going to sing a couple more songs before we do. So let's go ahead and uh, swap out the threads here. <clears throat> All righty. Okie dokie. Let's do this. This song, obviously I'm going to get another drink. This song is, of course, The Parting Glass, and I said I was going to perform it. But then Wes Cagle was like, no, 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 sing, sing a has-been song first, and it got me derailed. So I'm, I'm probably going to do an encore. I'm not going to do It Starts With Sorry, but I'm thinking about doing Loser Baby, which is personally my favorite. Um, and also I need to practice my Husker, um, because whenever I start doing the... Uh, it's doing some bits for Radio 616, I want, I want to be able to... Just do some other voices and not just Alistor's, which Alistor's is very much an easy one to do because I can talk like this anyway without the radio filter. Which is interesting because whenever he got his staff cut in half by Adam, he was like, fuck! <laughs> like he lost his filter. Like he lost his connection to the signal because his staff was cut in half. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, we are going to slow this bad boy down. We're going to remember um, lost ones, uh, both uh, near and far, uh, early and and uh, not so early. And we're going to raise a parting glass. I, I poured myself another beer. I got another beer in my hand. Uh, this is the parting glass. This goes out to uh, Cardinal Sin and 
you know, we lost uh, Baron Von Doom. We lost, uh, I think it was, uh, was it not another red shirt? He was, uh, he frequented the chats a lot. I think it was not another red shirt that we also lost. Uh, yeah, hey, Sci Fi Nation, how you doing? But uh, this song goes out to those that are loved and lost um, near and far. Could be a pet, could be a loving family member, could could be anybody. Yeah, just another red shirt. It was, yeah. Just another red shirt, yeah. A lot of people in this community have left us, and it, it's times like this that we got to remember those people. And so it wouldn't be an Irish party if we didn't sing the parting glass and remember those that have was lost. And so we will uh, sing the parting glass now. And then I'll sing one more song. And uh, then we will uh, call it. So uh, just another red shirt. Um, just another red shirt was lost... Uh, few months ago uh canadian spider-man has the exact details on it i know that we lost baron von doom it was son of a red shirt okay thank you thank you scotty good to see you buddy my apologies um i i do need to add serpentius to my voiceovers don't i west kegel alistair is your refrigeration device Currently functioning. Do I even know you? How's that? How's that for you? <laughs> yeah, just another red shirt's okay. Okay. It's just another red shirt. It was son of a red shirt that we lost. Not just another red shirt. So many red shirts. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and sing the parting glass for those loved and lost. <clears throat> it was a little bit like this. Cheers. Of all the money that e'er I had, I spent it in good company. And all the harm I had done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. So fill to me the parting glass. And drink a health whate'er befall. And gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be to you all. Of all the comrades that e'er I had, they're sorry for my going away. And all the sweethearts that e'er I had, they'd wish me one more day to stay. But since it fell into my lot, that I should rise and you should not, I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be to you all. Fill to me the parting glass and drink a health whate'er befall. Then gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be to you all but since it fell into my lot that i should rise and you should not i'll gently rise and softly call good night and joy be to you all so fill to me the parting glass and drink a health where before then gently rise and softly call 
good night and joy be to you all. To all loved ones, near and far, recent or distant, this is for you. Cheers. Good night and joy be to you all. Cheers. Hail to each and every one of them. It is often said that the foundation of a community is made by the sweat of the brow of its people. And over time, the walls line with those who did their portion and made something great. I know that, and this is a phrase that I was taught when I was a lot younger and I was very ambitious and wanted to be the best at whatever I did. Um, I don't know if it's true or if there's any merit to it, but I was told by a friend, uh, one of which that I've lost uh, recently, I was told that when Edison invented the light bulb. He wasn't trying to be the greatest inventor in the world. He was just trying to do something great. And I feel like that's an attitude that we need to wear on our sleeves a little bit more, wear on our faces. Be genuine with it, obviously. Don't just pretend that you just want to do something great. But commit to doing something great. Not being the greatest, not making it a competition, not trying to trounce the other guy or put the other guy down. Just to be great. Uh, Cardinal Sin followed that mantra as well. If it wasn't for him... I wouldn't be broadcasting to you all right now. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be singing without the karaoke tracks. It's... He actually twisted my arm. He said, send a sizzle reel of Rick and Morty into Adult Swim. You never know, they might call you. And I did. It took him a month, but I did. Just be great at whatever you do and know that you will be remembered for it no matter how big you get on this platform no matter how many businesses you own or how well of a job you do this is something my mom told me well back when we used to talk whether you're an astronaut working for nasa or a ditch digger, be the best damn astronaut or ditch digger that you can be. Take pride in your work regardless of its station. And take that home with you when you go home on a job well done. So we're going to have one more drink and then we're going to lighten up the mood. And then I'm going to open the uh, floor up. If you are in the group chat on Twitter X, the link will be posted there. And you can requisition for a link uh, in DMs as well. Uh, if there is conflicting interests, and believe me, there are, then that may not be ideal for me having you on so if there's somebody on that doesn't get along with somebody else i am going to not have those two people on the same panel here recently i've seen a lot of infighting and a lot of uh, a lot of drama and i am not wanting to do that on saint patrick's day especially when i just want to drink and hang out with people so 
there is the disclaimer for that. So it's not 110% open. So <clears throat> let's sing a happy song, call it, and then hang out with you all. And that way, if DC does want to do a stream, and if anybody could let me know that, if DC is is doing a stream uh, at 4 p.m. Central or later, please let me know so that I do not overstream him. This is, in all intents and purposes, a pregame show before that. So let's sing. Let's sing. And I, I, like I said, my angel dust voice isn't as good as my, my um, Keith David, but... Uh, But we're going to try anyway. <clears throat> so here we go. Here's my first attempt at singing Loser Baby from Hasbin Hotel for Wes Cagle so that he gets two doses of Hasbin Hotel content. Yes, you can come on. You can come on. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so let's go ahead and sing this song and then open up a reactor side chat. <clears throat> See if I can do this one. You just got a message for Lord Doomcock. You're doing a new member vid? Do let me know. All right. So let's go ahead. And do this right quick. And also, I know it is St. Patrick's Day. If you have been drinking and you are a little under libation, you know, I have to consider that too whenever uh, everybody is requisitioned to come on. Let's just have a good time. So here we go. <clears throat> So things look bad and your back's against the wall. Your whole existence seems fucking hopeless. You're feeling filthy as a dive bar bathroom stall. Can't face the world sober and dopeless. You've lost your way. You think your life is wrecked. Well, let me just say you're correct. Wait, what? You're a loser, baby. A loser, goddamn baby. You're a fucked up little whiny bitch. Hey, you loser just like me. Thanks, asshole. You're screws loose, boozer. And an only one star reviewer. You're a power bottom at rock bottom. But you got company. It's supposed to make me feel better? There was a time I thought that no one could relate to the gruesome ways in which I'm damaged. But letting walls down, it can sometimes set you straight. We're all living in the same shit sandwich. I sold my soul to a psychopathic freak. Ha! And you think that makes you unique? Get out of here, man. We're both losers, baby. We're losers. It's okay to be a coked up dick sucking hoe, baby. That is fine by me. I'm a loser, honey. A smoozer and a dummy. But at least I know I'm not alone. You're a loser just like me. I got an appetite for gambling. I got an appetite for sampling every drug and sex toy that I can find. Go ahead, baby. Sing that song. Come on. I got the rib host left to deflower, sold my soul to save my power. Now I'm on that demon's leech. I'm trapped in worse with every hour. You're a loser, baby, a loser. And just maybe if we eat shit together, things will end up differently. It's time to lose yourself, loathing. Excuse yourself, let's open, baby. Play your card right, be who you are. A loser just like me. There you go. One more has been hotel song <clears throat> uh, for our good friends. Uh, 
Hopefully uh, you liked that, Wes Cagle. That was my first attempt at it. So hopefully it was good. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I've watched that uh, show a couple times now. <laughs> you could say fuck. <laughs> yes. That's how I know I win. If Wes Cagle is entertained by my has-been content, then yes, 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 yes. Yes, how was my Keith David? Tell me about that, Sanchez. <laughs> Book out of here with that shit, Sanchez. All righty. Well, methinks it's time to open up the reactor side chat. And remember, we're all here to behave. If not, I will get the I will get the radio demon out, and he will broadcast your screams across all of hell for everybody to hear. So that anybody else that double crosses him will be quite cross. Uh, so yes, you are fucking not, and nobody likes you. Sing some Tron. I'm done singing. I'm gonna now hang out with some friends. So let me go ahead and get this link here. Uh, Scarlet, are you on the twit twat? You want to come hang out? Well, you can. Yeah, I saw. I saw. All righty. It is in the group chat. And I'm going to send you a link to Mary Ashmead. If you do get a moment, there it is. Canadian Spider-Man, if you can hold off on the lawn... For just a little while and hang out with us for an hour and a half you can that would be really really good all righty so let's go ahead yeah not on x need me to send you a message uh you're on yes uh if you would did i add you to the group chat Friends are overrated. Friends are nice, especially when everybody gets along. And I have always purported that I will help anyone. Well, if I could temporarily set up the link, okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw the link out for ten seconds. All right. Setting it out in five, four, three, two. Okay. 10 seconds, counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Deleting. All right. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you click it? Did everybody get it? All right. So with that stated, let's go ahead and uh, wait for people to pile in. We'll have Alistar perform a quick song while people pile in. And then we will open the floor to reactor side chat. This goes out to my good friend Rosie, and of course the cannibal colony who has such delectable tastes. Thank you for appreciating my good work, and hopefully you all will tune in to Radio ASRD, Radio AM, 616 AM modulation. And now, some more music. Let's tickle the eye. Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Gosh, all get up. How'd they get so lit up? Gosh, all get up. How'd they get that size? Golly gee, when you turn those heaters on, oh, woe is me. Got to get my cheetahs on. Oh, jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? On those 
weepers, how they hypnotize. Where'd you get those eyes? Shut up, break first. Where'd you get those keepers? Keepers, keepers. Where'd you get those eyes? Oh, gosh, I'll get up. How they get so lit up. Oh, gosh, I'll get up. How they get that size? Golly, gee! When you turn those heaters on, oh, whoa, is me. Gotta get my cheaters on, oh, jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get those peepers on those weepers? How they hypnotize. Where'd you get those eyes? Now I don't care what the weatherman says when the weatherman says it's raining. You'll never hear me complaining. I'm certain the sun will shine. I don't know how the weather main points when the weather main points to gloomy. It's gotta be sunny to me when your eyes look into mine. Oh, jeepers, creepers. <laughs> Such delicious peepers. Jeepers, creepers. I will pluck those eyes. Gosh, I'll get up. Easily I'll kill up. Gosh, I'll get up. Tasty and bite size. Dolly G. When you get your staring on, woe is me. I got to get my gourmet on. Jeepers. Creepers. Don't call me a creeper. All these weepers, when they realize, when I eat those eyes. <laughs> Does you abuse your eyes, my dear fellow? Be glad it's just your eyes. <laughs> And now we are going to begin the reactor side chat segment of the show. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I hope that you all were thoroughly entertained so far. It is now time to reactor side chat. Well, who's playing that? I think Ginger Menace, you got your... <laughs> Mary? Mary, you got your headphones in? Mary. I mean, I'm a fan of an encore. And Jason Love, uh, your devices are not connected. Hail to the Ginger Menace, hail to Scarlet Fever, and hail to Admiral T. How are you guys doing today? Happy Happy St. Patrick's. Yeah, man. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Yeah. I just got back from marching with Dublin. Nice. Nice, nice. Hey, I'm alive. I've been playing Halo all day. I got, I got a match with some fellas tomorrow, so I got to get my Halo uh, skills up to par. Mary. Mary, can you hear me? Mary. Mary, what? Do what more, Mary? Mary, Mary, where have you been all my life, Mary? Mary. By, by the way, the new, yes, the new like to come is... up, Canadian Spider-Man. Uh, links in the in the chat. Wendy Trauma. Yeah, we're you gonna, got a minute we're, coming out. We're, we're gonna throw you down the keys, as we say here in New York. I'm out Hang in the fire on, escape. I'm, I'm throwing you down the keys. Hey, Mary. By the way, Tony, the new the new rule with Mary is we call her Ginger only. <laughs> No, it's a, 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 a little says, talk about Tony, this. Tony, turn your YouTube badge. We're letting her, it go. Her, her, prefer, her preferred form of public address is simply Ginger. Hello. I'm here. Hey, Ginger. Hi, how you doing? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Fun? Oh, Ginger Menace, I'm that? home. Hi, I'm yeah, home. Are the hot springs fun? Are the hot springs fun? Oh, my gosh. So good on my back. But my back, yeah. like, if I get out... This it starts killing again. So <laughs> I've been. Do we have do we have confirmation from uh, Zana Doom that w he is doing a show for today or no? Uh, I went on our um our chat or mod chat and there's nothing yeah. there. So Ooh, there okay. might be a scene in Star Trek me. tonight. 
I emailed him and I said, I said, well, uh, I'm going to do my show early so that if you do do one, we won't cross. Yeah. I actually got a Tony for this. So, Tony. Well, yeah. What? What? You don't what, what? Exactly. Go Dang. asking the Almighty for his ID. I didn't ask him for the ID. I just said, hey, I'm going to do a show. When are you doing yours? <laughs> like, I don't want to cross streams with you. <laughs> what does Doomcock need with a starship? He's got a starship. He's got a good one by Sean Carter. So that, he's, that not, is an he's not show. doing anything. It says, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I was thinking I might do a live stream today, but my voice is still a little banged up from Friday Night Frolics. So, I knew so he, blew, I, he blew his B he sharp. He blew his voice, yeah. He blew his B I sharp. Be honest. I <laughs> like when I like after he's been singing for, I mean, I think his voice is great all the time, but after he's been singing for a bit, and it starts to develop a rat. little bit of a rat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what I call, I call it Rod Stewart Doomcock. I'm like, that I is love that. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. Right. Because the emotion comes through more. And yes. What is, what is Doomcock except someone who transmits feelings more than anything else? He, he helps us feel hopeful for star trek or you know anger at being it's disrespected all about hope yeah yeah hope and dignity absolutely Ronos, uh b sharp what does a b sharp sound like to hit a b to hit your b you go from uh, c no, no. that's b sharp uh, you know what um, go, go. Fleetwood Max, go your own way is mostly in B yeah, 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 it is. You yep. can go your own way. Go your go own yeah, way. Own way. <laughs> Loving you. Is I'm, I'm a terrorist. <laughs> so whenever he was, whenever he, he was singing, uh, saying, uh, in Saint Infirmary Blues, I think, wasn't he? He was singing that oh, for you. I think it's yeah, funny. he was singing that for me because yeah, and, I, and, and I heard it. I heard it snap back like a rubber band. I was like, "Well, he's not doing anything," but I want to double check anyway. Yeah, G Ginger, gave, <laughs> Ginger gave me one of the greatest ideas when we were, we were talking about like I think it was like the reactions of the creators of the uh, American Society of Magical uh -huh. Negroes. Sorry, guys, I found yes. a reason not to see that movie this weekend, but. uh we, we strung together everything that the director said and just separated it by blues riffs. I'm like, this guy just sounds like a Delta blues singer. It's like, exactly. You know me. They hit me because of my color. Uh -huh. <laughs> what the hell was that guy thinking? I don't well, even I'm know. I'm having myself a little beer. And then uh, when we wrap up, I'll have myself a little bit of whiskey. That way I'm not. <laughs> In other it news, I'll be like going on solo tonight. <laughs> Ain't nobody like me because they say I'm different because I'm black. Teague, it was like um it was like we we go on there and um we hear the song it was like we both if we were in the same room you know we would be like both looking at each other like what mm -hmm. the fuck you know <laughs> everything sorry, about sorry, that was sorry. Ah! Where, where did they what get this idea the heck this this guy had this heard this expression by Spike Lee in 1998, and he's like, "I'm gonna yeah. run with this. This is current and contemporary." It's, shut the fuck up! Uh, what was his name? Uh, J J J Justin Libby. You're a fucking asshole. You're a fucking asshole. And I say that as a Latino, not as not as a white man. I I, I I'm white with an asterisk. I'm allowed. Timothy to Olsen white says people. he's more of a hardcore metal singer. Uh. I may have a Death Clock hosted stream, karaoke stream again, since I had to mute uh, and cut the uh, karaoke stream from like the way back when times. I think. Oh, God. Captain I think Striker. I, have, I think I have a copy on my StreamYard library, and I'm thinking about on has it. For people to watch it. No, that's the that's cell one. That's cell. Oh, okay. Uh, Appion's got uh, cell. Uh, and that was Jeremy, pruning. This that was pruning. Um, Jeremy, this this is for you, really quick. Oh well, maybe I should have figured that better. Let's try it again. <laughs> there you go. A little, How little long hardcore have you been metal. Playing? 
I can imagine nice. Tony singing a dead uh, Kennedy. Song. Started about oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, guitar. Um, you yes. know what? Um, I, I I always thought it was interesting, and I got a guitar about a week ago, and I learned how to play. Off That's what I am gonna do. I wanted to get like a, um, just a, an acoustic guitar, and they're only like fifty bucks. So yeah, get one and get the uh, twenty dollar tuner because unless you tune the strings yeah, properly, it it's a waste it of your time. Jason yeah. Love, you tried to connect earlier. Window. Jason Love, you tried to connect earlier, but your devices weren't connected. I'll throw it back out there for ten more seconds. Click it right now, buddy. Anybody who's not connecting, check your YouTube and video. If your camera's turned off, you like uh, Streamlabs won't fuck with that. Uh, that's why I put tape over my camera when I don't want to be seen in case it goes on. You got to leave it active, or Streamlabs just won't let you on there. No. Right. Sorry. And uh, but what can I say? Uh, you know, it, it, it's sort of like Ireland. You know, there's there's a Northern Ireland that's part of England where we all show our avatars, and then there's a another part of Ireland that's called Ireland. Jason Love, yeah. strange. You can keep Click it on link, until sir. you get into the whatever. I can't hold these up for too long. Or watch a five minute video on like. Streamlabs, because believe it or not, yeah. there's a couple of things you got to do. Like that five minutes is well spent. I'm yeah. not saying that in mockery of anybody, really. I, I had to do all these things before I could ever go live. So could, yeah, I'm sure. All right, Jason Love, I got to take it down again. I'm sorry. Ah, Kate, Katie Scarlett. Chrono says, I'm not green. Did anyone ever notice that the father from Gone with the Wind is also the drunken uncle from uh, It's a Wonderful Life? Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's like, gee, I wonder what this this guy plays competent people. I'm sure he won't throw the $8,000 in the cash. And it's like, you're going to jail for 20 years, George. And I'm like, well, maybe if you had a hot grandniece one day, I'd let you go. But I, I don't see that happening, Potter, you, you piece of shit. Are you in the fight five by five? Oh, yeah. Um. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Domo. Domo. Liberate me. Do <laughs> it. There you go. There you go. You were very robotic there at the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> he has made it back to Earth. Welcome back to uh, Earth. Please, yep. stay treated you Maybe. Well. Please don't delete our planet. We do have the master somewhere. Does anybody still have those old USA codes? Uh, I what's do. NASA again? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have an old DOS code to reprogram the United States. Unfortunately, when it materializes, George H. Bush will be president. It's that old, but you know, <laughs> the best we got. Yeah. We might, you know what? If we could all rewind and start over from the end of his presidency, we might be better off. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, who was president when you were born, T? When I was born. Yeah. Well, uh, the leader of this country was called George the Third. <laughs> he wasn't exactly president, but uh, you know, I, I was born in Scotland in 1433, and uh, yeah, yeah, I've been in New York I since 1626 that. when I was hanging yeah. out with college people. Uh, I, I don't want to tell you what happened to me in Japan. I went there with this guy called Blackthorn on the ship called the Erasmus. Everybody's yeah. language skills went out the window, like. At first, right? I felt like alone because only the captain spoke English. But then all these Portuguese sailors <laughs> started speaking English to me, and man. it was it was I know, a relief. It is. I love yeah, until that guy pissed all over me. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Look, it's like, hey, Blackthorn got him back though. He told him. <laughs> I love that scene. <laughs> that is such a good show. I'm sorry, show good is very good right no, now. I'm, good. I'm really the only true that. show gun is <laughs> the only true show gun is Dick Ch uh, Richard Chamberlain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I think uh, it was Nixon when I was born. Uh, now of course I anyway. steal an identity every 
50 or so years so that I can transfer oh. my property and pretend to still be alive. But yes, the identity I'm using now was born when Richard Milhouse Nixon was president. And I just want to say he wasn't a crook. Yeah. He's just a fucking liar. No. Sorry we couldn't get you on, Jason Love, but uh, congratulations again on becoming a, one of my many S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Uh, let me actually get a Jason, check. let me tell you how you've done the right thing. You have helped enable YouTube to have uh, yet another independent voice who will not be silent about when things suck. Because I'm going to call him up and yell at him. <laughs> yeah, well, can y'all yell at the people who did Halo? <laughs> Yes. T Tony and right. I have like okay. <laughs> I did a stream about it Friday night, and I'm I'm still I didn't I don't know if I got enough off my chest. That that I'm very irritated. <laughs> they, they've destroyed Master Chief. He is no longer. I don't know. As, I don't know of, what he right is. Now, as of right now, we have 63 members to the channel. We have most of them are Shield agents. Padre, Jeff Wyatt are Avengers, and I believe Sean Carter is a Defender. So thank you guys so much for. Uh, a lot of them were gifted. Uh, radioactive, in his infinite oh, generosity, has in the last seventy-six uh, hours donated fifty memberships. So, you know what? Let's let's take a minute enough. and thank the the radioactives of this world who yeah, try to help amazing. independent voices build enough of a community to make a difference. It's it's the radioactives of the world who and, and the Jeff Wyatts of this world and 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 other people who who help us out, who keep us on the air. And, and who help us build the community. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of fun at my member streams, and I'm just so glad to have them there. And uh, I Radioactive, have fun too. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. And Radioactive, you might you might want to consider, you know, I don't know how, how you feel about doing it, but, man, you have the radio voice and the radio knowledge. You you might want to consider doing that, but you're, you're, you're definitely welcome to any saving Star Trek. Yeah, thank you, man. I, I think I was one that was gifted. So, yes, hell to you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, now, speaking Welcome of uh, aboard, show, but I prefer a uh, standard uniform on the bridge. Go put on your uh, TOS outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now, that was, I don't be, have that one over at the, at the moment. I'm going to be, uh, my membership shows are actually going to be a callback to Death Race 3000 or uh, 2000. And, uh, Everybody that's a member is going to have a chance to have a car represented by them as if they were driving the car. And one lucky Ooh. member for each stream or two lucky members will participate in a race. I will drive said vehicle as professionally I can through, you know, ruined streets of Nuke York as if they were driving it. And I will run over as many people as possible and be as awesome as possible with it. Uh, but we will have uh, vehicles ranging from, you know, 20 T-top Fords to Tesla Cybertrucks. So get a vehicle that is representative of you, and I will uh, actually write down a list, and you can participate in our Death Race member streams. For those of us, for those of you that are on the Avenger tier, I will be having an Avengers assembly, very much similar to an arch, arch villain assembly over at the castle, where it's just for you guys uh, at the top. And those of you that are also an Avenger and R&D on Patreon, I will have a laser-etched ID Stark Industries card custom-made for you and sent to you so that you have access to the Stark Labs. Uh, and it will be your, your little trinket saying, yes, thank you for supporting the channel. You're officially part of the team. And I'll be sending those out to you all as well. Uh, for those of you that are Avengers as well as members of my R and D uh, streams, uh, right, I will be having to join my channel. Gets a four finger Admiral Teague uh, wrapper ring. <laughs> now yes. I will, I will be having a think I tank, a backstage uh, show. It's not really a show; it's just a backstage where members of my R and D uh, Patreons can talk business, channel lore, you know, throw ideas around. Because uh, you, when you're a member of the R&D team, you are basically part of my production crew. Your voice matters. You're paying for the growth of the channel. And you should have a say. And so we will be having a, a think tank, nec I think, next weekend. Uh, sometime early Saturday afternoon. I will let you guys know that in a membership post and on my Patreon when we will have that. So we hope to see uh, R&D members of my Patreon there. Uh, and we can uh, make some magic, make things happen. 
Uh, but uh, anyway, that's all the plugging I'm doing for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, but back to you, Tom. How come there's no claymation St. Patrick's Day special? There is you know, like a roof. I've seen yeah, I've seen the one. It doesn't work. It's really fucking horrible. It's it was like horrible. the tears of the banshee or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fucking horrible. The marionation or whatever you want to call it, that's all right. The story is stupid as fuck. It's overly dark. No one wants to hear that on St. Patrick's Day. It's like, you know, uh, Irish people, like, we get the worst rap. It's like, we are not poetic, drunken, uh, sentimental people. We are very aggressive, future-minded, non-sentimental people. Who, who never. And I don't think any Irish person has ever been drunk. I've never seen a record of it. It's just something we, Hollywood tells you that. Yep. Hollywood. Exactly. The lie from Hollywood. That and the thing about our penises. <laughs> oh, I have a kitty. Speaking of which, you know what? Kitty? I'm just gonna burn my tickets to go see American Society of Magical Negroes. I figured, you know yeah. what? Let them keep the money. There's no fucking way I'm going to see that movie. I know, you know. Why did you uh, buy tickets in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't buy tickets. What do you think about Angel Dust? No, just I, I was I was considering it after the parade, like it was playing at a, a theater in town. I'm like, wow, a horrible movie at a theater. How often do you see that? And I'm like, oh, wait, every day. So I just went home. <laughs> the year is 2024. The world of pop culture is entering a new dark age. <laughs> I'm just saying Patrick's Day, the Admiral yes. thinks he wants pizza because that's good Irish food. Yeah. Why are wings so hard to do? Uh, yeah. I'd rather draw a set of wings than draw hands. I can't draw hands for shit. Oh, God, yeah. Hands are horrible. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Comic okay. Relief Crusader, our good friend Mike Lorber over there at the uh, Fortress of Awesomeness is uh, currently fulfilling hey, a client's uh, request. So uh, he is listening to us in the background as his choice of radio program, which hey, really sex like. work is real work, buddy. Don't don't let him get you down. You know, don't let anyone tell you anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brush your teeth when you're done. Yes. <laughs> what? I, am I the only one who sometimes I goes think... down by the 59th Street Bridge to make some extra money near rent time? I mean, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> That's Snickers. Snickers grow on trees. Snickers grow on trees? Yeah, I have a Snickers I, plant right here. I was right going to say, I need to plant one of those. I know. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, when they first came to the United States, uh, when they first came to what we call America, the, uh, the Native Americans, or as I call them, the fucking Indians, uh, they showed the pilgrims how to plant and grow Snickers. And uh, the first Snickers harvest was, you know, in November. And of course, we call that Thanksgiving. It was originally called Snickerfest. But yeah, I have a wild. <laughs> I sometimes Snickers Snickers right on, yeah, I sometimes Snickers pull Snickers right off. Yeah, I sometimes pull Snickers right off the plant. And I eat it. That's so so that. Dude, sorry, that is the perfect holiday. Yeah, Snicker, if you're a Butterfinger, like, Butterfinger, how do you get into Snickerfest? Uh, you know, nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger. But, uh, you know uh, and sometimes oh, you feel God. like a nut and sometimes you don't. But you know what? No, Snickerfest, I mean, I think everybody knows that the Snicker plant grows wild all across North America. And you know what? They didn't. If you see pictures of Europeans eating Snickers, you know that those were taken after 1493 when Columbus got back because he brought the first Snickers and the first venereal disease back to, back to uh, Europe. <laughs> well, it's like they say, you're not yourself without a Snickers. That's right. I, I, I need right. to sleep in a Motel yeah. 6 and eat a Snickers every day just to be functionally stupid. You're not. Well, I tell you what I heard. Ever. Sometimes oh, I know, baby. you indeed feel like a nut. And sometimes, well, you don't. I just want to say to the people who who like the uh, the 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 mounds, what are you thinking? The smartest thing they ever did was combine their advertising with candy that actually tastes good. Peter Paul, I'm enjoy, not so bad. Peter Paul uh, mounds, you know, fuck that, it, it tastes like shit. Coconuts. Hail to West Kegel. 
the Who one, was? the only, hello, hello. who reminds us all that those super chats certainly will not read. Read themselves. Welcome to the show. That's right. Oh, hello there, all. Can you hear me? What? Oh, yeah. Can hear you. Yeah. yeah, it's a real pleasure to hear the sound of your voice, my friend. Hello. Nice. Oh, thank you. Well, I, I, I told I told Tony that uh, if he got the memberships going, that I would uh, I would break out the mic and set it up. So here I am. Here we are. Cool. I knew you would keep your words. Nice. Thank you a lot. Happy Very nice. Very nice. Couldn't have happened on a more fortuitous occasion, wouldn't you say so, sir? No, well, true. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Well, thank you. It's uh, nice to be here. I. Uh, my first uh, stream uh, that I've uh, ever participated in. So, uh, hey, I do. All right. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Lisa is. Thank you for consenting. Thank you for consenting to do it to us. Yeah, thank you. Do it with us. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now, oh, now, 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 we have to get rid of that cherry. So, I'm going to need you to. <laughs> Drop your pants and touch your toes. I'm going to show you yeah. the wild goose goes. <laughs> I've gotten rid of many cherries in my life. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite guy who's when, when, when Bill Wyman left the Rolling Stones, there were like three different people whose names were supposed to be like, like associated, like who will be the new Rolling Stones bass player? And it turned out to be the guy it is, but one of the other guy's names, I don't know anything about it, but his name was Buster Cherry. I was like, I want Buster. I want Buster Cherry to be on. He just knows bass player. I don't care if he's only okay. Oh I want Buster Cherry. <laughs> to be in his favorite rock and roll band. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When you talk about the Rolling Stones, you're now talking about a majority black band. There are only two white guys in the Rolling Stones. Yep. Really? Yep. No. You're wow. Brian yep. Jones gone, replaced by Ron Wood, not a full member. Um, you know, and Mick Taylor was a full member. Sometimes he does play with them, and that's great. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Bill Wyman, uh, replaced by Daryl. Johnson, I think is his name, black guy. Um, he's a really good bass player. Uh, Charlie Drayton is now the drummer. Um, he replaced uh, the late Charlie Watts. He is a black guy. So, yeah, two, but most of the Rolling Stones are black at this point. Um, uh, uh, Sarah Dash, backup singer for the Rolling Stones, uh, black. Bernie, um, forget his name, he's also black. These people are considered Rolling Stones. It says the Rolling Stones are at the end of their show, and there's like eight names. Only two of them are white people. Oh, wow. Sabers well, you know what? A a lot for uh, I've already sent out my disclaimer, but you've been very supportive of the channel uh, with a $100 mega chat. You're also part of my uh, R&D uh, tier, Saber. So, you know, don't get angry and we'll be <laughs> fine. And the show's only begun. You'll probably be on later. Um. Take do you use a pick or do you finger pick? Both. Okay. But I, pref I prefer the pick. All right, you got ten yeah. seconds to click it, buddy, before I delete it. There it is in the chat. Go ahead and click it and and log in, and uh, then I'll delete the uh, linky. This is a cool. linky. I can turn off my mic. Oh, turn off my mic and order some pizza. You're gonna have I'll to come all the way to one. Jersey to get good pizza there, Teague. I um I found it. It took a lot a while because there are a lot of pizza places here, but I found one that just makes it the way I like it, and I, I love the pizza from the place near me. It's so good. Do you got it? I will. Oh, you're talking to Saber. All right, I'm gonna just send it to him in uh, X. I would blow it up off the uh, stream because people are uh, dicks, unfortunately. I've already deleted it. Yes. Yes. You see, Tony, why I like to have you on the air with me is because if I die on the air, I know that I, I know that I'll never die alone. I, I know only that in death. Only as long in as, death as, as, long as you and McCoy are with me, I'll be safe. Only in death does duty end. Uh, I sent you one. Uh, Tony, in not, not in front of the Klingons. Ahoy. All right. Where's your Iron Man suit? 
put on the iron suit. <laughs> oh, I, I um, oh yeah, I forgot about my suit. Yeah. Wait a minute. Damn it, I can't do that live, can I? Can I? No, no. Uh, you, have, you have that avatar saved, don't you? There you go. There you go. There nice. you go. By the way, just real quick on superheroes, I am really sick of nanotech so that the mask can appear and disappear. Yeah, over and over. yeah. I, I watched this movie. Mechanic. Yeah, I watched this movie mechanic. yesterday. I I hadn't caught. It had this guy called Carl Suburban in it, and it was uh, called Judge Dredd. And he never took off his, his, his superhero mask. And it was very different and it made the movie a lot better. I like practical yep. mechanics. Uh, I like my weapons. Like I like my weapons big and bulky. I like moving parts and LED lights and I'm, the occasional be honest. blowback of steam. You know, like I want my yeah. weapons to look powerful. See, I'm going to say something slightly unpopular, but I think that the only person the nanotech works for doesn't annoy me for and makes sense for is honestly Iron Man because he would be the only person who capable. It's like, yeah. I and keep my he, suit in my wallet. It just grows yeah. across me when I need it. Yeah, my that's, that's version, Iron Man. I don't like that nanotech stuff. I only put on the nanotech suit with some of my promos from Avengers game because it's modern. If I if I had say, it my way, if I had it my way, I'd have all the clicking gears and servos and and screws and bits and bobbles. I mean, I mean, isn't it literally in the name like Iron Man? Like you're you're meant to be wearing an iron suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we see him in uh, what is it? Uh, Endgame. He's kind of, sorry. Earth is closed today. He kind of has Earth like is closed small, today. He he sort of has like a chest version of like a dick bag, like one of those little bags that you put in front of your dick. It's like it's like <laughs> oh, they, they keep they keep, fucking, <laughs> they, they keep fucking with him, and the Iron Man suit just only, sort of grows only out could of it. Say that. Uh, well, I mean, we've all seen those dick bags, and like, I don't mind them, but I think it lowers my chances of meeting women, so I don't wear them. We've all, we've all seen both versions of dick bags. Let's be honest. That's, that's true. Uh, I was gonna that's say, President is Biden on television just this morning. Or... He was pretending to be Irish again. I don't know. Biden is not any kind of Irish name I ever fucking heard. No, he isn't. There. I'm the only. I'm more Irish than he is because I'm Scottish, and we came over from Ireland. Yeah, a lot of going back and forth both ways. Yeah, and as for what happened with the introduction, that was for good reasons. I do have a bad reputation, but I'm working on it. You're not melted. It's okay, copper. radioactive. Uh, we will we will extend the reactor side chat a little bit past five since DC's not. I don't mean. Off. I don't mean. I didn't mean to create we'll a bad reputation for myself. Half half Star Trek tonight. That's probably what Tony. I just let me say to uh, to Saber. Uh -huh. You know what? Um, there there have been moments, blow upy moments, but like you've never been a dick later on when we've spoken uh, on Twitter. So I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, you know, we 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 get the it. Last and. Uh, you're doing something well, that you shouldn't do now. Can I, have a chance to say, can I have a chance to say this, Teague? Sure, go ahead. But I will say this. Don't circle back too much because these things are in the past. But go ahead. I'm not yeah. circling. I'm just clearing my name because yeah. there might be people out there that heard don't get angry when Tony said it. And they might presume that I've done some things that I'm not supposed to. And it's true. I have. But the last thing I ever want to do is create a bad name for myself or for any of you guys. I mean, you two, Teague and Tony, were the ones that took the chance on me in the first place. So I always feel like a piece of sh <clears throat> rubbish. No, you're not Thank you rubbish. for monetization you're... there. That I don't, you know what, you you're know. a great guy. Um, you're a little bit blow uppy, but who is who doesn't have a quirk? And uh, this yeah. too, you will, you will master that too. I got to say. William Shakespeare have have thought it? it was incredibly funny whenever I yelled at my phone when people were trying to call me on the air the other night. <laughs> yep, I heard that. <laughs> um, you, you know what? Just don't, don't worry about it. And, and here's something that I'll say. And everybody here knows this. Uh, all, all my co-panelists can say this is true. Uh, when you start YouTubing, you like open up this like third party window into yourself and you see your own yeah. behavior from a step removed and on uh, and recorded. So you can't gaslight yourself like I don't do anything wrong. Like I've heard times when I've been a dick and I'm just like, oh, God. And you know what? You never want to go on YouTube again. You want to throw your microphone out the window. But what do I do? Can I say, I, you know what? It's the world's problem, not mine. Can I, I say go something? Go for it. Right. I might have been here for 10 years, but most of those 10 years was just me being your typical let's player, you know, character for the screen. 
when I'm on here, I'm just me because I actually feel relaxed with you guys because you're professionals and, you know. That's a real just, compliment. Thank you. And it's just an accident when it comes out. It's just like I'm talking to friends. That's what it is. It's like I forget I'm on air. I, 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 I end up doing what you normally would do in a bar situation. I completely forget. I think I'm well, going to that bar before the end of today. Um, Happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if you drink or not, um, Doom Squirrel, but I, if I were you, I wouldn't come on um, uh, after you've drank. I mean, you know what? That, you know what I meant by that. Like I, like I just yeah, no, but I'm just saying. It's not, I'm I forget I'm on the show. I just relax. Yeah, yeah, Ginger yeah. knows more. Knows Ginger, if she cut her fingernails this morning, lost more YouTube knowledge than I'll ever have. She's been there from day one since Doom. Well, since day one with Doomcock. So, I mean, when it talks about like methods, practices, and how to come off like a pro, she's uh she's been there with the greatest of entertainers. So, I mean, it's yeah. definitely worth listening yeah, I, to. I, 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 I know that, attention. and I respect. I respect that. I respect everyone, but it's just. I don't know. I forget I'm on air sometimes. Here's what yeah. I'm going to say. Stop being down on yourself. We love you, you crazy mad squirrel. Just hang out. Hey, hey, I, I, I will get the radio, like, demon. Like, I will get the radio, demon. So it was Nobody, not a big perfect. deal, Doom Squirrel. Like w We all have our little quirks and stuff. And, yeah. you know, yeah. like um, Teague even had to talk to me about something that I just kept bringing up. And so it wasn't like uh, it was bad. She was just it was too obscure. It wasn't bad. It was just too it. obscure. Yeah, and it didn't then, have anything to do with anything we were talking about. An unpleasant so, word has never passed between Ginger and I. I think she's wonderful. Yeah. But and anyway, so then, uh, I can't. I can't really be here for long because uh, I got Doom Squirrel things to do. But I just thought I'd come in and. When does the Doom Squirrel case... start streaming? When does the Doom Squirrel start streaming? Because I would have an interest in listening to that. Are you going to start making some content here and there, going on, giving your thoughts? Because you know what, you could just do the Fed for Hire and turn on the uh, the avatar and start talking. I mean, you're I an do, interesting uh, guy. You've got I a do, lot to I say. I do very, I do very much have full permission now, and so I can. But I wrote uh, a song right. yesterday. My very there you go. song. That's for the future, and uh, anyway, I need to go because, unfortunately, I've got things to do. We're but it was really nice to be here, and I just wanted to, to clear up you. a few things because I just felt like I annoyed a few people the last time I was here, and it was a mistake. I often you forget know, that I'm know. live, and I just treat I just treat you like friends, like the way I would talk to my friends, and I ac accidentally forget it. So I think it was a mark of respect of anything. Like uh, I just talked cool. to my friends. Yeah, no, that that happens to me too. Sometimes I think about the clan. I mean, at the club, and uh, yeah. I just talk like things come right out of my mouth. Yeah, no, yeah. everybody, everybody uh, does uh, things that they what regret. Car, what have I ever talked blunt? Have I ever talked bluntly? Have I ever talked bluntly and forget I'm on a show? It just means that I see you as a friend. Well, yes. I, mean, I, like, I can totally understand that, but here's the yeah. thing. Um, when you're on a panel and um, it's somebody else's show, um, it's it will put them in danger of being um, of being uh, getting a cop like a strike or something. Not a right, copy. That's why the, the yeah, just a strike. Grab <laughs> the stream yards link it. in the chat is like it's very very trusting but we've seen a couple of predatory people who will use that against you so you know no, youtube mm -hmm. now unfortunately the good old days were a while back yep it's they're still fun but you have to keep your shields up yeah you have to keep your shields up and you also need to come in here sober and not relatively um, yeah yeah relatively <laughs> a beer or two a drink or two well, Doomcock has three or four drinks, but he's on for five or six but, hours. And he's drinking water at the same time, too. Right. Well, yeah, I think we, we, we all know exactly when uh, Doomcock has a well, has some Elijah, back, some Elijah Craig or whatever. Yeah, he, he tells us. Uh, Saber, uh, yeah. Saber, buddy, let me know what car you want to represent. I think I want you to be the first... Uh, racer and my death race is coming up for memory the only, so. the only reason i don't drink on the air is because it heavily affects my voice and i sound like an idiot 
which is tough when you already sound like an idiot getting out of bed. No, you do not. I you, you know what? This New York accent nerfs like five IQ points. <laughs> oh, stop. It does there's not. Singing, there's, singing, uh, there's singing coconuts in the chat over here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Something happy. Something with a little yeah. I want some coke. <laughs> yeah. I can't do yeah. it. <laughs> I want some coke. Coconuts. Coconuts. Ginger <laughs> menace. I, 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 I would very proudly admit to being improper with you. <laughs> Comic Relief Crusader is now on to inking. I want to see the finished product. Send me a message later. I want to see it. I was... I saw a guy with a new tattoo the other day. Holy crap. It was like <laughs> super shiny. Yet for, you know, I I have three and I forget. Uh, they're super shiny at first. Where's the Doom Cop tattoo? Yet. Do you I have know. An I need to get tattoo? his. I need to get like his little helmet face put on somewhere. That, you know, like, like your like, like on your shoulder or something. Yeah, on my shoulder. Yeah. Shoulder. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, or like get 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 the give no fucks tattoo on the front on the top of the back of your hands, right? Just be like fuck you, yeah. like <laughs> of, of the no, dominant no. hand. Get the, you know, get, I, get, I have get a nephew. With, and get without get the without respect we reject quote on your bicep, so that every time you flex, oh. you mean it. Yes. Uh, you, you know what? Honestly, I have a nephew who's now like eight, nineteen, and he like got like this huge tattoo up his whole back, and it was like, "What do you think? You know, Uncle Teague is it cool?" And I'm just like, "Of like, it's not a bad tattoo, right?" And I'm not like angry at him, but I realize that this is a teenager. So when he yeah. puts his shirt back down and turns around, he's like, "What do you think?" I slapped him in the side of the face really hard and said, "Don't you ever fucking get a tattoo without talking to me first. And God damn it, if I catch you with a tattoo above your collar or below your fucking cuff, that, I'll kick exactly your ass. Right. I'll kick <laughs> your ass." And he's like, "He's like, what are you My talking about?" I was like, "That though. tattoo's all right, but you're not allowed to get any interview enders, you little fuck." Yeah, I don't. He's like, "What? Uh, Why'd you call me little fuck?" It's like that show. Yeah, yeah, it's I tough if they're in a place old. where you can see them. I, I, I got yeah. some. I got some on my uh, palms of my, uh, no, on the back of my hands, and uh, I've had yeah. uh, people question me at interviews. So <laughs> it was you know a mistake yeah, to get I those. I have one on my thigh. Don't, don't feel one. bad, bro. Don't feel bad at all. I'm not trying to shame anybody. If you want to get a tattoo no. on your face, go get it if that's what makes you happy. But, you know, for my nephew, yeah. like he's a teenager, I was just like, you're too young to have like anything on you that pins you out as anything but someone who wants this job right now. Like, you know, be yourself later in life when you're a little more established. You're, you're still in college. Oh, oh Saber, I'm sorry the laptop died. died. All right. So uh, the question I got for you, Saber, is I think I have a perfect car theme for you where you're basically a squirrel-sized squirrel. I have oh, a Lego car. Died. I have a Lego car that I think I can model a squirrel to drive. for the death Kronos, of the I think that political correctness does need to die. So, you know what? I'm not very yeah. PC. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, you mean your computer? We don't want your we want your computer to be okay, but please do not be politically correct. That's grounds for being kicked from the channel. Uh well <laughs> you're kicked from everybody has their opinion. Everybody has anyone, their opinion. We can anyone speaking of race in non pejorative terms gets timed out on my channel. If if you have a chance to use an ethnic slur and you don't, I just, I talk. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Like, ah. yeah, yeah. We, we so like somebody, somebody used free. the word, somebody used the word white. And I'm like, there's a word that rhymes with snacker that you could have used for that. You know? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. no, I, no I only, you know what? I'll always be okay. Cause I only speak in oh. euphemisms and it's funnier and people get it anyway. It is really stupid, and but but much funnier than saying the election when I say the national popularity contest. It's like, it, and then nobody feels bad about whether someone wins or loses. Like, what is it? It's just a bullshit contest about who's more popular on that one day. Yeah, the one only day people earlier, that actually lose in later. elections are the, the are the American people. We have never won an election. The only elections we've won were the ones where, like, George Washington was installed by Congress. And that the world's changed since then, so we have to choose our own guy. But, yeah, it's been a long time since we were all on the same page. It sucks that the last president that we were all on the same page with was, like, a poorly spoken moron. But I still yeah. like George W. Bush. 
Yeah, better yeah, to have mean so tweets than country, though. I, I, I do, too. I, 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 I think that if you're, if you're going to lead us, you have to be able to, to, to be, like, for all Americans, like, you can't own the people that you just beat. That's yeah. whoever wins. This is the two things that I want from the winner of this election. Acknowledge the outcome, whether they win or not. Right. You have to have the, you have to learn how to lose before you can win. I'll, I'll take that. And uh, the other thing is, you know, stop, like don't make any F you statements when you win, be like, it's a time of healing. That's what I want to hear. Me too. I know that it's a, it could be a bullshit lie. Bullshit me, lie to me, show me you respect me so much that you want me to feel good about you winning, no matter whether I voted for you or not. And that's, you know, I want a president for all Americans. Doomcock said something similar on Friday. I feel exactly the way he he spoke for me. Yeah. I felt like he was speaking from my heart. And I yeah, I, I got misty a little bit. I am so I for this nation. So I uh, and Wes Kegel, I know that you're big so with like flag protocol yeah. and yeah, my father and grandfather were in our, our, our nation's yeah, military. I just they saw didn't, Jim they simply didn't and need I me. Said, I said I would drink one for him, so cheers, buddy. I hope your voice gets uh, quickly repaired and on the mend. You did an amazing yeah. job Friday. Um, he wrote me this. Love you, brother. Is. Cheers. He I want to say he, made he wrote YouTube. me the sweetest email oh, the other ahead. day. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ginger. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were talking, baby. I was just going to um, say he spoke, it's okay. spoke for me. He spoke for uh, me, and I think he made YouTube yeah. in America a much better place when he talked about maybe we should just listen, no matter how it sounds to you. Maybe we should just try to like go forward fr in a friendly manner, whether we agree or not. Maybe people at the extremes need to calm like, down. Yeah. I loved – you know what, Doomcock, thank you for saying that. And please, a couple more times no as we get closer extremes. to the popularity contest – Remember to calm people down because people of all political stripes love and respect Doomcock, and he brings out the best in us. Yeah, Teague, the, the, the problem, though, is you, me, most of the people I believe on this side feel that way. Unfortunately, the other side, see, that, that I've been told this before, the side that I reside on wants, you know, open dialogue the other side wants us to shut the hell up we want them to keep talking and i don't understand i'm against everyone they who says chaos. shut up i don't care if you're saying it yeah. from the right or the left shut up is the most un-american undemocratic thing you could say only a tyrant needs to have the last word they call them dictators because we hang on the things they speak their diction their words america right. will never have a dictator because once there is a dictator it will not be america yeah. once they get rid of the second amendment then and it's all over. So well, there's nothing wrong with that amendment. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Touch, they shouldn't even touch the Constitution. No, they shouldn't. Well, you know what? Let's be honest. The first thing they did was when we made our Constitution, they rolled it out, and like half of everyone said, "This ain't. This is too imprecise and fucked up." And no one would. A lot of people wouldn't sign it until they amended ten times. Right? True. So it's True. a it's a living document. I believe that the Constitution is alive. Alive as is alive and, 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 and free, as free as the air we breathe across the United States of America. And I should not be inflicted. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, you know what? You, you, what well, soon we're going to get rid of the metric system and Canadians will celebrate the 4th of July. Yes. On the 4th yes. of July. Uh, and the 4th of July will no longer be just an American holiday. But a day when Justin Trudeau was handcuffed and taken out of office. Ah. What can I tell you? I mean, two, one, one out of two kids ruling North American countries are doing good. Destroyed. How about this? We'll put a Canadian in charge of Cuba to even it out. Isn't his wife that blonde girl, that blonde lady? Justin Trudeau? I think his wife's rather hot. <laughs> well, you can say a lot about Justin Trudeau. He's not an ugly guy, so. No, he's not. I just um, was looking at his wife, I, and she looks there, a lot like a man. <laughs> there's there's evidence that uh, that there's some anecdotal evidence that he's possibly my third cousin. Both me and <laughs> oh, him wow. are related. Oh, he dear. and I are both related to Desi Arnaz, and we're from the same town in Cuba. If Castro is indeed his father, which I saying it kind of looks like it is. Yeah, You're related looks, to Desi Arnaz. He, that guy looks Cuban. I'm 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 like distantly related to Desi Arnaz. Uh, we're from the same town in Cuba. 
That is and, so um, hilarious this, because I'm instantly it? related to Lucille Ball. Wow. Oh my God. No one loves me like the man I'm not is us. She gives me kisses because she's my missus. I was watching it the other day too. I was just watching um, I Love Lucy. So, you know, it's the funniest thing about so I Love great. Lucy honeymooners come a little later right it's like yeah. five years later but the honeymooners that like that that family is so broke that their apartment is like 20 years more primitive than the ricardos which is in the past like yeah they got to go to the norton's the place to use the phone. Yeah. The ricardos have a telephone a, tel a television a radio a toaster it's, you know right. everything like like what do the cramdens have a dresser and a door and, a and they table. always the Ricardos always complained about not having enough money and Ricky needs to work more and stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is, is they weren't. They well, had Ralph every... had steady work. It just didn't pay well. He had. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think the concept behind the honeymooners was Ralph Cramden was in a bad mood because he was pulling like 12 hour days, six days a week. I'm just saying. He got like, to go like, to the Raccoon or, Lodge and that Lucy, was it. Yeah. Well, no, Ricky was like, I think the deal is there's only so much money to be spent on entertainment, and he's trying to entertain all over town. And he's like, you know, there's right. only so much of an audience for any entertainer. But yeah. I mean, the idea was the Tropicana was such a good club, it was worth going to. It was the other yeah. acts. And then at the end of the night, uh Ricky Ricardo would play Baba Lou and everyone would be fucking happy as fuck. Uh-huh. And when we, who didn't love the SNL yep. with him as musical guests? You got an idea what it was like to be at the, at the Tropicana when we had the SNL with Desi Arnaz as the musical, as the uh, guest. He was so in two cool. skits. He was in two skits, including an I Love Lucy skit with Gilda as Lucy, uh, which was great when they made <laughs> fucking, they made, they made Ricky into Scarface because they're both Cuban. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're both Cuban. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and then he actually, we, we saw That's for the great. first and only time, like a live televised Desi Arnaz performance for the ages where he came, bu busted out that, bu that bongo drum and did Babalu. And it was yep. way awesome. You're like, wow, there's only one word to this whole fucking song, but it's actually damn good. Yep. Exactly. What, is, what does it mean? I don't know. Such but Baba Lou is a good song. Baba Lou. He's a good singer. Uh, yeah. you, you know what? Honestly, to be as unmusical as it appeared that he was and have the ability to sing that good, yeah. Because he doesn't play an instrument. I mean, like banging on a drum, sort right. of like the way one would clap their hands, barely counts. Right. Well, singing singing exactly is more of a one. gift than a uh, than it's something you learn. I, I mean, you you, you can become a better sing, singer, but but you can become a better singer by vocal. True. Um, the, you know what? Here's the thing. Like that. But the hardest part about becoming a better singer is listening to your own voice back on tape and accepting that that's how you sound, yeah, and then like dealing with. Tape. I don't, I don't know, know what you right. all are talking about. I could sound this into many of impersonations, accents, and voices that I want to. That's hey, because hey. you're talented. Honey, you're good. You are the gray rider. No, you would not make peace practice. with the blue bellies. Look, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to hearing my own voice so I can do videos. Because that I right? can't stand the sound I'm of my own way. voice, really. That's oh, fine. God. I did like a little mini clip one day, and I was you like, oh. You have a really nice voice by comparison. I mean, listen to this New York accent. I sound like a fucking To idiot. me, I sound horrible, but that's just like, I mean, that's what everybody says about their own voice, though. So it's it's going to sound horrible to you. That's like, like, well, it's supposed to, though. That's like a psychological things so that yeah you, know, like you can pinpoint other voices over yours like so you can hear other people over your own voice right well, I, hear, I hear you your accent like you and i say scarlet fever when i hear someone with a southern accent the, to the level of yours yeah. i'm like their high school was as bad as mine pretty much yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> uh, I, I didn't learn anything in school I, I think i learned more off of the internet than i ever learned in public education that's where i learned how the frogs became gay they taught me how to spell. You learn how to spell that word, right? Because they don't teach you in school properly how to read, write, or anything. So Google taught me. Not anymore, they don't. The word, I can't spell the word restaurant. 
Well, see, Google yeah. helps you, right? And then eventually, after like a hundred times of Google correcting you, maybe you learn how to spell it properly. Yeah, I can't spell for. I'm getting closer. Garbage. Yeah. I know, right? It's a slow process. All I you know what? Is Let's be honest. A U N T is at yeah, the very you, you, I like think it's a R E S T E R A U N T, but I'm not positive. Yeah. I could be wrong. And and here's it's the thing: like, how many less little broken red lines are there under what you write now? There was when we started texting like 10, 12 years ago. Like everyone's grammar has improved, except no one knows the proper is, form of the word this, there. This, I know <laughs> English is, is this, hard. Though. Is this a request? I'll, I'll do the line. I'll do the line. <clears throat> oh God, it's gonna kill my voice. Bro. Wait, uh, Tony, if you have any cocaine, <laughs> I expect some too. If you're gonna do the line, I. I <laughs> Let's do the line. <laughs> the line goes a little bit like this. I was 20 miles from oh. Folsom Prison. I'm all for help. I'm all for cleaning the water, but I'm tired of them pumping chemicals into the damn water to turn the freaking frogs gay. Chronos <laughs> <laughs> wants to see. Kronos wants to see leftoids cringe. All right, assuming that means someone at the extremes, I'm going to say something unremarkable but absolutely true. Uh, until you can buy fucking cigarettes, your opinion about what fucking body you were born in doesn't mean shit because you don't have autonomy over your body because you can't even buy cigarettes. So shut the fuck up about trans kids. They don't exist. They don't exist. They exist in the minds of their uh, uh, Munchausen syndrome mothers. If my wife told me that yeah. my child was trans, I would take both of them to a shrink and if my kids still wanted it at like 21, I'd pay for it. But that's different there's yeah. no such thing as that child i would be like you know what man i'm not i'm not scoffing at what you say but you need every minute until you're an adult to think on this one because we can't there's no going back once we do it like it's not like quitting smoking so i'll do this i'll i'm i gotta start saving money now and i'm behind you i love you but i really like you know just just think about this one because we got like Are whatever go for it Sing us a Shire song, Mr. Underhill. Well, the, the cat does not want to sing now. The After I pick her up. And the best of well, is name? at the Green Mr. Dragon. Mr. Underhill. You can drink your bit, you can drink your cups and pints. You can have no them one. by the flagon. I the love that. All <laughs> of all is at the Green Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> they wrote that That's song. all I know is the very end of it. <laughs> the they Green wrote the Dragon. song. Apparently, it's like the Arsenal football song from England or something like that, and they just changed the words. Oh, that's really? so cool. <laughs> he just gave them the poem. It's in the book, and they were like, oh, we can do something with this. And he's just like, it was absolutely enchanting. Yeah, dancing on the table. And all, and their small doubles were absolutely fantastic. It, Peter Jackson's special edition to Lord of the Rings. Hail amazing. to Rob Wright's Gen X pop culture. Good to see you, Rob. Hi, hey, Rob. Hey, hey, sir. Sir. Rob. Happy to say Patrick's Rob. Day. You, you saboteur of all things saving the universe. You, I'll drink one for you, sir. And Robbo, thank you for being a oh. channel member. Good to see you in green. So good to see you, Robert. Right? You got gifted. Uh, radioactive Patrick over Day. the over the last seventy six hours had gifted a total of fifty Stark of Iron memberships. Yeah, radioactive is the man. Yeah. Radioactive. Radioactive. <laughs> radioactive. Fear. Uranium fever. That fear needs to be welcome, to the, world, to, the welcome to the real world. To the real world. Welcome to the real world. With a Geiger counter in my hand, I'm going to go stake some government land. Uranium fever has come and caught me down. So, tea restaurant, the way I uh, remember I how to spell it, it's rest and then rant at the end and an AU in between. Is it an AU? I don't know, uh -huh. man. Like, it's, yeah, it's the like English language just, is messed up. It's for rest, a u, the hardest, a u in between, hardest. and then rant. Like I spelled peeg wrong a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've spelled, yeah. No, yeah, I'm yeah. a really good speller. I'm a very good speller, and I'm uh, really good at math and science. <clears throat> Sorry. Nice. I love science. Mm -hmm. I'm just not very good at the spelling. I yeah, love science hard. too. 
people i went with the uh, easiest possible spelling of my name and they're like now like at least people like know who i am and uh, i have the jack sparrow rejoinder it's like it's like hi and welcome to the panel admiral teague and like four people in the panel like i fucking hate admiral teague it's like oh, <laughs> you have heard, but you have heard of me you have heard of me haven't you have i can't do it they drop their t's <laughs> or are they like in slang in the um for the uk people i can't even do it at all yeah i don't know you know i have the weirdest thing ever i have keith richards autobiography a uh, book on drop. tape yeah the book it's a book on tape but it's read by johnny depp <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's interesting. So it, it's guys, this is so it, it is the weirdest thing. It's like it's read in Keith's voice, but without Keith's accent. Like uh -huh. that was Johnny's choice. And I don't know if Johnny Depp reads any other books, but this was like it was one of the most amazing things to listen to. His vocal performance is great. And Keith Richards' life story, not too boring. He's like, that's when I realized I had to make certain concessions. And you're like, wow, it sounds like Keith, but he's an American. Like, what the hell is going on? And it's just, well, they've lived really here too across. long. Weird science, it, science. No, no, yeah, it's okay. Johnny. It I mean, Johnny. Review you guys did. You guys. Oh, Johnny Depp. Depp. It's Johnny, yeah, Depp. Johnny. Johnny outright does Keith's voice, but he 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 sanitizes the accent into neutral American. Oh. And he's like, but he does his voice. He's like, so I realized that when I was performing live, I had to make certain concessions. You know what I mean? Well, he can do that because he's Captain he Jack Sparrow, and he has that accent on. Um, when I when I know. saw the first yeah. commercial for Pirates, I was like, "Holy shit, he's imitating Keith Richards!" And like a year later, he's like, "Yeah, I just do Keith Richards." And I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> no kidding." No, I mean he's like when you, Keith is very distinctive. That's why he's in the second movie and the third movie. Because it's him. It's like he just does his voice. And yeah, Johnny exactly. Depp got Keith off of drugs. Keith stopped drinking and doing drugs and smoking cigarettes after Pirates 1. Oh, he Keith fell out stopped doing all the that. drugs because there were no more to do. He did them all. <laughs> he fell out of a coconut tree, and when he woke up, he was no longer addicted. It's like all this these week, people get uh, a Betty Ford. It's like, I got a coconut tree I'm going to throw people out of. Let's see what happens when you wake up. It worked for Keith. Robert Wright says that they're going to be reviewing spies like us. Oh, wow. Oh, good one. I thought I saw that on Twitter, too. Good movie. A lot of fun. Um, lot good of fun. use of Badfinger. A lot of oh, fun. Great band. Yeah. Absolutely. He is. Indeedly do. Indeedly do. <laughs> Cheers, mortals. Cheers. Are we drinking again? All right. Let me go. Well, like I said, I'm taking it easy. I'm not doing anything stupid. I haven't just taken a sip of my beer every now and then, not doing anything dumb. It's just it. St. Patrick's Day, and I figured if there's one day out of the year that I can't allow myself to have a few drinks, it's this one. Yeah, true. true. You know, it's funny. I'm, I'm thinking on it. Like, Spies Like Us versus Ghostbusters – that's like half of each story is Dan Aykroyd, but Spies Like Us is Dan Aykroyd with whatever help he could get from Chevy Chase. And Ghostbusters is like the other guys, plus like for 25 minutes, Bill Murray was like, I'm just going to change some dialogue. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Spies Like Us like, you know, is good, like, but, no. but Ghostbusters yeah, it's like, beats it hands down. And, and it's like it's touching Ghostbusters with the tips of its fingers, but it doesn't get there. Mm. It touches it, but it doesn't get there at all. Three days we'll have yep. uh, Ghostbusters, is it, or four days, the 21st. Four, oh, and really? William Shatner will be 93 years old, far more importantly. Wow. It's five days from I now. I know. In, Isn't in that, five man, days. that man has lived a full and awesome life. He even got to touch the stars. He did, yeah. He did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. He got to and see what his character sees regularly for the first time yeah. in his own eyes. That must have been What's such so a state cool of catharsis. About it? It that must like, like pure catharsis. True. When he dies, people are going to be celebrating him. 
Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of sad people, but he's lived a full life. It is going to be know? a rough day when he goes. It should yeah. be celebrated, though, because, yeah, he lived a full he, life. It, so it's, it, it's, it's sad as something celebrated. like that would be. At least he did yeah. get to live. He's 90-something really years old. Of course, you know, um, people are going to be sad at his death, but he's 90 years old. He's lived a full life. So we Good should celebrate that, him. Yeah, well, it definitely celebrate a life well lived. Yes, absolutely. And I know it's going to be hard for Doomcock, like really, really hard. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to crush a lot And for Tony, and for, you know, everybody out there that loves, um, that, that loves him, you know, because most of us do, you know, he, he was, uh, an icon for us growing up. Yep. So, and he still is an icon. He, he, he will forever be an icon. Especially, I was sad for Robin part. Williams. That one hurt me because yeah, there was so that much yeah. that I grew up yeah. with. Whenever that, that happened. Hurt me. When we lost Robin Williams, the first song that went through my mind, and I recently hosted a watch party uh, for Death to Smoochie, which is by far my favorite role he ever played was Rainbow Randolph. Gosh, I love him. And, I love and him. you know, the first song that came to mind was Friends Come in All Sizes. Yeah. Uh, it's his opening uh, song in uh, Death to Smoochie. A very fun, dark comedy. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. I actually introduced Teague to it. He's... Uh, Went past it before. Has never sat down and watched it. it was, I haven't you know. watched it either. I'll. I'll oh my lord! Oh, yeah, I feel like it's one that I probably seen, but I don't watch remember. Party. Well, yeah, we should. Have it. It. Yeah, I love like, watch parties. Let's yeah, yeah, we should. We will try and squeeze one in uh, next weekend. But I do have a full bracket. I have a think yeah, tank. I just I mean in the future sometime. I have a think tank that I need to do for my R and D production teams i need to do my after friday night frolics party and then i need to do my uh, I, i'm not doing a tower after hours tonight because i'm going to be all streamed out and kind of drunk i'm going to go be partying <laughs> <laughs> like i'm you know i'm going to be getting drunk and not anywhere near a microphone when that happens and um yeah, so there won't be a tower after hours tonight, but there will be a tower after hours uh, next weekend. Yeah, uh, I think, I think I need to go ahead and do a casting call to see who wants to be interviewed. I might talk to. Uh, I might, it might be time to put my toe in the water and see what Gary or uh, Andy is doing that day. And that day. I'd love to hear from both of those guys. Uh, I'll give. Uh, I'll, uh, for doing text, what? I'll, text, I'll text Gary and see what he's doing. See if we can't get that set up. If he's if he's cool with it. Um. I didn't hear the whole thing. What what were you setting uh, up with Gary? Uh, uh, a, a tower after hours interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. He's a good one to interview. Oh uh, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. He's very awesome. Yeah, we and were talking supportive. about Robin Williams before. He's been I have very to supportive have... of me through thick and thin, and uh, he's helped me uh, grow my channel. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, he he's pushing me away from Copyright City. He's been putting bugs in my ears as us Southern boys like <laughs> a bug in yep. your ear, you know, saying, "Hey, this is the way to do things." And he's really helped out. So uh, he's oh, that's Gary so cool. Crocia, very, uh, very. Well, that's uh, what he kind of did for me. He yeah. took me under his wing, you know, and before I didn't even know how to like speak in front of a bunch of people, you know, I I had no idea, you know, I was too scared and I would shake and mm -hmm. be scared, you know, be nervous about it. And now I'm, I'm at ease, you know, mm -hmm. Kronos, in the year 3000, water will drink you. In the year 2525, if man is still alive, 
If women can survive, they may find. In the year 3535, there will be no water at all, we'll be dry. We'll be watering our plants with Gatorade. It's got electrolytes or so they say. Wait, what? <laughs> we were talking it's about It's got what plants crave. Well, Wes Cagle was Oh, no. I, well, I was going to ask everybody here. We were talking about Robin Williams before. Um, mm -hmm. What What is everybody's uh, favorite Robin Williams uh, picture? Rainbow oh, fucking Randolph. So hard. I mean, I like the. When yeah, the that's hood, really good. I Randolph. love Fern Goalie. I love Batty. Yeah, oh, Batty's great. Oh, Delete baby, Mrs. Smoochie is just... a good movie. Delete Smoochie is really good. <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> fucking Randolph. You better grow eyes out the back of your head, you horn piece of shit, because I ain't going to stop till there's worms calling out that foam rubber ass. I'm going to safari, <laughs> motherfucker. Safari. I, I, I think his best, his best yeah. moment is, is, is the very first time we meet him when he's, they're just like, here's $20,000, and we just want our kid to be. He's like, shut the fuck up. I'll tell he's, you no, what he your goes, little goes, fucking, I know that. He's like, I'll tell you what your little ass is going to do. Right? Yeah, his stand-up was right? good. Like, the stand-up yeah, stand he did was really good. Way good, wasn't it? Yeah. And and let's, let's yeah I love how he just this. looks at them and he goes, you want your little booger eager on my show? Yeah, yeah exactly. He's don't totally tell me mean. how to run my fucking business. <laughs> he's, playing, he's playing what his public image was because for a brief period of time, they're like, Robin Williams is kind of a mean weirdo because, like, he had, like a, like, a moment of bad press. But, like, he survived that, like, Someone like Man in the Moon guy, like he does not live long enough to outlive his like this guy's weird moment. Andy mm. Kaufman would yeah. have been normalized by now. Andy Kaufman was a really weird guy. He was so weird in a weird that you, a way that you only understand if you're from Long Island. That's like I get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you people from Long Island are really strange. Well, not you, T, we, but look you at know. Howard Stern. Yeah. Oh, Howard, Howard Stern. And I mean, boy, no. a boy. No. You know, now that I see and I think about it, now, now this might this might actually activate the ire, but I'm gonna I'm gonna crack the joke anyway. Uh, do, do, you notice, do you notice that there are a lot of producers out there by the name of Gary? We got Gary Belafonte, Gary Ambrosia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. <laughs> I wonder if Doomcock is ever oh, it's Bob Bowie, Bob Bowie. <laughs> Gary. Ambrose. Everybody's heard Howard Stern. Nerd Erotic, uh, Gary <laughs> Beekler. Yeah. You know, I, I, wonder I, if DC's I, feel it's... Ever, I wonder if DC's ever said Baba Booey to Gary Ambrosia. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Baba wanna, Booey. Like, that's, that's super chat worthy. Twenty bucks for twenty dollars. Call, call Gary Baba Booey at least two or three times. Baba Booey. <laughs> we, you know what? And we've seen Gary can take it. The night that the Don Knotts thing happened, that it was potentially hugely embarrassing. He like rolled into it and had everybody la laughing with him. So like Gary can take yeah. a joke. It's a oh, funny, I remember the truly funny I remember guy. the Kit Kat campaign. The Kit Kat guy. campaign was funny. Whenever he was pretending to be a cat. Oh yeah. Uh, I just, all I know is stay away from my Snickers tree, man. That's right. I mean, you gotta you gotta let some of us get that. I need a Snickers tree. Can we can we get a Reese's peanut butter cup tree? I want the little cups. You got Reese's pieces. You gotta give you like some, Reese's some pieces, pieces don't for that you? tree, man. That's you, the Battle of Gettysburg was fought over control of the largest Snickers plantation in the Northeast. Like, a lot of people don't know that. That gets left out of history. I understand. There were Snickers it's a very grown valued wild. treasure. You know, the one of the stories that they don't tell is uh what the battle of the high heeled cavalry brigade in the Snickers field against the uh, New York regiment. They went there looking for shoes and Snickers, and they found both. But the problem was the shoe factory only made women's shoes. So uh, you know, Pickett's charge, you know, high point of the Confederacy. It happened, but they were all wearing high heeled shoes. And that I think makes it more impressive. Yeah, well, that that's actually yeah. commonplace nowadays for our military to be wearing high heel shoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Chicks can pull off being in the military, but those commercials that we made about how and why they get there did not right. do anyone ever. Any yeah, I don't mean the I don't mean the female all. officers. I mean the male officers. 
<laughs> Even better. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Rob Wright, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. Backstage conversations are fun after. Uh... <laughs> so you My know what? God. I just want to say, like everybody, when they... everybody says everything yeah, that they right. say on the show at once back there. Okay, forward. I'm gonna I'll Rob share Wright. something awesome. that I've said backstage with the world. Uh, here we go. Um, I we were having a hypothetical conversation about hollow decks, and I just said. Well, I would just say, give me both Savix and a home in a Motel Six and a lot of fucking lube right now. <laughs> I want both Savix at once. Ah, uh, Morty, I'm gonna have me another beer, another ship of the beer. Does anybody know Ensign Sav- uh, Mr. Savix, dark secret? Uh, the- she told me, but you know she talks in her sleep. Does anyone know uh, Savix is actually? What ramen? ramen? Yes, yes, yes. Very yes. good. I knew you'd know. She's what? I didn't hear that. Savic is partially ra- is lightly ramen. Romulan. It, it oh, was going yeah, to yeah, come yeah. into play. It was going to come into play if they went with. What I love about that Star Trek Genesis trilogy is they had like three paths pe- like planned out. They're like, we can go in any one of three ways, and we got nine strong scripts. Bring it on. Whatever happens, happens. That's when writers were writers, man. Yeah, that's the problem with Hollyweird nowadays. The I writing's she gone down. Romulan, and then Tim chimes in: Is she part top Rome? <laughs> <She's> top, <laughs> top you Rome. know what? Um, she's, <laughs> a <little more> top, <laughs> she's a top heavy Romulan when she's played one. by Kirsty Alley. I'll tell you that, man. That is one. Those, I, those, I, those, I, those, I don't have the Alice store uh, filter up, so I can't do the riff track. But that was you know good. when they the when they show Wrath of. They can only show Wrath of Khan in uh, in twin cinemas, one for uh. each group of Pierce the Alley. Oh my God! Like my young life, I think. Uh, Thank you, Kirsty Alley, and thank you, uh, Sybil Shepherd, for that first boner. It might have been the same weekend. I saw Moonlighting and fucking uh, Wrath of Khan. I was just like, there's this thing called girls, and I don't. Now I know why my father was so relieved. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not I like I thought. Ramen for like a year. <laughs> my parents caught me looking lustily at uh, Sybil Shepherd on Moonlight again. I just remember my dad. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, I thought I was in trouble, but I but I I heard my father say, uh, "You're never going to believe this, but it's not like what we thought." Oh God! Oh dear. <laughs> Like, hey, oh my god when i when i saw a mannequin no my dad was just like it's not like we thought we're not gonna have to you know it's uh, we, have, we have to get used to the idea that teague is straight <laughs> <laughs> yeah they would be so disappointed just, in 2024 they wanted no, my, my mom was like what? i was ready to love him no matter what but really seriously <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, I just saw it. The, like, remember how he used to look at Cher? Yeah, he's doing that again with Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> Very nice. And, yeah, my mom was like, the Cher thing was the part that had me convinced he wasn't straight. Oh, <laughs> <Mary>. <laughs> <laughs> I spat out my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I was trying to do a pun. <laughs> I surprised my parents, but I mean, like, it's not like they were disappointed, like, one way or the other. They would have been okay with it. It was just, you know, my dad was a little shocked. Was, I just, something about, like, the way he can't hit a baseball, I was sure, something like that. <laughs> you still love it. <laughs> when I bought up when when my dad caught me with my first girlfriend, like hanging out and messing around with her, it's like I just remember he's like, he can't catch a fly ball, but whatever it was, it was just like kid can't fucking haul in a fly ball, but he can get laid. I don't get it. My my parents' nickname was for me was Forrest Hump because like, how, how how does someone so stupid get laid? <laughs> it's like how, how, how does that happen? <laughs> yeah, my, <laughs> there real way my dad would have never Good to see you. We really need to get you a shorter name, sir. 
There's this guy we know called Matt G who likes to have a sentence for a name as well. And tongue uh. twisters, especially after having a few, are quite annoying. Uh, I don't care. Everyone's name? allowed to be whoever they want. Just tell us who you are, like, so we don't get confused. Like, I so, I, I, th there are channels that change their names every week. And it's like, what do you think of the New York Jets? If you wear like the all black uniforms, the guys will forget that they're the Jets and play good. You're still the same asshole you were when you had the other name. Uh, yes, this is a St. Patrick's Day celebration. You're more than welcome to come up. I think uh, that's, you right. didn't that's get why we're mixing. That, that, yeah, it's um, a St. Patrick's Day celebration. That's why Tony and I are mixing diesel fuel and fertilizer in a kiddie pool with an oar. I love well, you guys so much, but I have to leave. And um, oh, no, too yeah, bad. Since we're going to do uh, go back up to the hot springs for a little bit before uh, nice. we right. do some right. things tonight. We may, we may so, still yeah. be going um, because where DC is not doing anything. Uh, yeah, there's your link. I go will ahead be back it. in just a little while. Then, yeah, go ahead and click nice. the link and uh, and hop yeah, up here, and I'll delete it in just a minute, Wade. Uh, Ginger Menace, hey guys, pleasure. you are the queen of the wrenches, master roboticist, creator of Doom Legions. You are awesome. An, emer an emerging yeah. live streamer doing a great job at that. Nice, really finding Hell your voice. You. Thank you so much, you guys. Hey, um, did you hear me okay? One. Yeah. Hey, Wade, yeah, you sound fine. Finally, I'm a laptop guy like the rest of you all. <laughs> so you're on a laptop tonight. instead of a phone? Hey, upgrades. Yeah, nice. Oh, upgrades, baby. All right, uh, Mary. So now I can actually do, do stuff. Get yourself now. a nice soak. Have a good drink. Drink some wine. Drink a fine Merlot. For me. Yeah, I hope you feel better, I'm sweetie. Going to. I'm Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mm. Yeah, it was good to talk to you, Scarlett. Good to talk yeah. to you, Teague. Always a pleasure, Wes Cagle. Well, have a good course, night. Or have a good uh, evening, afternoon, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, our um, our leader, Tony, here. So, well, everybody have a nice... Lieutenant leader, one of the many well, captains. I'm a I'm just saying it's for, the for this... Yeah. For this live stream. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Tony. Yes. How long are you going for? Uh, well, we were going to wrap it up at five, but that was under the assumption that DC was going to have a St. Patrick's Day show. He is not feeling well, and therefore uh, we will be going into sudden death over time. Hey, Just I will be right for a little back. while longer, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let me go eat really quick. I mean, I will, I'll stay in here, but I'm going to mute for a second, obviously. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for muting before you eat. Uh, mistake <laughs> I had, or I had to rectify much, much, much recent, many recent, much recent, many recent. If I could fucking talk, that would be great. Um, <laughs> Sometimes when you have a bit of the uh, juice of the barley, uh, well, you see, you start to... True. And you can't speak, or I can't, can't annotate or use your syllables, your syntax, and your slurring. And all of this strange stuff noise is that comes from your your syntax and your slurring and all of the strange noises that come from your oral orifice. A little loosely Ladies and gentlemen, some word salad for your entertainment. But anyway. Hey, well, now now that real Wade is here, I don't feel so out of place. Everybody else had pictures of, uh, you know, individuals on their thing, and I was the only non-picture. I was going to have to change that, but I guess I can leave it now. Mm, one, one second. You know what? I, I spent four years fighting under that flag. Leave it up there. We all make mistakes. That wasn't <laughs> one of them. <laughs> there you go. Is that, is, that, is that a good sign for you? Oh, that's a good one. Here, I got one. I got uh I got a good one for you, Tony. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Never! 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 Oh, wait, right, Wes, you, 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 huh? yeah. you, you, oh, that's great. You were hanging in there watching it. How do you like Masters of the Air? It's not, it's not so bad, right? Well, there's those three. There's the Masters of the Air, the Band of Brothers, and the Pacific. Which do you find is uh, the better of all three? Best one is easily Band of Brothers, but the most spectacular one 
is probably Masters of the Air. Some of those air battles, they had to like space out the air battles between episodes and have episodes oh, that they spent time thinking about it. Cool. It's, Rob the, the dog, got a, I don't a even know if we could call it. We're going to. We're gonna have dog fighting in the next episode because the five hundred first Tuskegee Airmen are, have showed up now, and the Red Tails are out there, and the and the P fifty ones are engaging the Luftwaffe. Until now, it was just like frantic and frightening attacks on the uh, planes by uh, yes. ground ground fire from Pope Benedict and his friends, and uh, the Luftwaffe in the air. But yeah, not yeah. that they managed mm -hmm. to make that so damn scary i was absolutely terrified here's my problem with masters of the air i don't know who half of them are half the time because they're wearing masks and helmets and hats and fucking mm. full full jumpsuits and like you just don't know who's who and like they're talking through these constricted masks so their voices lose distinctiveness so you just you just don't know who's who like could somebody have like an eye patch and so, some, somebody maybe wear like a yankee hat so anything to, yeah. to delineate who who's who so yeah, you don't yeah know that's, that's, sometimes that's, that's the, the problem, problem I had with the uh, Midway remake. There wasn't anybody distinctive like the 1976 version with Charles Neston. It was there, every there was every character was very guy. distinctive. There's only two guys who were distinctive: uh, Nick Jonas, which shocked me. I was like, "Wow, he should have played Han Solo." That character was so <laughs> much more Han Solo than the Han Solo we got in Solo, which is a piece of shit movie. But McCluskey, the guy, uh, the American Indian uh, squadron leader. That character had enough individuality. But yeah, like the only thing we could say is when Roland Emmerich has a lot of characters, he doesn't lose track of them. He just fails to develop them. Like mm, the Rings true. of Power and J.J. Abrams and Star Trek Discovery, when you're not on screen, your character freezes, like all development, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, have a good night, Kronos. Hey, Eugene Bird. Hail, hail you, to you, uh, 8th Air Force. Now we can yes. uh, actually answer this question here from Robert Wright. Do you guys have some favorite Irish themed movies or shows? I will start with a horror classic and a horror classic series with uh, Warwick Davis actually playing a role that I enjoy him playing. Look, uh, oh, I know this one. I, my favorite Leprechaun. is Leprechaun 2, Leprechaun, Leprechaun and the Hood, but oh, yeah. <laughs> Leprechauns. I was gonna say Leprechauns too. That's the only one I can think of, though. I'm thinking you about know, tonight story, instead we of a show. Have, we'll yeah, just I watch had a Leprechaun. Starktober. Too. I had a Starktober, and it was just me and a couple of friends. And one of them, one of my friends, stayed up, and we had a half gallon of Jameson between us, and we marathoned Leprechaun, and we spoke in that shitty Irish accent, and somehow was able to <laughs> rhyme the entire fucking night until that bottle was gone. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. I wish I had recorded it. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Zeke. You are awesome. Um, but yes, yes, Leprechaun for sure. But we'll go around the panel with that question. Uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 uh, I say Leprechaun's really the only one I can think of. Ah, yes. Rattle and hum. Rattle and hum. Oh, God. No, you two. Please. No, you two. You know what? Is it, That's got to count as an Irish movie, though. I mean, I, <laughs> when asked a difficult question, I threw it out there. It's like, if we go around <laughs> to a second round, it's far and away. I mean, it's like distances and noises figure into your Irish movie. Rattle and hum, second one, far and away. And then third is any and all Richard Harris movies. I love when they when they gave Richard Harris a, a, an Academy Award. The, like, the announcer's like, this is the second Academy Award for British actor Richard Harris. And he like noticeably like shakes and he's like, I want to say thank you to the Academy, but for fuck's sake, I'm an Irish actor. I'm an Irish actor when I crash my car. I'm an Irish actor when I punch a police officer because I'm drunk. And I'm an Irish actor when I win an Academy Award. I'm quite tired of this. He's a British actor when he's good, but he's an Irish actor when he's bad. Fuck you. It's like Richard Harris has won three Academy Awards. It's like, wow, what a fucking epic fucking madman. Nice. Rob Wright says, I love Darby O'Gill and the Leto people. Oh, ah, yeah, so do I. Very good. I'm choice. confused by it, but I like it. Yeah, I was going to say Michael I'm Collins, but I think uh, I agree with Teague. Um, the um, uh, but Darby uh, O'Gill or Rattle and Hub? No, 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 not you two. God, God. The other one. Um... Oh, Richard Harris. Any Richard Harris movie. 
<laughs> Eugene Burns oh, says, is leap year Irish? Because me, so I own it for Amy Adams. Well, <laughs> so, right. that makes a lot of us, sir. That makes a lot of us. The Hallow. You know I did what? watch like, that one. That was pretty good. Maybe we should watch the Kathy Ireland sci-fi movie tonight for, for St. Patrick's Day. That's a fucking total piece of garbage. She can't act oh, at all. It was Far and Away that you mentioned. That's what it was. Yes. Oh, Far and Away. Yeah, Rattle and Hum and Far and Away. Like, for some reason, it sounds like they're sequels, right? It's like, oh. yeah, I, I, liked, I liked Far and Away, but the second one, Rattle and Hum, that one, that one made more sense. Far and Away was good. Like, Look, like my favorite member of you two in Rattle and Hum is by far the bass player. He just sits there smoking tiny, tiny cigarettes. He's completely, <laughs> he's completely implacable. Hey! He has no reaction. Hey, Ray Lucard. He has, but he has no reaction to anything. It's like you're dating Naomi Campbell. It's like a moment of silence. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh. Larry Mullen, the best. <laughs> Dead air is no fun. We got to start <laughs> talking, everyone. <laughs> Maybe I'll start with a song or two just to keep the flow going. Come on. Keep talking. <laughs> Come to man, enjoy his beer, and let his guests have their conversations. Well, is uh, Gangs of New York an Irish film? It it's, can yeah, be. It, it is. Very, it's very it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, you know, Cameron Diaz it is, is Irish, like... Uh, very is much. I think I think she's probably Cuban, to be honest with you, because like the last name doesn't sound too Irish. It's fucked up that her and Snoop Dogg graduated from fucking high school together. <laughs> I, I, you know what, uh, Cameron Diaz. I, I think, um, uh, what's that? What's that film? Um, uh, oh, oh, my best friend's wedding. I think she was great in that. That's a great film, and I think she was really good in it. The most spankable, hot, I can't resist her, Cameron Diaz uh, look is A Life Less Ordinary, where she plays a totally weird chick. <laughs> well, you know what they say about uh -oh. the, uh, the the, the uh, weird chicks. Ray She's Lucard hot in us. Stop telling She's the skeletons hot. to gnaw on the wires. She's hot in very bad things, too. No one ever looked better in a pair of Levi's than she does in very bad things. Hmm? At the end of the movie, she like runs out in the street screaming into the air. And like, it's like when you see her run out the door, it's like she runs out the door and it's like, wow, man, Cameron Diaz doesn't need any tailoring to look great in a, anything, just anything. She looks so <laughs> hot. She's like, just wearing like a t shirt and a pair of 501s. And she's like, runs out the door screaming. It's like, holy shit, like, no, no, no assistance needed. <laughs> UD Bird has sent. A $9.99 super chat of superlative generosity of a pair just rolling around and having a good old time. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, sir. And thank you very much. We appreciate you. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Who the hell do you, sir? <laughs> I like that movie, um, Hollow. That was supposed to be an Irish like folklore kind of horror movie. That one was pretty good. They basically try to take. The, I think they're. I don't know if they're trying to take the baby in this one because there's a few I've seen that are like the Irish folklore kind of horror movies. But I know they get this house and they take the bars off of it, the iron bars, which they're not supposed to do. And basically, they're coming in to take their baby, and oh. it's like fairy lore and stuff like that. Oh. Apparently, she is retired and lives like a regular person and not a diva, Cameron Diaz. Yeah, I hear oh. she's kind of down to earth with that. It's not all that retired. She still shows up. But yeah, I think I guess day and night sort of ended or bad teacher. It was kind <laughs> of like that was about it. Sex tapes, what sold 25,000 tickets its opening weekend. It was like this real, the actual most failed film of all time. Cameron was good in a lot of films. I like her. I just like looking at her, but you know. So and I'm not even saves, the blondes. She saves the mask. Yeah. I don't think she's really blonde either. Yeah. Only one way to find out. You all are looking for the mask. So we'll give them the I'm, mask. When I picture Cameron Diaz naked, I kind of picture that as a bear area. But, but it's, the mystery would still be maintained. You'd have to like, oh, hardwood floor. Her hair. Eugene <laughs> yeah, Byrne goes yeah, on to say... She was coming no hard on Jim Carrey. <laughs> really? That's 
that's one of the things that I do like the most about her is like I didn't get the impression that she ever would have bothered having sex with Jim Carrey. And I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if we lived in a world where Jim Carrey got to fuck Cameron Diaz, I'd be like, it's not fair. Why work out? Why 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 do I why do I get haircuts? Why do I shave? What's the Comic Relief Crusader goes sandwich break. Hopefully, it's not just some slap together, Ruben. What you what you slap between that sliced bread, sir? Give us an insight. You are what you your eat. intake. Yes, yes, we are what we eat. That's I'm a good trouble. segment. You are what you eat. The next thing that you eat is going to make you whatever it is, I guess. Well, you know what? Beer has caloric intake. I'm I, can't fi- <laughs> I bought a sandwich on Friday and I can't finish it. I've got a, it's a $5 50 foot of sandworm. <laughs> what the f- it's a uh, a sandworm from Arrakis, Iraqi and sandworm, uh, free range Iraqi and sandworm. You ha- yeah, you don't have to pay for it. You just have to stomp your foot rhythmically on the floor of the subway for a few minutes. And it shows up. Damn it. Uh, fuck that Dune movie. I'm not going to see that, and I'm not going to see the American ah, Society of Magical Negroes. I hear it's good, Negros. I hear it's I mean, good too. I, I hear it's good for a movie. Yeah. I don't know if people like it as far as lore, but I haven't seen it. I've heard good and bad, depending on, I guess. She's, I mean, I hear it's a good, good. standalone, the if nothing else. Where they put down, uh, Scarlet's the saying what I heard. The best in the council. Scar- I won't give Scarlet's too much saying more, what I heard. But I haven't seen this it. That's what, just what I've heard through the great This is what I haven't personally seen it, though. What I heard could be summed up like this. While a good movie that's enjoyable, it is a terrible movie of the book. Oh, yeah? Really? You have to live with well, that uh, while well, you watch you, the movie. Are you, are you this is, I, I'm paraphrasing. To the book? Are you subscribing to the book? Is that your preferred medium? For it's a ter- I'm quoting. I've never read the book. I won't read a book by someone with two first names. That's 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 <laughs> that. his name's Frank what? Herbert. I'm sorry. No, I don't. It's a, it's a, I don't put it's a hat a in the book. bed. Uh, you 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 could tell me about it. I would not. Uh, I'm afraid if his name was Frank Herbertson, that would be different. Uh, if his name was like what what like like Mackenzie Phillips, I really trusted her because she had two last names. <laughs> It's just my own little weird quirk. Well, the thing I like yeah, about no, Dune, I won't read. I won't read a lot of people. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, the, a lot of inspirations for Warhammer 40k about the Imperium of Mankind uh, have been greatly influenced from how the Imperium in Dune is set up as you know this long range spacefaring empire that relies on a certain material or magical force. To either navigate the long treks through deep space and to make warp travel possible. Uh, but there's the no men in the AI, movie. The fear of the problem, AI. The, the it's problem all, with the movie it's all is there. I don't need Timothy Chalamet as my strong female type leading the movie. It's just, it's <laughs> like, I understand that he's now a movie star, but he's so effeminate and uninspiring. Hmm. Eugene Byrne says, I'm definitely a cow then. Uh, what do, what one saggy boob say to the other? We got to get some support around here. <laughs> People are going to think. Ah! 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 <laughs> yeah, that was good. Who, God, who looks God, more God. like an old, who looks more like a ball sack, Palpatine or Biden? Palpatine. <laughs> yeah, I Palpatine. don't know, man. That's like I was looking at my ball sack the other day and I was like, it looks a little like Biden. <laughs> Well, did it start offering you uh, um, relief for your student loans and uh, yeah. then take that money and ship it overseas? Because it said you know. it was wearing a T-shirt that said "Free Candy." <laughs> oh, so you got you got Sleepy Joe? It's a free candy. Can I sniff your hair? I got <laughs> yeah. I'm That's, sleepy that, Joe. that is the only election someone as weird as him could have won. It's like. This What's election's up? gonna be different. I'm We're back. gonna run in our basements without hey, leaving, back. and the less you say, the better. Hey, it's like the, the guy who says less and shows up the least and has the le- the less uh, least amount of ideas is gonna win this election. And like everyone's like, seriously? And it's like, watch us make this happen. Right. <laughs> 
dead I air it. once again. There we go. <laughs> I, I have absolutely no criticism for anybody who felt it was time to have somebody who had who was quiet, uninspired, and had no idea and had nothing to say. Maybe they were you know, I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just it was strange. Like mm -hmm. it was the inverse of most outcomes. Like by staying home and saying nothing, this weird guy while well, you we know if in a normal election he would have sniffed someone's hair or done something bizarre, <laughs> and people just would have been like, you know, I'm um, like, like first of all, like most people who voted for him would have been like, you know what, like uh, uh, maybe I don't like the other guy, but I'm just gonna stay home. They're both too weird. Only an election where you sit home in your basement and do absolutely nothing is Joe Biden, the great campaigner. Now the problem is, is that most people vote and they don't listen to what the candidates are saying. If you actually listened to what he was saying, you would have never voted for him. Well, let's keep the politics to a minimum. Uh, yeah, all we know is it was, we had two of the closest elections in American history. So, you know, Republicans and Democrats, they both buy pizza and hot dogs. Let's just be friends to all. I'm not going to tell. I have never, ever made moral uh, we, assessments we, on who to vote for. We recently or at the castle, country. we recently at the castle lobbied for a common sense party. I think we should go with that. Oh, that leaves out 90% yeah. of the American population then. Well, then I guess we got a lot of work then. <laughs> yes, we do. We got a lot. Yeah. Let's, let's start with our educational system. Let's unban most books and just teach people what, uh, how to un understand them. Yeah, no bans, them, maybe, maybe age limits. You know, teach them like, like how so, to think, not what to think. Right. Like, uh, like there are books that don't belong in a grammar school, but there are no books that don't belong in some place. Where the, even the biggest pack of lies should be read and understood in context for what True. it is. Like, if you want to understand that Hitler was an idiot who was always going to lose that war, by all means, try to read Mein Kampf. Go ahead and try. <laughs> it is an absolute... Have you ever read it? It's a mess. In one <laughs> sentence, he talks about like he'll he'll unroll an economic plan, uh, the future of his nation's people, dating and fashion advice. One paragraph. It's just like what the fuck is he talking yeah, about? Well, it's a rambling mess. It's a mess. It's the ramblings of a madman who was pissed because nobody bought his artwork. Okay. It's the ramblings of a madman who was pissed because no one bought his artwork. Dispersed in a in a long, uh, like he took two breaths the whole book, in a rant to a guy who was equally crazy and didn't edit it. You know, the guy the, like Rudolph Hess didn't edit that fucking thing. He was just as crazy. So just love in the chest, says, says Herbert the Bird. <laughs> yeah. I said to my sister, Oh boy, what did we get out of ourselves into now? Well, I say somebody just came back from their dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I says, Get your fat ass over here, you stupid <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm just so mm. <laughs> oh, We're back to dead air, and it's my fault. Carry on as you were. Hey, I well, think you I, post, <clears throat> I sent you two vi funny videos if you need a palate cleanser. I I think we can clean our own palates. Um, oh, remember, now good. that I am monetized, my good fellow, I can't just go and play anything willy nilly on the air anymore. Oh, I forgot you were. Sure, you can. There's just consequences. Let's yeah, that, for that's another good, episode good, of Palette or Consequences. Good, good way of putting it. But you know what? Really, my favorite movie as far as Hilter goes. Did anyone ever see the movie where Obi Wan plays Hitler? How fucking weird and and strange is that movie? Which one was that? It was Obi Wan one plays Hilter in a movie called The Bunker. It's based on a book called The Last Hundred Days. Yeah, I did. I did see that. It's First all right. of all, it was weird because he was masterful, but he's still Obi Wan. So you're like, "Wow, Obi Wan is like, would have been, been the best possible emperor, most attractive redhead." Uh, oh, the woman McPherson. who played the yeah, the woman who played Delia Dietz in Beetlejuice. <laughs> Fight me, El McPherson. No, El McPherson, the Thunder from hey, Down whoa, Under. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You all forgot about um. Black Widow. Um, uh, no, she's Scarlet, 
Charlotte was we, hot in her younger years and before she became a maniac. Um, let's be honest. She had a breast reduction, Jones. sir. Yeah, she had a breast reduction. Yeah, that's I'm offensive talking, to I'm me. Talking as a man. About the cart- I'm not talking about the real life actress. I'm talking about Most- the character. Oh, okay. Hey, hey guys, I'm sorry. I gotta head case, out real I'll quick. See. But um, thanks uh, for letting me come on and hang out. I'll be lurking in the chat. Oh, you bet. You bet. Thank you for hanging one. out with us tonight. And, yeah, uh, man. Happy St. Patty's uh, Day. Have fun. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's, 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 Patrick's Day. Day. Grab yourself a beer on the way out. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Appreciate you being Cheers, guys. On. Take care. Cheers. Absalom, hey, uh, Absalom Malikum, as they say. It's it's St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Absalom Malikum. I forgot. I forgot. Mary Jean was a Christina redhead. Hendricks. Yes, yes, yes. She is right. Yes, so, so right. are we um, including fictional characters that are redheads? Then I guess Rogue counts. Well, if no, we're doing Rogue, wait, characters, wait, wait, wait. Let me see this. Rogue is comic. In. Rogue has red hair. God, if we're doing fictional characters, and I say Rias Gremory from uh, uh, High School DxD, I'm gonna say um, Jillian an Anderson. Read, I'll allow it. Julian Anderson, but only after she had so much surgery no. that she was a totally different person because she has a body like a rubber fuck doll. Julian now. Anderson <laughs> back in the X Files days, especially the early X Files days, I got some. I got some nice pictures. I need to send. She's you. She's really out. pretty in the face, hey. and her face her face stayed pretty. But she got so much surgery on her body, like she is a rubber fuck doll with the face of Julian Anderson now. I mean, now, so much now, so now. boobs are just huge. Robert Wright. Happen. Robert Wright is just a rabbit. I agree. Just no, a rabbit. Yeah, now yeah. I have to do this. I have to do this for Robert Yeah, Wright. but it I keep getting ink on my dick every time I'm with her. It's a well-known fact that Doomcock has a Jessica Rabbit impersonation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a Roger Rabbit impersonation. I shall now share it with you all now. <clears throat> Oh, how I love Jessica. Let me count the ways. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Uh, uh, you know, it's good, it's good there, the uh, Tony, but uh, doesn't 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 affect the lower region of my body like uh, Jessica does. <laughs> doesn't uh, doesn't Jessica Rabbit play Chandler's mom on Friends? Chandler's father on Friends, I mean. Oh, um, what's her name? Uh, Turner? Kathleen Turner. Doesn't Kathleen she play? Turner. Hey, doesn't she has Rogue a, have, She has that manish voice. Rogue has brown hair, not red hair. Yeah, and brown I mean, hair. All right, white my streak. mistake. Yeah, she has a white streak in it. Um, Robert Wright. I guess Gene has the red Roger hair. Wright. If we're going with fictional redheads, then I uh, I vote for Ariel from Mary The Little Jane Mermaid. Watson. Mary Jane Watson. There you go. If we're doing, especially from comics, now, Mary Jane Watson. Now you're content. talking about Haley Bailey, right? Yeah, you said fictional. You said fictional. By the way, I, I don't want to say Haley Bailey is a bad actress or a bad name. Uh, she's actually kind of cute, but if my name was Haley Bailey and I was going into acting, I might change my name to like Haley J- like J- Jalubi or anything yeah. but I'm, Haley Bailey. It just it sounds too much like Halle Berry, and they're like, there's a 45 True. year age difference, and you're like, I just went to see the new Halle Berry movie. It's called The Little Mermaid, and you go there, and you're like, what What happened to Halle Berry? Did they the age her? <laughs> and they're like, you've got to see Halle Berry in Moonfall, and it's like, what, why is what what what's going on with Halle <laughs> Berry? Her, her eyes are really close together out of nowhere. Yeah, that's that's the problem I have with her. It looks, looks like her eyes are trying to escape her nose. She is kind of pretty, though. I'm not. I, I feel bad for her. And all of Disney. I even have a little bit of pity for Rachel Pigler. I mean, Rachel Ziegler, um, because uh, another one. I, I, but I just think like you take a 20 year old woman and you start telling her insane things, and then she's like showing up in public wearing a low cut ball gown with a fucking button down shirt underneath it. It's like, what's going on with you and your fellow? Like, did you do you go to Pedro Pascal's stylist? Like, why do you dress like an asshole? Weird, 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 <laughs> weird, weird. Why do I have to go after her for what she says when she dresses so fucking weird? I don't have to really be personal. I'm like, button down shirt with a low cut ball gown. Weird, 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 weird. Yeah, weird, your, your weird. looks are something you can't help, but how you dress 
Yes. Choices. Choices. And uh, I will call Rachel Ziegler Rachel Pigler because it's funny and it rhymes. <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> Gotta say, Mara Jade is the top for me. Yeah, Mara Jade's a good one. Mara Jade's a good one. I gotta say, too, if I told you my girlfriend's name was Rachel Ziegler, wouldn't you be picturing someone who looks a lot more like, I don't know, the uh, like, like, uh, the, the chick from, uh, like, like the German chick from, uh, a National Treasure? What's her name? Helen, Helen Kruger, Helena Kruger, or whatever her name is. Uh, Diana name Kruger. Are you talking about the blonde? She's in Troy as well. Hell, uh, Diane Kruger. Yeah, she's blonde. But that's what you picture Rachel Ziegler would look like Diane Kruger. You don't picture the person that you get. Like, the name does not match the, the face at all. Rachel Ziegler, you're like, oh, is she related to Steven Spielberg? Is like that, or, is that Steven Spielberg's cousin? Oh, <laughs> yeah. She used to watch J.J. Uh, Abrams when, when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. 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 J.J. Abrams babysat his way into ruining everyone's childhood. How does oh, that work just, out? You just killed a chap by mentioning J.J. Abrams. God. Sorry, yeah, and the, the scroll <laughs> is uh, ceased. Uh, the next thing we're going to say, uh, just to make sure that everybody's double and triple dead, we're now going to say Alex Kurtzman. Ah! No, con! Alex Kurtzman. Yeah. Kennedy. Oh. Could you, you know what? Can we put all these people in a bus and just have it go away? <laughs> easy, easy. YouTube is listening. Terry Metallus. <laughs> I just feel sorry for him. I have no hatred. <laughs> <laughs> now the chat is indeed double dead and triple dead. <laughs> Remember, remember this. Let's like my mama said, man. Whether you're a ditch digger or an astronaut, be the best one that you can damn well be. And I, I like to assholes where I can and when I can, and if that means killing the chat. Well, shit. <laughs> Always be the best you can be. God, Tony, I just ate. Well, now you get to eat it again if it so chooses. <laughs> 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 the wood pile has been stocked. Drinking vodka and beer and burning leaves on the lawn, listening to this bunch and having a great safe party day. Hope you are too. Uh, nice. If you want to chime in with this bunch, you're more than welcome to Canadian Spider Man. We we would like to have an afternoon uh, campfire. Uh, yes, great our brother from the Great our, White our North. Mmm, <sighs> <laughs> dead air dead air is no fun Stop hey talking T, are you making everyone. a bracket speak if you don't want dead March air madness my yeah. college got eliminated in the second game i'm so fucking angry which is that who i went to stony brook oh nice oh, is nice. m is dick oh, oh you heard it? Yeah, you heard yeah. It? i applied I there at one point mother. Oh, did you? You know yeah. what? Then you'll know. That shit's hard to get into. I don't know how it I was. did it all. <laughs> I just had a good day te getting tested. Uh, honestly. Stony Brook, I was the dumbest guy in the room all the time. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, in 2024, you wouldn't be, so. Maybe not. Um, but I will say this. I now know, like, from taking sociology in the 90s, I now know where this popular misconception is you, of you cannot be racist to a white person came from i can oh. actually explain that one you ready so you know like when you're mean to uh someone who is of uh the the people of the old testament uh you know that's called anti uh ism right we know it but there but they don't there is no such thing as that you know hey, so there's no such thing. Murder, it's good it's to a, see you happy saint patrick's a, day it's a and, word that's uh, only used negatively. Sorry about that. It's there. There's no. There's no positive form of it, right? Like there's no no such thing as Semitism, right? So so to, you can't be anti something that doesn't exist. Was like the thought, right? So they're like, well, racism means when people when European All right, people Rob scratch Wright, you, you take care, and we'll see you soon. Great to see you. 
uh, like the, the, the somebody sat down and defined racism as when like white Spanish people strapped cannons to boats and took over other countries that that was racism, right? Because like Romans had slavery, but there was no racial component. So like apparently, this is what the emerging thought was: racism is white people being mean to other people, but when other people express racial hatred, which is a real thing. That would be called reverse racism. And that was just a short period of time where people believed that, like four or five years. And then like smarter people came out and cooler heads prevailed. And they're like, no, no, racism is racism. It's too complicated to do it this way. Like it is what it is. We're, people do, yeah, I, people I, are smart I enough to know how. We're getting into a hot topic forms. again. We're getting into a hot topic. Uh, we're done with that one. I think we, we, we put that one to bed pretty quickly. Yeah, let's put that it's one. Not, it's bed. not like I was advocating for that. I'm saying, like, this is how the thought that uh, you couldn't do it to certain people existed. Eugene Bird goes on to say, silence can make the heart grow fonder. Five seconds of dead air, okay? We won't abandon the panelists thinking of moments when Harvey. No, 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 don't you be <laughs> like now. We're, no, never. Words are, never. Push the button. Never. No, no, no. Words button. are very unnecessary. I say, let Harvey out. It'll be a no. party. No, West Cagle. Seen. You are a saboteur, too. I put my blood, sweat, tears, and occasionally pee into those fucking panels, and you have to go down there and ruin it. You well, and I'd Heather put, L and Rob Wright and everybody else. I put I, I put my pee into it, too. I tried to pee right on a spark oh. plug to, to short out the containment field, but it didn't work. Oh. No, I think I I think I caught Doom Kaka like off guard when I made my Omnivac joke when I was when I was on there. I was just, just like, yeah, having a good time, Admiral Teague. I'm like, it's great to be here, but I think I left my cell phone with the hotspot activated next to Omnivac. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm, I'm not me, too like, fond oh. of Omnivac getting getting uh, killing us, but uh, I'd, I'd like to see Harvey go uh, stomping all over the place. You yeah, are if a we, bad if we bad. Set them if we set them both free at once, it would be like the alternative factor of the original series, like struggling back and forth, like neither one would ever gain a full advantage. Well, that could be true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Skynet versus no, Harvey, Satan. Harvey would just disarm all the nukes and make them uh, in, in useless because he has, you know, the ability to manipulate the laws of the physical universe. So It's, it's true. I've, I've heard he gets very angry when he sees Superman for the quest for peace. He absolutely hates that movie. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the only one i mean christopher reeve felt the same way but you know what just the like uh like if you say the words friends or peace around harvey it's like the emperor he just like starts to freak out a little bit like <laughs> no for the, the only... squid well is that a request do you want gilbert godfrey to just come on here and 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 wax poetic about saint patrick's day oh my lord in heaven you really want me to murder my voice today <laughs> <laughs> Whenever uh, people ask me what was it like being on pop culture breakdown, I give the same answer. It's like I, I went to the coordinates and I was beamed up. Before I fully materialized on the pad, I was stunned twice. When I woke up, Gary Ambrosia was slapping me in the face. I was tied to a chair. <laughs> the dagger of the mind and a computer monitor were in front of me, and my mic was activated, but it was time for me to speak. <laughs> I have a similar I have a similar experience from my first time going on to pop culture breakdown. It went a little bit like this. I was busy upgrading and maintaining the field. I noticed this master blaster, like eight foot tall, baby face mutant go, the bus will see you now. And he has like this billy club, right? <laughs> and I'm like, you don't have to hit me. You don't have to hit me. He hits me anyway. I'm dragged into the same chamber that Teague mentions. And there's Gary Ambrosia going, you better be fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. The only thing he said to me when I came to was, I was like, what's going on? He's like, Way to go, Teague. It only took one third as long for the pattern buffers to clear the alcohol out of your system as it does for Stark. <laughs> uh, uh, God. God. I, I would be a deer in a headlight on that uh, panel. I would I would probably say nothing. I see nothing. I say nothing. <laughs> It's fun. It's a fun, honestly, it's a fun place to be, and you'll feel at ease in two minutes talking to Doomcock. He knows exactly how to make you feel comfortable. Oh, I have He's no problem talking to doctor. Doomcock. I just, I just wouldn't know what to say to the rest of them. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Doomcock makes you feel at ease on Friday Night Frolics all the time, so I, I, I would be cool with him. But 
Mm-hmm. The other ones, they seem, I don't know, it seem like uh, they are like. They're like really approachable. Like quite honestly, quite honestly, they're really approachable. And when the camera went off, hey, they were Ranker, all super Steve, how you nice. doing, buddy? Hey, Ranker Steve, what's up? When the when the cameras went off, they were super nice and super supportive to me. The you know the one time I was there, I just you know they were very very nice guys. Oh, cool. Very nice. <coughs> oh, it was just to try a GG impress. Uh, I, I was just trying a Gilbert Godfrey impress. It was let me tell you about the time Shrek visited me last St. Patrick's Day. Well, if you guys like- want a little Gilbert on. <laughs> Hey, Canadian Spider-Man. How you doing? Hey! Uh, hey. Hey. Hail to you, sir. Cheers, Cheers, man. Cheers, man. It's, it's we'll summertime. Uh, yeah. And I've got a glass full of vodka. I'm burning leaves. Oh, I thought right. you killed a va- I thought you lured a vampire out into the sun. <laughs> Five minutes ago, this was a six-foot-tall vampire trying uh, to kill me. Uh, Saber, the death race uh, starring your car. Uh, will be uh, the first member video, uh, and I will have that up before too long. You will be my first racer, and uh, we will have that up sometime within the week for you. And we will be announcing, uh, and hopefully you make it to the finish line and run over as many pedestrians as possible. Remember, fleeing pedestrian, 20 points. Elderly in a wheelchair, 50. Go for broke. Hit a whole <laughs> hospital for a two to 300 point bonus. I want to see Trent. That. How about uh, huh? trannies on a rainbow crosswalk? Oh, no points. Well, we would what need was to it have like on the Enola Gay grizzly vehicle for that. What was Coloring it like on the Enola Gay when they were different. watching the mushroom cloud? Do you think they're like, oh, think of all the points we got, man? Think of all the right, like the, the whole city just gone. The guys, in hey, Enola Steve, Gay, what like, are you doing, bud? You want to come hang that. out? Let me know if you want to come hang out, buddy. This celebration, this uh, St. Patrick's Day celebration, I want to say hi to as many people that I associate with as possible. Even hey, Canadian geez. Spider-Man's here. He's shirtless. This is Wes Cagle's first stream ever. Yes. And I've had Ginger Menace on. I've had Scarlet Fever on. I had Wade Nation on. And pants. Yeah, I had Scarlet. Pants are off. Man, I Saber on. You're in Xanadoom right now? Well, uh... Tell everybody down there who I said, hey, we're hanging out at the tower. Um, this is a great okay. idea, Tony. Thank you for doing this. It's St. Yes. Patrick's Day, and I was I was I was I was under the assumption that this is just gonna be a pregame before he does one at four central, which he usually does for holiday. And I figured because I, I'm always after him, this would be ironic if I you know did a show before him, but since he's not feeling too well. Uh, this is went into sudden death, uh, overtime. Uh, so we're hanging out and I guess that I have worked off that last beer. So I think I can have one more safely. Yes. Nice. Hey, if Rancor Steve's they, uh, down in Xanadu, tell him to push the button. No, no button pushing. God damn it. I work real hard on that motherfucker. I work real hard on that field. I work really, really hard on it. No. <laughs> The jolly candy like button. No, the will Ray Car Steve push the giant red button? Will he push the candy like button? The history eraser button. <laughs> Do I still get to push the big red shiny button, Brain? <laughs> yes, Pinky, you still get to push the big red shiny button. <laughs> oh, Priority one what is 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 coming in on secure channel. Uh oh. Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secured channel. Uh huh. Oh, I like that. Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secured channel. Who's calling? Priority one message from Starfleet coming in on secured channel. I'm having a few beers. Priority one message from Starfleet. <laughs> I'm not doing any more than that. Uh, um, who called? Was that Canadian Spider-Man? Was that his ringtone? Oh, wasn't here. <laughs> so, do we find out who called? Mm-hmm. I can't stop, Stark of Iron. It's getting more ridiculous. Well, I think Steve is uh, hanging out in uh, Xanadu. So, 
there's no need for that for him to come up because that's quite a trip. We don't have the teleporters in between those two locations just yet. I think yep. I have a telegram. You're boring, Tony. You're <laughs> boring. <laughs> you do coke and you kill people. That's boring. Greatest, yeah. uh, greatest middle school play ever. That was a. Fun oh play. my god! That was. was I, I thought that we were going to have to get oxygen to Appian when we showed him that. He's like, wait, what the fuck is this? And I, I got to be honest, like, I, I don't know. I, I've told the story a couple of times, but like, Sounds fun. I, live in New, I live in New York. I can go see, I can go like to Broadway, right? And every once in a while, I'll see a play. And, you know, I, I saw Man of La Mancha, which is, uh, Doomcock sings a few songs from it. It's my favorite play. It's about nice. Don Quixote, right? But when I went in there, Dulcinea, which is the female lead, Aldonza, was played by Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio. So she came out and was like, oh, my God, it's Sheena from Scarface. And she's like doing the lines from from uh, from 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 like, you know, uh, from from Mano La Mancha. She's doing him well. But in my mind, all I can hear is like, you want to fuck me, Tony? <laughs> like, oh, my God, it's Gina. It's fucking Gina from Scarface. He got into the heart of the monster. <laughs> Uh, oh god yeah there there are there are some there are some people that when you see them in another film you can only hear them doing lines from something else that you know that's that's why uh, i really hate the george lucas book on tape that i bought because uh he doesn't read it himself it's read by, uh, it's hey read george by leave the originals person. alone I, uh, I may have gone a bit too far in a few places. I, uh, Push it to I got the burned limit. mistake for, for, for changing eight frames to show that uh, Han Solo wouldn't murder a man in cold blood. <laughs> yeah, but that's the oh, character God. he was, <laughs> George. I know. Like, it's so weird. For, like, for a brief period of time, like Han Solo got chicks, um, dealt drugs, and killed people. Yes. And then he became a loser again. It was really weird. What? We thank you for the bonfire treatment. Uh, it looks nice out there uh, where you're at as well. Yes. Um, appreciate it. Uh, you know, I it's, have enough. It's gorgeous. It's, it's keeping me warm. But now I feel really warm. 20 degrees Celsius, Tony. 20 degrees Celsius. Jeez, Speak American, lovely. Canadian Spider-Man. What? That, uh, that's summertime weather. That's like 75 degrees. That's oh, right. wow. Very nice. Well, obviously. I mean, sometimes you are learn the metric. It's 70 fucking degrees. Nice. Yeah. Wow. All the way up there in uh, BC, huh? In in yeah. full sun. Yeah, I, I'm, it, I'm. It's I'm, actually I'm, warmer there. East of Vernon. If, you, if Vernon's right in the heart of the Okanagan near Kelowna. BC is much warmer than places that are only a few, uh, like a little bit further north on the map. Like it's nowhere, nothing like Alaska. It's got like a warm sound. Oh God, no. It's sort of, it's got more mild winters than than New York in general. Uh, Alaska, wow. I think, is two thousand miles north. The uh, Admiralty. Is it that far north? It'd be all right. Yeah. So. The thing is, the weather is it's considerably nicer than something like Washington State. Yeah, I got you. Boston Disney has Shooter. much worse. Boston has much worse weather than BC. Yeah, uh, agreed. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's sixty-two story, here right now. I don't know where uh, you're a little farther north than me, uh, Teague, but it's sixty-two down here in uh, the uh, shite hole that is New Jersey. It's sixty degrees even in New York City. Oh. I have my air conditioner on. Oh, they gave me one of those shirts at the, at the bar the other day. This is the best pub I've ever been to, and I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. But this nice. is uh, hold on. I do McDermott's have pub. McDermott's pub, Clare oh. County, Ireland. Sean McDermott was one of the signatories of the yep. Irish uh, Declaration of Independence. That's why. That's mm -hmm. why it's called that. Wow. Patrick Pierce, Sean this McDermott, is and James Connolly. Live oh. Irish music. Uh, cheap beer prices. It's not far from the Cliffs of Mohan. And and if you go to Ireland, the Cliffs of Mohan. Mohan. No, that's not wrong. Uh, that's not right. Mohar. The Cliffs of Mohar? The Cliffs of Mohar, I think, 
Yeah, uh, Mohan is a buddy of mine. No, it's yeah, it's Mohan. Disney Sheep Herder. I have left you a link in the Twitty. Uh, Mohan, Mohan works at the bodega. I just bought a 12 pack from Mohan. That's right. That's right. You got it. He, yeah, he's from Indonesia. I know that guy. Yeah, he's great. Oh, hey, uh, Canadian Spider Man. Uh, yes. Are we are we gonna get some more uh, of your videos from uh, Vietnam? Are you doing Vietnam uh, right well, now? I, uh, God, no, no, no. I don't have any money. No, because of Trudeau, I'm I'm broke. I can't travel. So uh, oh, I mean, I mean you, you posted only a couple. I thought maybe you might have more footage. I, there's I have a guy a, called Canadian yes. Miles Morales who I watch who does all the travel <laughs> videos. Oh, great, it's great. <laughs> you know, it's a good. <laughs> I like you, Admiral Teague. It's a good thing. Because <laughs> you're a shit poker. <laughs> you, like, you like to disturb. Um, yeah, well, no, I mean, I, I do have I, just, I, I do have a lot more footage of Vietnam, and I would like to do a stream on Vietnam. But I think Ireland would be appropriate this next week, hey? Oh, well, this is true. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Late, but yeah, adequate. And I was, I, I would be unfortunately, there. in my party of three, I was the only one that had experience driving because I'd been to Australia and lived there. I, Mm -hmm. driving on the other side of the road so on a road trip of ireland i was the fucking designated driver and one of the, oh, my japanese partner God. didn't even drink but she didn't feel comfortable driving because in ireland i don't know if you know but uh all the roads are bound in by hedges and stone walls and just barricades it's not like here you can go off the but road they here drive and, on the they drive on the same side of the road as we do not the british right they they no, they drive on the opposite side of the road. Yeah, the Japanese on, on, drive, drive on the, the left. Side. That's crazy because in, in Ireland, like the person who said which side of the road to drive on was the Pope. So people who drive on the right side of the road, that's what the Pope said in like the, like the 10th wow. century. That's why in Protestant countries, they drive on the opposite side of the road as a protest against and, the Pope. Right. But well, I thought it was drive because, 70 uh, kilometers an hour, which is, I don't know, American. What's 70 45 kilometers an hour in to American? 50, uh, 50. Yeah. But in blind corners, bound by stone walls, there's nowhere for you to go. It's like on a racetrack, and they don't see where they're going. I drove in Ireland for 10 days. It was insane. I, I wasn't happy. Think about, about the it. They have driver. really small roadsters with great handling, and they don't have uh, everything they else. Do. The only thing they need is, like, really yes. good headlights, really good windshield wipers, and really good handling. I, I do, and I really driving on tiny road. <laughs> And great handling. And great handling. How are the uh, the fun bags? <laughs> Wes Kegel, I am so happy you are here. Thank you for uh, allowing me to introduce you to the wonderful world of live streaming on YouTube. You are definitely not the first, and I have a good feeling you won't be the last. Um, oh, Wes, Wes yes, Kegel's voice? I'm happy to hear him. Yeah, Diego for joining. There's a human behind that flag. Right? <laughs> one of us. One of us. One of us. Uh, <laughs> no, this this is the original American flag. Mm -hmm. I think he's right. Yeah, it's the Benetton. It's Benetton flag, right? This is the uh, Grand Union. I think they called it. Now, West Cable, okay. I'm sure you've explained this before, but where does your name come from? Because it's quite unique. Oh yes. Um, well, the, the the Kegel is German, um, but uh, the the West. Uh, my my um. Disney butter. My mother and father couldn't agree on a, on a first name. My father wanted some some. He wanted to name me Jerry after Jerry West. My mother said no, no, no way. So uh, for some reason. Uh, she thought West was better. So, Cheers, brother, happy St. Patty's Day, sheep herder. I'll drink with you. Happy St. Patrick. I've just been sipping on beer, not getting crazy. Good to see you, Diz. I you're, feel loose you're now, a though. Quiet. Tony has been keeping to his words. Why? <laughs> Tony, don't fall back, Tony. Don't fall I'm back. Not, might, I'm not. You might. You might need to pot up Disney a little bit. He's not that. He's a little bit faint. Okay, well, one second. Mine up or is that y'all? It might be. We don't. We can fix that one. It's us. It's both. We can fix it on both ends. Speak now. How y'all doing? Doing pretty yeah, good, go. brother. Doing pretty now good. Now he's now he's now he's five by five. Yep, I got <laughs> you covered, brother. Got you covered. 
Whenever I, whenever people ask me to do an audio test, like my mind goes blank. So I'm just the only thing I can think of is, in the city of New York, sexually based crimes are considered especially heinous. <laughs> that is why I commit my sexually based crimes in New SUV? Jersey. It's like in the city of New York, sexually based crimes are considered especially heinous. As opposed to the rest of America, where it's okay. In Texas, the sexually based crime. Well, sexually based crime, I guess we better give it to the mundane non victims unit. <laughs> so, uh, which, which, uh, who, who, uh, which law and order is uh, everybody's favorite here? It's gone. I, I, I got to go with vanilla. Cri criminal vanilla law and order. The original? The original? Yeah. yeah, the original. Yes. I'm gonna say criminal intent. Now, 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 this is a bit loud. The one, All the right. one that had um, <laughs> um private file. You are and, loud. And the guy, I guess the guy from the Men oh, in yeah. Black. So I'm yeah. loud now. It's okay. Gotcha now. We, we, Tony, Tony's gonna fix it. Just leave it. Don't mess with your controls. I think what happens say is hi. people tried to fix it. At once. I got it fixed. He's good. Okay. Hello, yeah. everyone. How yeah. are y'all? Hello. You're perfect now. Oh, I'm, like I'm quick on the draw. I'm quick on the draw. The sound engineer in me has returned in full force. I'm quick on the draw with the dials now. I like <laughs> I like hearing a woman say you are perfect. All right. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait. Well, I'm hoping to get me some St. Patty's love when she gets off about 2 a.m. So oh, yeah. there you go. There you go. There you go. Though technically that's the day after, but it's the same to me. With Irish poles be smoking. Oh, she is so lovely and fair. While you're gripping the back of her head and massaging in her hair, oh, let yeah. your Irish poles be smoking. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> is feeling good when the Irish poles be smoking. You better not miss your splooge. Wait, what? Oh, what? God. Well, there goes the stream. I think YouTube's going to cancel <laughs> this thing. That just came to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was that, honey? Oh, dead air, dead air, dead air. Dead well, air is I, no I fun. Thinking. Start talking, everyone. Huh? Uh, so is this going to be like a short stream, or are you doing one of them all-nighters? No, oh. that we'll, be, we'll be running till about 6.30 or 7 o'clock, so here an hour and a half, two hours. Oh, okay. You know, I, I, I have, all of my streams can no longer be six hours or more unless I'm willing to bite a bullet to have the risk of getting copyright claims on it that I cannot fix and post later. Really? Yeah. I just oh, unlocked memberships. The last thing I want to do is lose them again. Why not then um, take your show, edit it with Vegas, and then like re upload it after the live performance? Because then I'll lose my live watches. Not, not if you uh, do the editing on YouTube as well and then just set, put it or upload the show as an <laughs> upload after you do it live, leave the live show up, and then people have the option to listen to the upload. Which will clear all copyrights because there's different rules for uploads. Well, I would, say, I would say that, that when I did when I did when I learned how to play video killed the radio star and I recorded that and then I sung the Alistor line, I mashed it all together. Uh it still was able to pick up the melody and that was through heavy radio. Oh, yeah. So really, that was really... an upload. That was an upload. If I play so a Beatles song on my acoustic right video. now, you'll just think. If I if I play I Want to Hold Your Hand on my acoustic in about a day, it'll figure it out and you'll get the copyright yeah. strike. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah get what happens with that is if I play it and it's my version on my guitar, that will clear, but the money that the view count gets goes right to the Beatles. But if someone super chats me while I'm doing it, that's fine. It's very strange. Ah. Cool. 
Yeah, I will make say sure this God much. The only song, the only song that got dinged from the after Friday Night Frolics party. Uh, let me just go ahead and cover that. I still think it is completely available and there is no copyright dings. And that was just the Andrew WK track for the after party that I hosted after the show, which I quickly muted. Uh, but let's just double check here on my content. The last time I remember any kind of copyright strike really happening was we got a bunch of threatening text messages after we got a bunch of threatening chats. And then somebody said that something might happen to the stream. And then all of a sudden, someone I don't remember who posted a screenshot of them reporting the stream and then denied that they reported the stream. And somehow everyone who split the stream off it was fine. Not but the one that is on your channel had individual. a problem. Let's not discuss what? this individual. We're not here to be competitive or even acknowledge that. That does not exist. Those points in time yes, have been not. those points in time have been omitted, deleted, and are no longer observed by any and all parties involved. Yeah, it's it's rough to do sometimes, but sometimes it's just better to ignore and just let something go. It depends on how proactively hateful the person is, but yeah, for the most True. part. I think the rules of engagement Doomcock sort of laid down where it was just like ignore it and, and if they if they cross a certain line where it's absolutely obvious, like show them what it's like to be your enemy. Yeah, true. I've never well, seen anyone want to cross that line once he said, piss me off one more time. <laughs> Fucking Star Wars theory shut right up. You know, Doom Doomcock has some amazing wrenches that protect him like uh family. So I've got that too. Gap after dark true. and Carla have yes. been amazing. Mm-hmm. This is true. I had some great wrenches too. Well, we lost Wes Kegel. No, he's there. We lost. Uh... Oh yeah, you can't recognize me he without my uh, my flag. Come on, buddy, where'd you go? Let me put the flag. Where did you go? Here, here's my flag. <laughs> yes. Well, where did Wes Kegel go? There he is. Where did Canadian Spider-Man go? Uh, he's busy. He's busy throwing Trudeau on the fire. Uh, well, that is a noteworthy endeavor, and we support that. In Minecraft. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about wrenches. Uh, yeah, I still ain't quite figured all that wrenching stuff out. I just post a bunch of links and stuff. Only once have I ever run into, like, a, a troll. Hail to Tim. Good to see you, sir. Carry on. Oh, I was just saying that uh, I had a troll that was uh, going after Rancor Steve. Back on that Rumble channel. Mm -hmm. and oh, geez, yeah. Yeah, that was the one that, and then it was right after I got into that argument with that guy that my my account over there went to crap. Y'all remember that? It was like six, eight. Yeah, months. what a nightmare! And then you would go off. You had to like drop yeah. off the internet for like three or four weeks while you fit unfought your life. Yeah, I, I for one, I, I I feel your pain on that. That sucks. Yeah, that they, sucks. And yeah. that's why I hate Rumble. They are what they are. They get out the freedom of speech message, but don't fool yourself. I've, I've done Rumble for 14 months now. Like, they will not take your stream down, but they'll demonetize it. You have to, like, mm -hmm. the, the, they just won't tell you about it. You got to go look. It's like all of a sudden everyone's like, oh, wow, well, I have 300, like, Rumble streams, and it's like 75 of them are demonetized. Welcome back, Canadian Spider-Man. Yeah, disconnected. All right. The bonfire is back. <laughs> If only it could be a Bono fire and we could get rid of him. Ah, I agree. No you two. No you two. Oh, God. It's amazing how much hate you'll get if you fuck with people's phones, right? He gave everyone that free album. And that, that ever since then, like, you Google you 2 the first thing that comes up is how do I get them off my phone? Their whole career really, out did, the window. Did he really do that? In 2001, the U2 album for that year was released for free and downloaded onto everyone's <laughs> iPhone uh, who had an iPhone. And that was when their only smartphones were iPhones, right? So everyone super resented getting this U2 album because it was like a little less than mediocre. It wasn't like up to U2 standards for like when U2 is good. So it was like this forgettable album and it took up like memory space and everyone was pissed. And 
for some people, if you didn't have enough memory on your phone, it, it like made your phone useless until you found a way to get rid of it. So yeah, they got it. <laughs> the whole reputation gone. Oh yeah, yeah. Since you brought that up, do you remember when they first came out with the iPhones? They had you know the music link, and they would give yep. you like three songs, and the mm -hmm. majority of them were those pissy songs that YouTube did, and they were all tied into your memory, and you couldn't delete them. Oh crap! Yeah. That's why the best thing to do is with phones, wait one year and buy uh, that phone off of um, what do you call it? Off of Amazon. So that when you turn, when I turn on my phone, it just turns on. It doesn't have any bloatware, like my nothing from like my carrier, nothing. Just, yeah, I agree. It says the name of the manufacturer and it turns on. And buying a new phone is now too risky. The phone it's has true. to be fixed for a whole year. So last year's phone for four hundred bucks less is gonna last you three four years. Yeah, never 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 buy something when it first comes out. Always wait to see the bugs. And it's insane that that's the case. But the, the newest phone is usually the worst phone. Yeah, this is All true. All right, this is true. So someone makes a worse one and makes yours bails yours out. And Apple is like the king. I think modern bullshit advertising comes from Apple. Because they were the king of making it your fault. Remember all the broken, uh, the the broken cameras on the first generations of iPhones, and they're like, "No, no, people are holding them wrong." It's like, "Yeah, right." Everyone, <laughs> everyone's so stupid. We hope we don't hold our phones right. It's it's not your fucking cheap fucking lens. No. <laughs> uh, well, you see the majority of uh, some of the uh, videos on YouTube, and uh, they are holding them wrong. You're supposed to hold your phone sideways. Yes, you are. The uh, the other thing is that like, if the, if it was if if people were holding the phone wrong, how the fuck were they able to fix that with a downloadable patch? Yeah. Uh, obviously, <laughs> people weren't holding the phone wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's that's BS. But that's that's technology today. They uh they release stuff knowing there's bugs in the system. Oh and yeah, it's planned on make you pay for it. Like, Keep getting your money. Yeah, well, land not, well, the first thing you do is you uh, you re you copyright something that looks just like your competitor's phone, and you release it with almost the same name, and you make sure it works like shit, and then <laughs> that destroys your competitor's reputation, and then you're like, people who use iPhones are Yahtzees. Check out the new <laughs> Android. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, Android, what is wrong? Mark Hamill and, and Harrison Ford are with us. Why? 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 When they release the new Pixel, can't they have at the end of the commercial? This is the droid you're looking for. Oh, nice. That ring, good ring, 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 ring. It's an iPhone. Ringtones don't ever change on your iPhone. I like it open source. So I can edit, of course. You see this thing here? I want Jarvis, sir. So I'm going to make sure that I use a droid. Yes, ring, 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 ring. Fucking iPhone. Do, 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 do. I hate the fact that you need iTunes for that phone. And I, that's why I, I, I like to use Androids, right? And I know yep. that I'll always have my Android phone. My ringtone for the longest time was Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath by Black Sabbath. And it was the part of the song where Ozzy just screamed. So, like, my phone ring was just like, yeah, boss, dad. Hey, uh, Tony. Sir? Um, uh, since Wes Cagle has been Brand such new? a good supporter of all, all of our uh, channels. Um, yes, yes. But, I, I'd love to hear your uh, St. Patrick's Day story. I, you know, we're, I, I'd like to hear more uh, from you. Yes, do tell us about uh, St. Patrick's. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day? Um, well, up until uh, probably I was, I got married, I don't remember St. Patrick's Day because I usually was blitzed out of my mind. So <laughs> That means it was good time. Oh, yeah. I assume it was good times because uh, I usually woke up with my pants down. So, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> and, and, and laying next to somebody who, uh, had no idea who the hell they were. So, <laughs> but, uh, but, um, fortunately I, I survived. I mean, cause you know, that was, uh, that was some scary times, uh, back in the, uh, in the, uh, late eighties. 
So yeah, gotta love those times. Oh, the eighties! The eighties were the uh, greatest decade we have ever had. Oh yeah. yes, my yeah. years, the eighties. Hey, and since y'all brought it up, uh, why don't you ask uh, the panel and ask the chat uh, what song they have on their uh, alarm on their iPhone? Oh. I'll go well, first. I'm boring in this regard. I just have the basic alarm clock noise because I usually okay. have radio playing in the background to begin with. Yeah, true. Hey, me too. I, I, I'm probably going to get laughed at. I got REM gardening at night. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, so you're right about one thing. You are probably or, going to be the butt of a few jokes. Sir. Yes. I have a. I got a, a trivia question for that one. Can anyone name the only REM song with a guitar solo? Uh, there's actually two. I'm that big of a fan. They're from oh, wow. there's two. Yeah, yeah. What's the other one? My only guess would be Rome. That's B52. No, that, that's B52s. Uh, and then what's weird about that is their drummer is their guitar player on that B52s record because guitar player died. Uh, yeah, he had the uh, brain aneurysm, and he and he actually got through that a couple of times, and actually came back and did some tours. Uh, but yeah, things kind of went sideways over time. Oh. I think he also had the HIV, was what finally did. Oh happen. God, yeah, that's that'll that'll do you in. Yeah, they so toured Europe on, for years. Is, with, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. go. What's beautiful? Nice. Wow. Oh, nice, nice camera there, Canadian Spider-Man. Yeah. I saw those things in a museum once. What are they called? We have them in, in, <laughs> in our parks here. Those, those things with the, with the, with those, those, those stalks of wood. What the hell are they? That's, that's called. <laughs> I believe that's called they're called tree. trees, sir. I think they're called ants. Cella trees? It's a, it's a stalk of cella tree. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I think Rome might be my favorite uh, REM song. Uh, that's B fifty two. Is no disrespect. Yeah. Well. Oh, is is it okay? Kind of a. If there's one know, thing I that think, I can I say, I well, hey, 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 I, I'll kill the argument to make y'all feel better. Uh, they both were college bands from UGA. They all from North Georgia. Uh, mm. They all know each other. They collaborated on six different they songs. So, right, yeah, shiny dude. happy people is the big one. He's thinking of shiny happy people is my impression. No, oh, I can't okay. stand that song. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the B52 <laughs> oh, chick oh but they got a, they got another one that they collaborated <laughs> called Honey. Honey's real good. I like Honey. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not a huge uh, Canadian Spider-Man. You have Spider renewed my uh, ever expanding imagination that I utilize all of the time, especially when I start writing improv scripts involving the forest. You it's are why people come here. Incredibly talented, sir. Indeed. You incredibly Thank you for talented. the inspiration, as always, my good fellow. Uh, That's why people come to me. You see. But what are the two songs? I didn't Disney. Well. What are the, what are the two songs? I only know one of them, and there might be three if we have different songs. <laughs> Jeez. Right, what are the the one the only you the only song by REM I know of with a guitar solo is Orange Crush. Okay, uh, I would also now it depends because they released it this song two different times. Uh, don't go back to Rockville. Hmm. Are you familiar with that? No, but I would. That's why I'm going to be willing to say it probably does have a guitar solo since it doesn't stand out. But I guess the one I love sort of does have a guitar solo, but it's almost just an interlude. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, that's a good song. Yeah, I'm sorry, song. Did, you, T, did you say Justin? Justina um, Trudeau? Justina Trudeau. No, no, I did not. I, I think I said just an um, interlude, I believe. I, oh, interlude! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, hopefully Justine Trudeau is just an interlude. You guys got to get rid of him. Oh, yeah. I have I have offered to have a boxing match with that guy so many times. <laughs> he just won't accept. 
<laughs> you want to talk about no boxing or, or, experience, yeah. mind you. Dude, like, today's Spider-Man, question. you know that uh, this is what's funny. Uwe Ball is a bad, bad director, but he's a pretty decent boxer. He challenged a bunch of his YouTube detractors and people saying his movies are shit, because quite frankly, they are. But uh, he challenged them to a boxing match, and he five people accepted one after oh. another one. They, they oh, wow. faced him in the ring. That shit was funny. I got a Man. quick question for the panel. Who do you think's gotten more ass? Uh, who do you think's gotten who gotten more chicks? Justin Bateman or Justine Bateman? Just, Justine Bateman. Jason? Jason? Well, I think Justine, Justine Bateman. Bateman's yeah definitely uh, definitely gotten more yeah. chicks than. Justin. Uh, you you know you know that uh, you know it's 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 far easier for uh, women to get uh, some action than it is men. So do you think oh, she like has ten to one, my friend? Ten to the one, hell of it, right? Jason Love in the chat asks, Canadian Spider-Man is hunting dragons in Skyrim, which is a good point because I do need to have another video upload soon of that. Because if there's one thing that I like I, when I utilize my ever so expanding imagination is to write scripts over existing scripts and make things my own. <laughs> it's nice. about things you've made your own, I really love that you gave me the Avengers game. But six hours of gameplay into it, I still can't find my way off the goddamn shield heli helicopter. You gotta go so to the mission the table. To the mission table. Uh, one of these days, I've gone days. there and asked it a bunch of questions a million times. Uh, uh, listen, listen. I'll show you where to go. I'll show you where to go. We'll do that I'll, I'll probably on a backstage soon. I want to get for those that I was able to get the Avengers game for. I want them to tech up and rank up at least one of their Avengers so we can just do raids. I keep trying to play as Miss Marvel, but it won't go anywhere. Uh, well, to be fair, <laughs> Echo's it's not, not on there. What kind of bullshit game is that? And neither <laughs> are any of the Eternals. Indeed. Uh, are y'all reading chat? Uh, who's Fat Detractor? Yeah, uh, he's, somebody yeah. that we have promptly dealt with. Oh, okay. Well, you want me to delete his crap? Because he's already yeah, gone. fuck him. Well, I'm reading. He's. I'm. I'm pretty. Don't read it out loud. Stream, remember. Remember the golden the rule. If you on stream, yard, remember that the means... golden rule. All right. If it looks like crap, they're omitted deleted, from right? the timeline. They are omitted from the timeline. They okay. are silenced. And they are unobserved. We carry I, on. Oh, okay. Be in an echo chamber. Oh, I got you. I just thought like wrenches. Shouldn't we like delete it? Or really? the thing when you're when you're here with us, right? If yeah. it's been deleted and you're only looking at Streamlabs, you wouldn't know. It only gets deleted oh. on YouTube. Okay. Right. Because if there's YouTube one thing that I can YouTube take pleasure in is knowing that I only see what I want to see when I see it. And anybody who knows anything about observing the physical universe knows. That in order for anything to be accepted as reality, it must first be observed. So if I look the other way, that tree's not making a sound if I'm not there. By, by the way, fact detractor, it was oh. not Tony. It was me. Fuck you. Learn how to fucking behave <laughs> in, five, in five minutes. Oh, no, listen, hey. like, don't take it out Relax. of my friend, Tony. Relax. Don't, don't take it. it out of my friend, Tony. But to be, you know what? To be fair, there, this there, <laughs> get a little aggressive. Oh, Teague is off the lead here. Celebrating well, that's Saint why uh, Spidey's right, even if he does look exactly like DB Sweeney right now. Um, <laughs> but that's, why I, that's why I took credit uh, for it. I mean, Sweeney. that's why I. Wait a minute. Look like DB Sweeney right now. I know that. Um, I'll pull up this. He's yeah, got he's jowls. I don't have jowls. <laughs> no, DB Sweeney has been missing since 1970. <laughs> I'll, I'll, sh I'll show I'll show you guys. Motherfucker! All right, you all right. you were born in 1952, DB Sweeney. <laughs> he, he hey he gets to sleep with uh, Sydney Sweeney. So my God, are we uh, all drunk uh, or is it just me? Uh, <laughs> wait, hey, I'm hey, not hey, drunk. We are getting uh, there. I'm going to everybody else now again. If this starts becoming a drunk tank, I will close up shop. We're not. I oh, don't hey. yes. No, no, I'm, not, I'm not a drunk tank. Let's let's go back to the trees and the blue. 
Yes, yes. Let us find our centers now. Okay. Everybody breathe in. Exhale. And then say the following. These trees are fucking awesome. These trees By the way, are awesome Tony, if you fuck them. Are fucking I fucked the tree before. Awesome. Oh, did I say that right? Uh, <laughs> that's a sappy kind of relationship, uh, Canadian Spider Man. <laughs> trees are easier than ladies. <laughs> you're saying you're saying you got serious <laughs> wood? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Somebody's got wood. Tony, Tony, share share the uh, image that I uh, presented if you can. Tell me that's not Canadian Spider Man right now. Oh wanted, God. wanted hijacker DB Sweeney from 19. Oh, DB Cooper. That's right. Sorry. Uh, yeah. you that's like, yeah, DB Cooper. Co You're right. DB Sweeney is an old motherfucker. DB Canadian Spider Man is DB Cooper. This is confirmed. The Canadian uh, Spider Man is DB Cooper. The, the great... I won't turn. I won't turn him in if he gives me some of the cash. Yeah. The Here, wait, hold on. <laughs> Let, let me let me present a better picture. Hold on, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get you. I got now that I got the actor. Now now that you guys told me who I was actually thinking about. But if I didn't have a chat, my show would be so fucked. It's like I got the dumbest host. It's like uh, it was Todd Bolte, ladies and gentlemen. There he is, oh, there. Canadian Spider Man, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no, Last scene, jumping out, jumping out of the jumping out of the back of a DC ten. With a hundred thousand dollars in small unmarked bills that were found thirty-five years later, strapped to a skeleton in a river, but he's fine. <laughs> hey, at least you—you you guys hey, make. Why am I on camera? I make sheep videos. I can't wait to TV? broadcast the uh, first death race for all of these fine members that I've acquired today. Thank you for putting your green on, folks. You're St. Patrick's Day. Lot. Yeah. By the way, Tony, you'll you'll approve of this. DB DB Cooper smoked five cigarettes and drank eleven bourbons while he was hijacking that plane. Oh shit! Really? Well, I don't smoke cigarettes, but I will accept his taste in fine bourbon. You know what? If you're gonna jump out the back of a DC-10 with the wrong parachute, that absolutely guarantees you're not gonna survive. You know, maybe have some bourbon. Indeed. At least go down happy if you go down at all. I'm surprised he, he got the guts to jump out when somebody else gave him the parachute. I know. Like, why would you ever trust them? It's like, I guess <laughs> the idea that he had a bomb and he would tell them where it was so they could toss him off the plane was effective enough. But, I mean, yep. I'm sure today they'd be like, I have a bomb. It's like, yeah, you and everybody else, buddy. Shut the fuck up. Put your mask <laughs> back on. Yeah, and he jumped in the dead of night, too. Yeah, he jumped in the dead of night, and he jumped a little too fast, right? Didn't he jump just subsonic, so it's possible that the opening shot... It's highly unlikely the opening shot didn't pull him apart. Uh, I know it was dark, it was cloudy, so there was no moonlight, and then uh, they said also that the wind was really blowing. Hey, Jedi Bill. Hey, Jedi Bill. How you doing yeah, today, buddy? Yeah, and then didn't, the, what, didn't they, what uh, money didn't they, they find found... a bunch of the currency spread out all over the desert? It was found it by the bank of river a river, bank. a river bank. But the thing is, the river drained out of a very large lake that was about the size of the area in question that he would have landed in. So he'd made a lot of mistakes. He jumped over a huge lake. He jumped way fast. Like, like he, his arms and legs probably came off when the chute opened. Honestly, it was ridiculous how fast he was. They were going. You can't bail out of a jet. It has to slow down. Yeah. Hey, anybody who's got Google, uh, check this, but that same lake is the same lake for the past 50-something years. They keep getting those, uh, they recover all those feet, and they haven't had, they haven't matched them up with bodies yet. You've heard about yeah. that, right? Yeah, I've heard that. I have heard about that. Yeah, it's, it's the same dog lake. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love right. Indonesia. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I think the deal is it's a really big lake, right? So it's in like three states or some shit. It's a big one, yeah. I, I think Vietnam is is. A... Uh, Eugene Bill said a kid found it. A kid found what? The money. The money. Or the feet. The money. So only a tiny bit was found. There's there's a whole lot out there. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, it's on the money. Bit, what's what's really crazy is the amount in question was something like twenty grand. It had to be carry. It had to be carryable in twenties. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just yeah. like. And and that was also enough to change the weight differential. He asked for two different parachutes. The one he jumped with was the one that couldn't pull off the jump. That like he he knew he, he thought he knew what he was doing. Yeah, what a moron. <laughs> he was like ninety five percent successful. He just you know the part where he lives to spend the money didn't work out. Mm-hmm. It's like a kamikaze That's kind of the uh, point. <laughs> No touch, no touchdown celebrations for kamikaze attacks, right? <laughs> oh, indeedly do, indeedly do. We are almost at six thirty. Uh, are you wanting to do something at seven thirty, uh, Teague? Do we need to go ahead and start bringing this bad boy around at around seven? I haven't even thought about it. Yeah, I mean, do you just want to hang out here? You just want to hang out here. I'm eating. Or- I'm eating oranges and making ideas. It's <laughs> <so> <laughs> <bad> <laughs> It's St. Patrick's Day. I feel like maybe I'll do my show on Monday. I don't, I don't really. Yeah, there you go. All right, we'll just keep partying. But uh, after after we get to six and a half hours, I will have to close shop. Not six and a half, five, I, five I, and a half. I, 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 I want you to acknowledge um, right now that I have shut down authority if I decide you're wasted. If you get <laughs> wasted and it starts becoming a drunk tank in here, and myself included, uh, I'll close it down. Yeah, I, the, the safe word is I yell, you're drunk, shut the fuck up. Sounds good. Likewise. <laughs> the, safe, the, safe, the, safe, the safe word is eject, eject, eject. <laughs> hey, that's Bill Little the log, log. I love the sound of those sparking embers. Yes. Excellent, Asmar. Good uh, job, Jedi, no, you to out a bit? Are you celebrating St. Patty's with anyone later? Canadian Spider-Man just came back from his two weeks, uh, two, two, uh, his weekend of this month in the Canadian National Guard. They cut his hair. Oh. I have to say, I love hey, the uh, like crackling got, fire. Got, got back from deployment, yeah. <laughs> what are you burning there? The are you burning Jordan. all pine? He's burning Trudeau. Oh, That's Trudeau. We can only hope. Oh, Canadian Spider-Man no. only burns endangered trees. He goes down and cuts a few giant sequoias down a few times a year so that he can have a real fire. Does he go all the way to South America and cut down a whole bunch of mahogany? Mm-hmm. Exa- oh, that's that's okay. exact. How did you know? <laughs> I made these trees out of mahogany. mahogany. That's some nice wood, I'll tell you. And this desk wasn't just made from any old mahogany. It was made from the mahogany from the trees of Malkior 7 that stand 7,000 feet tall and breathe fire, forged by ancient dwarves. <laughs> times before times, my desk was created and stands now before you, mahogany. <laughs> hey, isn't, isn't there a mahogany desk in the White House? Doesn't the president sit behind that? Uh, at least it was for Roosevelt. It's, here's the deal. Roosevelt doesn't sit behind the same desk that the presidents of today sit. You used to be able to, when you became president, you chose your desk. So the first bunch of guys, they bring the desk from, like, the governor of the state they're in, they're, like the governor's desk, because a lot of them were governors and shit like that. And George Washington, infamously, he just had an iPad. But um, he didn't use that. <laughs> Didn't use a traditional desk. He did all of his stuff uh, online, which is why he never had problems taking home papers. He just burned the phone at the end of his presidency. Uh, but um, you, the deal is this. Uh, when Richard Nixon was president, there were three or four desks that were all very famous for the president of the United States to have, right? One was like Teddy Roosevelt's desk. One was like FDR's desk. It's done? And, and the first person to use the Resolute desk was JFK. It's from the HMS Resolute, which sunk in, like, 1890. They raised it, they carved it into a desk, and they gave it to the President of the United States of America. And it was the only desk that Nixon didn't have a recording device in. So all the rest of them are crime scenes except the Resolute desk. So now that's the only one anyone can use. That's the, that's the truth. 
Cool. That's the truth. Like he, he drilled the hole through the back of Ulysses S. Grant's desk to put like a microphone in it and like store porn in there. <laughs> it was fucked up. Yes, but he made he made uh, Elvis a member of the DEA. <sighs> and had the FBI watch him. What a weirdo. <laughs> So is it done? Uh, there he is. The Comic Relief Crusader! What <laughs> chippity chippity tool? Hey, what's going on? Who in the world in God's green earth is having this sex right now? I need to be gone! <laughs> I don't know. All I'm hearing is another grunting, so I imagine they're the guy to pick her in a place where they don't want it right now. It's unfortunate, isn't it, lad? I know. I have to hear that right now, and when I go to sleep, I'll be hearing. You <laughs> start <laughs> <laughs> like listening to death metal bands right now. Aye, it is indeed. I know. I do like death huh? metal, you know. Exactly, because it sounds like indeed. you know, I don't know, like mm -hmm. war or something like that. <laughs> no, no, war nowadays. War nowadays is uh, now that Mike is Mike Bishop. Uh, there are a lot of mics in entertainment too. Uh, is fronting the band as uh, Blothar. It's it's more of a howl. He's more of a howler than a growler, man. Uh, <laughs> they're all oh, it's man. Canadian Spider-Man doing the grunting. He's giving yeah. it to a knot of wood. Yeah, he's uh, actually staring down. Uh, he's staring down a python right now. That's, that's why he's right. not moving that, at all. That's why he's low enough, right? Yeah. So yes, yeah, he's getting ready for the one-inch punch like a python to death. Yeah, he's hiding his shame. Good for you. Phantom outsider in the chat says, "Looks like Comic Relief Crusaders have appropriated Irish culture. We've been doing that all afternoon, laddie." I know that's right. The only kind of thing I don't have right now is a bunch of a bunch of drink, but you know, a muddle out of water and. You Did know, you get that spiked helmet I sent you, Mike, so you can appropriate German culture, too. Well, I can appropriate German culture because my mom's German, my dad's Austrian, so I already got that covered. Uh, oh, cool. uh, uh, exactly. Right. I get the best. It wasn't, it wasn't See, a I, get one it was hateful, an I get one hateful bad mustache man that goes to another country, which use that country. And then all of a sudden, use those people for like really naughty things. So I get the both of both Germanic countries. That's why I feel like we lucked out that Schwarzenegger couldn't be president. What happened the last time Austria exported a political leader? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Ferdinand was, got uh, assassinated. <laughs> exactly. They didn't have a thing for watercolors at the point. They so, uh, were. Yeah. They exploded. Exactly. You Morgan want says, the presidential she, prisoner uh, release form. Those uh, are blue. Says, hey, sh hey, Shane Black, uh, run for governor. Everyone else uh, who's alive in your movie was it was the governor already. All right, yeah. Jesse Ventura did it. Arnie did it. Run for governor. Because your movie sucked, man. I saw that Predator movie. That that was that was really insultingly stupid. But uh oh god, it's been working like <laughs> Working like a mod hotter, I tell you right now. How's it coming along? I know you're inking it. <laughs> oh, sweet God. I got the base colors all down packed on the third um, third character concept that I'm doing right now. So I have a colorist that is finishing it off to mm -hmm. make it a little bit more dynamic because uh, there's somebody I know that can actually do that kind of thing. And I still have to finish two more... DVD transfers to try to extract some data off of those, but I think the data might be corrupted and I won't be able to save this um, this uh, dance recital for a customer that is hoping that I am able to save her memories, but I'm doing what I can and I'm trying to fit everything into a very short weekend. So lucky me. Memories. Ah. You're talking about memories. Yep, exactly. Disney Sheepherder has joined the channel membership at the Shield Agent level. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I, I was throwing you a couple of dollars on, you know, uh, I guess what's that called? Uh, not PayPal, but the other one. Uh, Patreon. Patreon, that's it. I, I, I didn't realize that you had, we could become members. I thought you only had just Super Chats. 
Nope, that's we all fixed. Have a spe- we that's all June. <laughs> we, we also have a special feature membership level called Gay for Patreon, where you just meet Tony <laughs> and mentor him. Nah. Why can't we be friends? Why can't nah, we I'm okay. Be I'm friends? okay. <laughs> Admiral Teague is joined at the George Michael level. Ah, <laughs> oh, he can't say that. <laughs> but he did. But he yes, he did. did. <laughs> and yet, it's out in the ether. Um, Let's just say this: um, the second okay. introduction couldn't have been more pleasant. Him and Boy George. Uh, about that name. That's right. Special union. Dare I owe any for questions or the comments? Theory. Dare I oh. owe them? Indeed. Whenever someone is wanting to be observed, dare I owe them a second look? Dare I owe them now? <laughs> Do me a favor, dare I owe you? Wrenches, there's a problem that can be omitted. Thank you. Uh, it was You're nice to see you, though, Dario. Take care now. Bye-bye, then. Oh, I must have missed something. Oh, uh, it's inside jokes for the individuals that want yeah. to throw jokes at me. Oh, really? <laughs> How mm-hmm. lovely. Oh, I got this one. All right, here we go. You may fire when oh. ready. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, let's come on. Let's see. Uh, for a few adult beverages. <laughs> Damn so it, brother. Back, got nuked. <laughs> um, I, I, I just nuked the fat detect detractor. <laughs> there we are. Yes, and right there I it. owe you uh, <laughs> some advice on how to make better sock accounts. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take and long. Maureen. Hey, fat detractor, you, you, you hit the T instead of the G when you spelled your first name. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, I hope he doesn't come after my sheep. So it'll be all right. Uh, if you if you saw this individual, you would know that he would not be able to come after your sheep. He kind of looks like one, to be quite frank. <laughs> all big and fluffy, and 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 you know, slow in the head. You know. That's a typical oh, okay. sheep effort. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, what a pleasant human being. Oh, he, he it definitely is. But anyway, it's really not a human being so no much longer. as it's a life support. And now it's, we it's go not to so much a human no being as it's a life support system for a crack stem. <laughs> <laughs> you have been omitted from the timeline. You are unobserved I mean, and therefore no longer exist. Have a good day. I mean, so. crack ain't that bad nowadays. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. crack no, I mean, I, got, I, I just get synthetic crack from the replicator. It's much like regular crack, but its effects are easily dismissed. <laughs> kind of like synthahol. Yeah, exactly. Yes. What did but, no, uh, but no, I, I, I just, I just had, I just had to get this work done because, um, at latest, this pitch is supposed to be probably happening on a Tuesday. But I want it all done for Monday, just in case, because mm-hmm. uh, this friend of mine in Florida who has um, a YouTube channel called Prime Animations. He's kind of doing a continuation of Transformers Prime. And, uh, you know, he's got some pretty good voice actors, does all the 3D animation and all that kind of jazz. And um, and so about a month ago, he was at Megacon down in Florida, right? And so he talked to Eric July about making this comic pitch. And uh, so it's like, okay, fine, we'll set up a meeting in a month. Well, a month has gone by, and that's going to be like next week. So they already confirmed the meeting sometime next week. And because with everything that's been going on with my end, with job number two, and them absolutely screwing me and stuff like that, and trying to get all this stuff done, I've just been working like crazy, just uh, drawing like, yeah, like gangbusters. It's been really nuts. Mm-hmm. So I got you. Got to take your hat off to July. I mean, he's fighty on Twitter and stuff like that, but he has done something that no one's done in a long time. He took his own idea, he threw it out there, and if Isom had sucked, it wouldn't have hurt anything else. But from whatever, from what I hear, it's like Isom isn't bad and trending better. So good. For I've him. heard both sides of the story. I heard the second issue is it that good? But then again, you know what? I don't care. I've never read it. And and I haven't read Cyberfrog. I don't know what the hell it is with those two. Or, and quite frankly, I don't care. 
uh, you know, let them duke it out, you know, with their big swishy dicks and all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, because either way, I'm not going to read either comic. I got better things to do. But you know what? Hey, if, if he's doing something that works, Eric July, good on him. Like, I don't have yeah, a problem with that, that right? That and I'll give him one more for just, it, it's not someone else's idea retest. Holy shit. Well, no, exactly, right? And um, what was I going to say? Um, you know, uh, the, the weird thing about this whole weird, uh, you know, independent comic, I, I don't want to use the word industry because it's not quite an industry yet, but it's like, you know, we've all been, I shouldn't say we because I'm not really part of it, but they've all been put into this whole melting pot, right? Where they've just been ostracized from like Marvel and DC and Image and IDW and blah, 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 right? And, and you know, and that's what this whole comic skate thing is all about. But then it's like there's a whole bunch of infighting going on. Like, oh, you know, this guy just draws for shit or he doesn't have a story and stuff like that. Like what we're seeing with Ethan Van Shiver and, and Eric July. And you know what? It's like, it's like, do you two realize what you're doing? You're supposed to be like, you know, like, like towing the line for like this whole comic skate thing. But, you know, what's the point if you two can't even get along? It's so stupid. It's ridiculous. It's like, it's like, you know, what you guys were talking about earlier about, uh, you know, channels and arguing amongst each other and stuff like that, yeah. you know, like, like this whole stupid infighting between channels and stuff like that. It's like, you know what, if we're supposed to be all on the same side, why are you fighting each other? You know, I agree like, wholeheartedly it's... with this. If yeah, I might, you're... if I might made an anecdotal remark on it. Uh, yeah. The right opinion is known for covering YouTube drama for channels with many, many more numbers than we will ever have. Yeah, so let's exactly. not fight just like we're trying to get the attention of the right opinion because he's never going to cover us. You know what? This because, is not YouTube yeah. trash TV. Right. I don't advocate for YouTube trash TV. I don't ad advocate the aggression. Uh, I just don't. No. And so, no point. Yeah, the people stupid. need to stop. The internet's a lot of things. Yeah. There's... The, you know what the the real the biggest problem is this one it's the assumption that in a society that we live in 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 2024 that you can have no rules your guard down and be breezy and nonchalant and there's not someone out there who's going to be a dick about it that's the problem well i mean even even though even even with that i mean you know what first of all youtube is a big place the internet's a big place um just just do your thing you know just do your thing like like you know it's yeah you know, like like earlier like tony and you know what and i'm glad that you're respectable blah, 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 respectful of you know if doomcock was going on or or not you know which obviously he's not now because he announced it with the, you know the whole uh, thing going on and all that kind of stuff and i understand that but you know what I would have said, just keep going. Just keep going. You know, it's it's your show. And it's not like anybody has like any kind of slated time that you have to go by. And I'm not oh, saying. You, but no, I'm no, not no. doing it because I have no, 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 to. No, I'm doing no, no. It I know. Because, I know. You know, I, I want to. No, no. And and I totally 100% get that. And, I, and, and, you know, and God bless you, Tony, for doing that. You know, but. Uh, but I'm just saying, hey, if you wanted to carry on and keep on going, you know, it's it's not like it's not like you have to quit if you don't want to. Disney you know? he, he per has spread saying. the love with five Stark of Iron memberships to this channel. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and see who's now part of the Green Club. <laughs> Looks like you're on the list there, Mike. We got Am Big I? KK, Christopher Dominguez, Mike, oh Steven Ransom, and Billy Powermax have all become hey, Steven, members hello. of the channel. And that's a lot of death races. A lot of exactly. death races. A lot of death races. Can't wait. Huge, huge memberships. 
Amazing memberships go to everyone there. I do like it with that, you know. Totally amazing to be joining on Tony's channel. You know, the most amazing <laughs> channel and in infamy that ever was in the history of other channels. That is just starting out. That's under a thousand. Yep. We've got a lot of green on now. A lot of people wearing green. Thank you, Disney. That's Shaker. right. You I'm trying to send my sheet your way, but there you go they like watching sheet videos not doing streams i guess yeah well that's fine i'm gonna start having some videos coming out down the pipeline again uh, especially uh whenever i start getting into uh reviewing uh some sci-fi inspired animation animated series like i'm starting with dexter's lab then i'm going to go with invaders mm -hmm. yeah. Dim. Then I'm going to tackle Transformers. Then I'm going to tackle Pinky and the Brain. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing it episodic, basically episodic. So, a review of an episode for about ten minutes. I'll, you know, make a, you know, slideshows, discuss the pop culture references in each, which there is a lot of pop culture references in all of those shows. Uh, Pinky and the Brain, especially because uh, for a time Steven Spielberg used his cartoons, uh, Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, and Freakazoid, respectively to provide a, a ready reportee and commentary on the state of Hollywood. And we With a little bit of education. Yeah, we'll, too, we'll definitely be coloring that. Yeah, mm. we'll definitely be coloring. Uh, yeah, I'm a little behind. I'm starting my retrospective. I'm starting with Charlie Chaplin. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> that one's a little late. <laughs> um, the, the great the great dictator. Um, I'm no spoilers, on, Keith. Um, yeah, uh, um, I think that they're going to win that Second World War, but I don't know. Chaplin seems to have got caught. He's jumped out on on one side already. He's he's declared he's declared aside. But um, uh, yeah, the Great Dictator. I'm working on that, and then there's a movie called uh, <laughs> Metrop Metro Metropolis. Um, and then I'll be up the movies with Sound, the Jazz Singer next week. I'm I'm getting catch get caught up. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. We have gotten. Let's just get a. Let's just get a head count here. I want, I want so to like movie Bob. Uh, I'm going to review every movie ever ever made, but with like a one line synopsis. Jurassic Park, yeah. good movie. Dinosaurs. <laughs> See on top of that, Disney Sheep Herder also did you a favor, Tony. He made everything more greener on St. Yes. Patrick's Day. So there you go. <laughs> yes. Well, like I yeah. said, that was the whole theme of the. Uh, I was like, what better way to put your green on, get your green on, than to be a member? And then you're green. Say, yeah. I, I can't wait until tomorrow when the bar downstairs stops playing fucking Irish music. It's been three, <laughs> three fucking days. Every every time like this, like I stop and listen, it's like, my name is James Connolly. Oh, I didn't come here to die, but to fight for the rights of the working man. It's like, oh, God, for God's sake, play something else. Play Funky Kaylee. Play fucking Wild Colonial Boy. I can't listen to James We Connolly are now. now up to 69 members. Nice. Ooh. Nice. That 69, is, you know, dude. You're as good at, <laughs> you're uh, good at, nice. We are equally good at giving as we are at receiving on this channel. That attracts the ladies. Hey, -o. Um, all right. And of course, 69, the last year that original Star Trek aired in. Uh, the, the, the Star Trek angle to everything. I found that out. Yeah, I was I was born the year Star Trek uh, TOS died. Ah, uh, yeah. So uh, is TNT way, doing 24 hours of Boondock Saints, or is it just for uh, Christmas Story? I think TNT might have already started the Boondock Saints. I can't believe we didn't even mention that whenever Robert Wright was asking, hey, what's your favorite Irish-influenced uh, show or uh, movie? And we all went with crying Leprechaun. Game. It, was, it was a group effort. Leprechaun. I, I said Crying yeah. Game. You said the Crying Game. Ah! No. Einhorn is a man. <laughs> you said Boondock Saints. I was thinking the Boondocks, that cartoon. Oh, uh, you don't want me. I, 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 I could that, was a, on that, show. that was a confusing thing. Can you Boondocks guess which two voices I could do, Wes Cagle? <laughs> I have not. I would have no to idea. know even one character uh, on that show. Uh, look what you did to Dorothy. Your ass better have insurance. Your ass better have insurance. <laughs> Ass whooping insurance, and you was about to pay a deductible. Ah, ah. Oh yeah! Uh, God, I miss Adult Swim. 
<laughs> you know, here's a here's a great animated parody, Doomcock Saints. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Man, this is bullshit. By the way, everybody, well, welcome to the meeting of the intelligentsia. Tony will now unfold our plan to destroy She-Hulk. Oh, God. Yeah. If this is the intelligentsia, we're in yeah. trouble. Greetings, She-Hulk. It is I us with the intelligentsia. There's two of us wearing a particularly familiar mask, but it's just different enough to where people are, are able to deny the truth. We are here to make sure that everybody knows that you're woke and that if you were to stand on your ankles, even without heels, your feet would break because you are an, you look like a fucking cartoon. Also, while we're on the subject, the same textures used on your skin was used during Shrek. That is a 20-year-old film. How fucking dare you, Disney? This is fucking bullshit. Oh, God. Uh, he, you should not be named. Uh, yeah. You know, I... Uh, honestly, hey, Janet you know, from another planet. Good to see you. Hey, Janet. Hi, Janet. Yeah. Janet. What Does that make her inner planet of... Janet from Schoolhouse Rock? Yeah. It makes her anyone but Susan Sar Sarandon. She's much cooler than Susan Sarandon. Ah, uh, but Susan yeah. Sarandon was pretty hot in uh, you know, that movie I like. And a lot of right. pretty hot. Somebody told me that they thought like Andy McDowell was like a good actress, and I'm like, I think the reason you think that Andy McDowell's a good actress is because you're confusing her with Gina Davis, because she's never been good in anything. She's been in a few <laughs> good movies. Uh, uh, Groundhog. I like <laughs> Andy McDowell probably better than Gina Davis, though. Andy McDowell and Groundhog Day. Come on. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think, um, Groundhog Day is an underrated film. I think for a minute to remember yes. which... Is Groundhog Day just his own hell, right? Because it takes... Yes. He plays the piano for five minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So if somebody figured it out, it takes 2,000 hours of, of structured practice to learn the piano. And based on the amount of time that he plays it for and how good he gets, that means he's in there for 150 years reliving Groundhog's Day. Wow. I think somebody actually kind of worked it out with everything that he mastered in the film of everything that he wanted to do. And it was probably more like somewhere around 5,000. Yeah, it was oh, a ridiculous a amount of time. Yeah, <laughs> it was... It was like the end of Star Trek Picard season one where Data's like, this is a horrible <laughs> simulation. Please turn me off. And I'm like, wow, he's speaking for me. This is a horrible uh, simulation. He's like, this is not real. I'm like, it sure as hell ain't. Uh, hey, don't, greetings, don't radioactive. Hey, radioactive. Radioactive. Welcome to the real world. To the real world. Welcome to the real world. You're Because yeah. at that point, it'd be like, kill me now. <laughs> Oh, hey, you're Melvin Copper making an appearance in, in Mike's window. Around with a Geiger oh. counter in my hand. I'm staking <laughs> Uranium fever has come and got me down. Yes. That that was the most insane conversation I ever had on YouTube. Like, after my member street ends, we tried to explain to Melted Copper how not to get people's channels thrown off the air. And he's like, so what if I don't <laughs> actually shoot myself? But I take what looks like a gun and I blow catch up through one side of my head and it hits the wall and I fall down dead. But then I get up and laugh to prove I'm it's like, yeah, um, maybe you should start your own channel and test that. That's a, that's a great idea. But uh, yeah, not on here. And then like he's like, so what if I just took like appeared to be a knife and plunged it into my throat over and over? It's like, yeah, there'll be no more Streamlabs links in the member chats anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Melvin Copper. If you could just go ahead and uh, send in those TPS reports, that'd be great. That'd be exactly. great. Come in on yeah. Saturday. Oh, oh, way, my, my favorite scene is whenever he, <laughs> yeah. whenever he has that nightmare and he's just fucking his girl. He's like, that yeah. would be so great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could because do that. The same, great. He has the same name <laughs> as someone else who went to high school with her or something like that. I mean, he yeah. has no idea. It's absolutely different people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that movie I'll was great. That. I was <laughs> What's better, that or Idiocracy? Saturday. Yeah. Uh, office, yeah like office, office, office Space is a documentary. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, because no matter where missed... I go, it's always the same situation, no matter what. Yes. Missing I a lot of work lately. Shit out of management like crazy. I, I love the part where they're like, you've been missing a lot of work lately. It's like, well, I wouldn't exactly say I've been well, I wouldn't missing say it. I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> he just sits down at his desk and starts gutting a fish. Yep. <laughs> no oh, yeah. big deal. Absolutely ignoring everything. And who would ever figure out that the psychopath who burns the building down is Jimmy James from News Radio? That's my stapler. 
That's but Mark, that guy's got a lot of range. Back, you know, I just yeah, think of the fact that every time I ask him about my stapler, but you know, it's all the time with my stapler that he put me in the basement. <laughs> that, you know, I couldn't go anywhere. And it, you know, well, I wonder if it was stapler because you know, with my stapler, I bought the stapler, you know, and everybody is always taking my stapler all the time. But you know, I could, uh, I'm you want to sing whatever. Irish karaoke? What night? <sighs> in the name uh, of love. No, that's what, at your place later? Ah, no YouTube. I, no they YouTube. I keep now. telling you, no YouTube. They suck now. I used to love YouTube, but then I you know, know, yeah. After the after what? the incident with a 13-year-old girl, and you know, it's like wait, oh, what? You know, uh yeah, on the boat. Like that was like which, uh, which what time do you want to kick it off? Man. Uh I think uh Teague is not going to uh, do saving Star Trek tonight. So if you're doing a karaoke, Star Trek can save itself until tomorrow, man. I'll, I'll <laughs> save Star Trek on Monday. Yeah, I mean, I so, have a. Fun- it's Star kind Trek of like isn't going to get any more dead than it is now. Well, there is some new hope, but we—I mean, we talked about that with Jill uh, during the week, and wasn't that stream a lot of fun? Uh, I had a great time with her, and then we're talking about doing another one. We don't know if it'll be Star Trek or the X Files, since that's the new thing that's coming back that might not be what it really was. God no, yeah, I'm not a believer yeah, uh, in that new X Files. up and uh, let me know, and I'll hang out with you and sing a few Irish ditties. I'll sing uh, some Dropkick Murphys and. Uh-huh. Five figure death punch, and you know, a few Irish ballads of classic of lore. See, I am gonna sing, I will to sing, I will songs. sing the spicy McHaggis song, and I will sing Drink and Fight. That those are two songs it, that I will sing. Is it the Dropkick uh, Murphys where the singer used to be in a metal band? Yes, right? Yeah, that yeah, is, yeah, yeah the guy the Irish who, he was in Fast Way. No, he yeah. was in a heavy, a classic metal band with yeah, members but, of Motorhead. Yeah, but Dropkick Murphys is Irish punk. Yeah, my favorite song from them is Mick Jones, Nick My Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Seven Deadly Sins. They also do my favorite Christmas song. Because it's like, you know, St. Patrick's Day, you're going to have to sing something like uh, The Night That Pat Murphy Died. You know, the, the, the weirdest thing about Irish music and all that It's a good Irish, Irish shit, tune. No, I said, do you want to do know. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. I know. Yeah, I mean, that I mean, you know, yeah. Most Newfoundlanders are like, you know, Irish, Scottish, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that's a good tune to sing, too. So, and I have to do that. <laughs> I got to say, I, I, I start to get sick when I hear certain Irish songs because they're so played out. They're so, please, if I ever hear With or Without You Again. Uh, you, but, too. It's like, I, I know Bono you, no, was, you but, too. Brief, for five brief minutes, Bono was like kind of a rock star. He's like, I think I'll stop going to church and do some heroin. And we got one good song out of it, but now it's so played to death. So I'm thinking about getting tickets for the Calgary Expo that's going to be happening at the end of April. I'm taking the family to that. And if uh, Jay, Drunk 3PO, and uh, Gina Carano are still there, I'm gonna see if I can talk to them. Nice. Yeah, I sent uh, I sent Jay a, uh, an email, so I'm just waiting to hear back from him. So, I think I'm gonna use the same funds that I would do for that. I think they're gonna skip this year's con, and I think I'm gonna see the Stones concert. I think I'm gonna see the Rolling Stones this year. How many more chances are we gonna have? True. I kept I kept saying I was me and my buddy were gonna go see uh, Jimmy Buffett, and then all of a sudden he was gone. So. Ooh. I liked Coconut Pete better, but Buffett was great. Yeah, that's that's one I regret. I wish I had seen him. I saw Buffett. Was it good? I don't really remember. It was it was good, but it was like now decades ago, so I couldn't tell you much about it. Oh. Mm. I haven't been oh, to a concert in a long time. The worst live show I think I ever saw was the Red Hot Chili Peppers crashed and burned for an entire three hours. Oh, God. So, Tony, that picture I sent you yesterday. um, Yeah, if you remember that. That is from the, um, uh, was it uh, Cross Street, um, Calgary, um, uh, God, <laughs> trying to think what the name is. I'm trying to like. Anyway, it's like it's like a farmer's market, but it's it's huge, right? And they got a whole uh-huh. bunch of booths there. 
So, uh, next time I'm in Calgary, if you're wanting that Hulk Buster and the other Iron Man armor, uh, yeah. I'll see if it's still there and I'll pick it up for you if you want. So. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up and then I'll forward I'll forward it to you on uh, my next payday. Cool. Jason Love, I'm, I'm I'm hot for you too, I guess. <laughs> to order that he's burning, he's burning, he's burning for you. I'm living for giving the devil his due. BOC. The only uh the only like really, really truly world changing band from Long Island, maybe. Yeah, I'll give it you might that. be Long Island's best rock and roll band. Twisted yeah. Sister's not as good. No, they Twisted, just Twisted kinda... Sister had some good songs, man. They, oh, they we did. They did. I just, I, I would say, you know, it's if funny. You're stuck, if you're stuck with one record, you'd want that to be Blue Oyster Cult more than Twisted Sister. Uh, this is what I like about D. Snyder. His son uh, said to D. Snyder, he said, uh, "I hate transsexuals like you." And and D. looked at him and said, "Son, I am a transvestite, not a transsexual. Had I been a transsexual, you would not be here." <laughs> True. I think what he I think he, what he should have said is like, dude, being a transvestite oh. puts you through college, paid for your car, this house that you grew up in. If I didn't dress like a woman, we'd have shit. <laughs> he wasn't a transvestite. Well, well, he was just a uh, like heavy he metal uh, 80s hair band. What was it like in that graduating class from Baldwin High School with Public Enemy and All right. D. Snyder and Twisted Sister? Seriously. Here's an official announcement. Uh, Jedi Bill and I will be hosting a karaoke stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. And just nice. sing some Irish ditties or whatever you feel like. Have a few more beers and just have fun. Well, if I'm not past that. Gotta sing Loch Lomond there, uh, Stark. No, that's Scottish. and uh, But yeah, I will sing that. Good I don't enough. Need, it's I don't close, back it's to close enough. Back. They're... Uh, they're close enough. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty big, 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 big. A few fences here, a brook there. I guess. Well, they, they they both hate the English, <laughs> so that's good enough. Yeah. When I got my DNA test results. My mother was like, "At least it's not a total loss. You're partially Irish." <laughs> uh, hey, Mike, uh, you're no. uh, you're muted. You're muted. Okay. Am I? I thought you were muted. I you were no, he ain't. How many no, no, no. I was just, I was just noticing a uh, post by Appian. So ah, yeah. I was melting. Well, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll host the karaoke later, uh, and of course, everybody here is invited. Um, that'll be in three hours from now. We'll be ending the stream in about forty minutes. We're gonna go to five and a half hours tonight. No, uh, so that way I could actually straighten up. Make sure my voice is in good form tonight, so I don't pull a DC and just knock it out of the park like he did the other night. <laughs> um, Lord knows, I, I don't like singing bad. That I think that's something that we can agree on. We if we can't sing, we don't. Uh, singing um, bad is the only way I can sing. <coughs> um, so we, we do try. Media. That's why I uh, learned uh, to rap. <laughs> hey, so where can you go, Death Row? What a brother now back once again is the incredible, the unstoppable, rhythm animal, the public enemy number one. Five O said freeze, and I got numb. Can I tell him that I really never had a gun? It was the wax of the Terminator X spun. Now they got me in a cell. Could my records they sell? Because a brother like me said, well, Farrakhan's property that I think you ought to listen to. What he could say to you, what he could do for you is follow for now. Hell, all the people say, pump up the lyrical, get with the miracle. Black is back, and we're going to win. Check it out. Here we go again. Oxygen is free. Right on. Right on. Sure. You have to be from Queens to be able to fucking drop a rap line that long without breathing. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> see, boys. The best thing that ever came out of so Queens. That's, was that's public Bunker. enemy. Public enemy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, honestly. There are people who have that exact accent. He nailed that accent. It was real. The nanny's not faking it either. We saw Fran Drescher talking. That wasn't an act. The accent no, is only flushing, slightly So uh, flushing is a little yeah. different than uh, the regular people so, from Queens. So is Rusi Ru. Well, flushing is like five blocks away. Flushing is basically now called K-Town. <laughs> it's mostly it's mostly Korean. It's not a big deal. It's still a nice is place. It really? Yeah. Archie Bunker lived in Astoria. But he lived in the part of Astoria where my big fat Greek wedding happens, where there's houses, 
I live in the part of Astoria where people have apartment buildings. I live in an apartment building. Uh, but I live in the same that. town as Archie Bunker. I, I know people who are exactly like him and speak exactly like him, and they say turlet. Yeah, well, Archie Bunker always spoke the truth. What did he say was a lie? They say turlet? There are people who say turlet. And that is where you can find our show tonight. Um, so we will definitely see you there. If sit up, Bill's going to sit up. You're going to feel like singing tonight, having a few more brews. And That's right. Drinking, 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 drink fight. Da, da, tonight. Da, 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 da. Tonight on Jedi Bill. The karaoke event of the year. Jason just mentioned. Jason loved this mentioned summer. Yellowstone recap. Well, I, mean, yeah. right. I was wondering, are you are you, are you, are you going to do more about Yellowstone? <laughs> Is there any more to do? By the same people who about brought me? you <laughs> karaoke. You're the, me. Yeah. Are you asking me? Um, there yeah. probably will be like a Yellowstone watch along for more night when if they do more 1923, or I have to watch a little bit more of 1883. Because like with, with the Taylor Sheridan shows, they're either really good or they're good until they like implode. Because like uh, Spec Ops Linus implodes. It's, it's the end is so bad, and the show just sucks so much. But then uh, pretty much everything else is pretty good. And which was hey. the one with Harrison Ford? That's nineteen twenty three. We watched that one. It's really, really, really good. I enjoyed that. Epi- Dude, the final episode where they fight on the boat, that was one of the best TV fights I've seen in about seven or eight years. That was, I was so invested in it. It was so, I enjoyed it so much. And it told you so much about the characters. When he just, that final move where he just fucking, like, basically, uh, Rod Thunderhearts the guy, like, out of the, out of frame, just passes him like a football. It's like, fuck (laughs) it. I got a question. I got a question, Admiral Teague. Sure. You, it, uh, a while back, you said, "Hey, check out 1883." Well, I watched it. Uh, How'd you like it? Well, I'll just say this: uh, you didn't tell me that the first 15 minutes of the first episode tells you every scene of the next several episodes. So the whole series was that first 15 minutes. Yeah, hmm. pretty much. I didn't know that. I wasn't aware of it. I was actually like. That's good to know. If that's so, it's all if it's all told in retrospect, like Bridges yes. of Madison County style or Titanic style. It's like there was a disaster. Will we survive? Let's talk to someone who definitely survived, so we can. No, of they jeopardy. didn't talk to somebody who definitely survived. <laughs> oh wow! So it's dark. It's all right. You know what? That might be interesting. I guess I have to throw eight hours of my life into seeing if it's any good because. With oh, it's good. It's good, but it, it's more like a kick in the balls because you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, really? right? Because now oh. it's not going to be a season two. So you know, it's almost like watching the first season of Game of Thrones when Ned Stark got his head cut off. You're like, wait a minute, I like that guy. I liked him. What did you do? Then? Why did you do that to that guy? I like that guy. Oh. Except, except I didn't get a whole season. I got 15 minutes. Well, God bless, Sergeant Carter. I thought you just wanted his head chopped off. Oh, no, I can't stop. I mean, oh. I'm only doing what you say, Sergeant Carter. Hi, y'all. Well, Shazam, oh, Shazam, Shazam. Shazam, Shazam, Shazam. Oh, and Shazam, 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 Shazam. Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Spoilers. Uh, apologies. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, oh, maybe God. one too many. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh, maybe just a little bit. Oh, just a tiny bit. I'm sure they'll get over it after their fifth beer or something like that. I work so much, man. It ain't even funny. I work basically seven days a week. So if I sneak in, I did 12 hours off. I probably drank and sleep two or three hours. Oh, that's a prize then. You could do that for only so long. I'm now so old that if I drink, I have to have the next two days off because I'm so <laughs> fucked up. But if I walk past the beer, I have a hangover, a mild <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, that's why I switched to vodka. Vodka and a and a. Well, yeah, beer American drink. beer. Holy yeah, crap! I, that's Jeez. what I do. That's why I drink Dutch beer. <laughs> you guys need Canadian beer. It's harder. And chase it was. I, I do love water. a good Molson. Canadian beer uh, is is pretty darn good. It's the uh, oldest brewery in America. Is the Molson Brewery? Molson's it's not bad. 1963. Was it Labatt's? Oh, I thought it was Young Gun. 
Moosehead Brewers. Yingling, my friend. Yingling's up there. That's what I'm That's drinking. That's what I thought, Yingling. I only Moosehead really drink Brewers. Elsinore. My favorite is Elsinore. Founded no, no. by Susanna Oland of the Oland family in New Brunswick. Molson is a pretty good beer. I I, I actually like the uh, the export ale. I don't know if you can get that anymore, but it, was it pretty used good. to be pretty good beer. Yeah, not by Canadian standards. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You know what? I realized like where Canadian Spider Man go? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he might have got picked up. Uh, we will share. Yeah. I will share that when I'm done with the show. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's right supposed now. to back me up on this, man. Huh? Oh, me? I'm, I'm missing my Canadian wingman here. Uh, oh, <laughs> no! Canadian Spidey. Spider I know. I just, I just noticed, man like, where the hell go? Oh, man. I mean, he's I live, like, right I'm, I'm only, like, 400 miles south of the border. I could, I, I, mean, I, could ca I count as a Canadian. <laughs> my God. That's not something to brag about. Well, you know, at least my uh, the only thing I'll say is the only thing I, I'll say is uh, at least my father wasn't in Canada during the Vietnam War and he had some fucking balls. <laughs> yeah, true. Nah, you never abandon your country Canada. in its time of need. We gave Canada a beach on Normandy all to themselves. So yeah, we <laughs> all right, guys. Vamp for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and promote uh, Jedi Bill's karaoke. So after these yeah. messages, and also I need we'll to take a piss. We'll be right, I'll be right, right back. back. <laughs> you no, know, uh, the Canadian the Canadians really took a fucking beating in World War One. I. I don't think they ever had sufficient manpower to be a factor in World War Two. They were helpful. Know. They fought hard, but World they War One. It was the, the Canadian that brought down the Red Baron. It was a Canadian. It was an Australian ground fire that brought him down, but there was a Canadian pilot who told a fanciful tale. Yeah, the well, Canadians. The Canadians in World that. War II had like the uh, the uh, fourth biggest navy in the world at the time. Yeah. They were they were a big help. Yeah. Well, they were able to simulate a, a lot of ships. Yeah, but people need to remember uh, the C Canadians were given a small area of that beach in Normandy, and that right. little spot. It wasn't much, and there weren't many of them. But here's the thing: there's a spot yeah. just west of where they were called Point de Hoc. Yeah. That's where the first Rangers came in. Yeah, but that was the American Rangers, yeah. Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah. But what I'm getting at is, those we bees nests it. were shooting at the doggone Canadians while the Rangers flanked their ass. Yep. So somebody. A lot of Canadians you know, look, died, so I'm going to give well, credit for that one. The Canadians took a real beating Canadian. at Dieppe, though. I mean, they, I they really earned their uh, keep there. That's true. That's right. The experimental invasion where they – and one of the things they found out there is that life jackets are better worn around your arms than around your waist, where they capsized and killed most of the people who used them. See, that was an insane we getting, stupid way to lose guys. We were yeah, they also, they also learned not to invade there. a defended port. <laughs> yeah, that too. So – I think the best thing about the D-Day invasion is not like how it went down because they totally fucked it up. They landed at the wrong place. Every time we we staged an invasion of German territory, we managed to go where they were having maneuvers with their toughest troops. It happens again in uh, Operation Market Garden. But they're like on the beach getting shelled. Teddy Roosevelt and uh, Teddy Roosevelt Jr. and some other general are just like, we're like four miles away from where we're supposed to be in the middle of a minefield in front of like a fortress. And they were like, what do we do? And they're like, could we, we could pull off the beach and try it again. And they were like, like fuck that. We're going to start the war from right here. Great as what, what a line. What a line, though. However, <laughs> Jason Love says, Mr. Stark, I pick up some Tullamore Dew. Pretty decent. It's. It, in my opinion, it's just as good as Jameson for ten dollars cheaper. It is also the Irish whiskey brand of choice of Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth. So mm. you don't go wrong with that. Hey, the <laughs> MMA fighter, I tried that drink he promotes. It tastes like crap. Oh, of course. What drink? Oh, uh, that I'm Irish fighter. What's his name? I'm just looking on my phone that someone. There was a, a, a celebrity got attacked. That actress, um, what she got, she was stabbed. Um, what's it, Reese? What's her name? Um, man, nah. what are we talking about here? Is this recent? I don't know. 
Reese. I, I don't know. Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. No, Reese it was Witherspoon. Nice. Somebody I don't know personally. So that joke died a terrible death. No, the joke is Reese yes. Witherspoon. No, with a knife. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> Well, that that, that joke is oh. a better fade. I realize that is that bad. Bad. If you got to tell us it's a joke, it's pretty good. Uh, you know what I heard? I'll tell you what I heard. Uh, it's the best Alice kind Moore, of joke. Alice Alice to Moore is not stealing that one. <laughs> true radioactive, true. Are we talking about Freeway with uh, Keith or Southern? He's Canadian. Big? Freeway? Yeah, he's Canadian. I don't know that movie. What? Are you? Oh my God! Oh, the That's the one where he kicked out. Okay, yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Everybody, uh -oh. in, chat, yeah, everybody yeah. in the panel, y'all need to just watch that tonight while you're drinking. And I'm telling you, you're gonna freaking love it. That movie is crazy. Oh my is that God! Reese Witherspoon or is that a yeah. Witherspoon Silverstone? No, it's Who's Reese worse? Witherspoon <laughs> and Keith Sutherland. It's even got the. Uh, who is that Blue Lagoon chick? She's in it too. Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Shield. That movie is hilarious and it's crazy. And there's and it's one just... woman that I would like to watch jazzercising. It's Brooke Shields. Cheryl Teagues. Cheryl Teagues in here. Yeah, Cheryl Teagues, yeah. <laughs> Cheryl Teagues. I, got, I will give Brooke Shields this much credit. She was like, I mean, you can see how her career's worked out and her, as a model and as an actress. It's like, it really was smart to take four years off to go to college. So that you would have something to fall back on. Mm. <laughs> uh, what about Tony? Uh, I gotta get going. So all right, sir. Uh, things yeah, to see people to do. So. and I will forge you the money. And it's always great to see you, see you Mike. See that that work you're on, you're doing. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So if things go oh. well, you will definitely see something on Twitter, and uh, I'll be able to share a little sneak peek of what it looks like. So Maggie, can't go ahead, go ahead and give us a plug. Get out, and then you got to get me a commercial for your channel, mate. Mr. I know. I just been working so hard, dude. Just, I just been like <laughs> going and going and going and going and going. It's, <laughs> it's the Energizer Bunny, oh. folks. Don't stop. Oh <laughs> my god! I just, I, yeah, exactly. I feel like it, right? It's like, like, um, like I said before, like Indy said before. You know, it's not the years; it's the mileage. So, mm. Right. I just feel like my tires are bare. Um, yeah, so some of you guys might know me. Uh, I am about 50 away from a thousand subscribers on my channel. Yes, he is. Yes, he Holy is. crap. Like, God, unbelievable. God, God, God. You got to send know? some of them my way. <laughs> I will. So, uh, that being said, she if you it. haven't subscribed just yet, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, because when I hit 1,000, I will have some sort of giveaway, exactly like what I've done when I did uh, 250 subscribers and 500 and 750, and then when I got monetized as well. So I will do that once I hit 1,000, because I just like to share the love, because that's the kind of guy that I am. So uh, I am henceforth putting the link in the description. And uh, if you I can... you are rich. I, oh, I was you in there several times, comic. I put you in again. Oh, yes, you did. Reg okay, yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> Sorry, man. You got to remember, <laughs> sir, we got wrenches for this sort of things, huh? I yeah. know. Hey, I, I might know. be in the channel, but I'm I'm wrenching too, okay? <laughs> no problem. And a machine. Um, yes. yes, exactly. Because he is a machine. Um, oh. yeah. <laughs> he made me spit on my computer. <laughs> wow, I got the only one spit on my beer today. Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> Victory! Uh, if you guys, if you guys can check out my channel, if you haven't been there already, uh, I greatly appreciate it. We've got two shows going on titillating Tuesdays on Tuesdays. We've got a Friday Fridays going on. And then every once in a while, yeah, I'll I'll try again to get to like some member streams and stuff like that, and uh, and other videos that we release on top of that. You know, just talking about anything that's in comics and TV and movies and games and like everything nerdy that's going on, and some of the news that isn't exactly touched on by a lot of big YouTubers out there because there's a lot of stuff that is, you know, falling through the grates that nobody else is like touching up on or anything like that. So, you know, that's, that's why, that's why I'm there. So, you know, come on over, check me out, check everybody else that's out. 
uh you know we have a fun time and uh thank you tony for having me on i appreciate it it's a pleasure always it's good it was good to hang out with you happy saint patrick's day i hope it's a good one that's right happy saint patrick's day you All drunken right. bastards you yeah you you X. yes and x2 it's in the chat. All right, brother. You take it easy. All right, we are rounding uh, the end of the show. Uh, so uh, let's see. It's 5.08. We want to wrap this up at 5.30. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and pass what, it what around. The, what, oh, huh? you're talking about the time code. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's quarter after seven, you mad man. It's not 5.08. time code is confirmed. Um, yeah, it took me a moment. I'm like, I was looking at my computer and I'm like, what, what is this idiot talking about? And then I looked at your avatar and like, there's the time code. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, to Dark Helmets, good to see you. Your yeah. Muslim uncle just sent a $4.99 super chat. Uh, top three, uh, St. Pat song, uh, Rowan Town, The Foggy Dew, and Will You Come to the Bower? So... I tell you what, um, I do need Maybe. to maintain my voice, but before I you, will be on a karaoke you... stream, and I will f at least sing one of them there on Jedi Bills at ten o'clock. So I honestly, R.I.P. R.I.P. to to poor Senate O'Connor. Um, natural causes at fifty four. I don't. I, I I don't know about that one, but um, you know, at least she's like not suffering anymore. It was really. Really sad to lose Sinead O'Connor, RIP. It's not the same without her on St. Patrick's Day. And I believe we also didn't we lose Shane McGowan this year as well. So yeah. a tough year for the Irish Americans. Um, I went Thank to see the Pogues. Yes. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. And I got those. Sorry. Uh, got those. deserve your honorable mention. Yeah. All righty, oh. All right, so now we have made YouTube American again. There are no more Canadians <laughs> squatting on our, our YouTube site. Tony, you really need a you need a wall. <laughs> you need to build a wall. We gotta build this wall. It's gonna be a bigly huge wall. <laughs> It'll be the best wall ever. Honestly, best, I can't I can't say anything bad about about the, 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 Trump. He's, uh, honestly. I'll the, say so. Probably so well, I'm not saying it bad. I'm agreeing with something Yeah, extremely neutral. Right Here's something extremely neutral that has no political implications. One thing about Trump that was kind of interesting was if you observed him over time, he spoke in punk band names. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, he would rip off like an excellent punk band name, like somewhere in the middle of the sentence. Like there was like they, they said like he called some some country a shithole. <laughs> and like he responded that he didn't, and the re and and his response was house not hall, and I'm like, that's that's actually a that's a damn good punk band name. I would see house not hall, you know, I'd, I'd buy the T-shirt for house not hall. <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, your Muslim uncle, I have those songs queued up for. Uh, hopefully, there will be some matching karaoke tracks to go with them. And I will tackle at least one of them tonight on Jedi Bills for you and shout you out there, too. Thank you for the $4.99 super chat. It is helping keep the lights on at this tilted, hole-ridden tower in my no, radioactive I, health cave. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a good COVID, worker. He's a COVID good Relief worker. Crusader, if you keep threatening the United States like that, we won't come liberate you from your communist Cuban dictator. <laughs> Uh, I'm just happy to see Wes Cagle on the stream. I mean, he's like the king of lurkers. <laughs> oh, he's, he's the first. He's the this his first stream right here. Right. Okay, here. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. I've never seen him on a stream. I'm, that's no, my, no. But I'm always. He looking. made a promise. He uh, made a promise, and he kept it. We had a he few moments of Ray Lucard as well. That, honestly, that's, yeah, and that's the reason why I sent you a message, Tony. I was like, oh my God, Wes Cagle shit on the show. <laughs> I mean, he's the king a of man of his word. You can't yeah, can't yeah. knock a man of his word. I am honored that uh, my first uh, stream is uh, on your show, Tony. I'm happy to have you, and we hope that we can have you again. Reactor side chats are going to be a bit more few and far between in lieu of some more uh, genuine uploads so that I can increase the gap 
uh, between uh, what could very well be a copyright claim farm so that I can solidify my uh, memberships uh, and make sure that they're not taken away. Yeah. Um, so, yes, uh, it's been a long road, a long road indeed. But we are rounding uh, to the uh, last 17 minutes, uh, as it were, 16 and a half now. So it's hey, time to do our plugs, and then I think the ending song that I will sing tonight will be Lock Lomond. Then I am going to get something to eat, uh, rest my voice a little bit, and we hope to see you at Jedi Bills. So we'll start around the table. Uh, Admiral Teague, uh, what are you got coming uh, uh, hi, my name is Admiral Teague, and I'm a crazy idiot. With the power of stupidity, I will entertain you with my show, <laughs> where I come on, on usually on Tuesdays around noon Eastern time, a little after, and other times you can catch me on Fridays before Tooncock, and then intermittently. Last night we watched almost all of Masters of the Air. Uh, I am Admiral Teague. Uh, listen to my channel. The, the, the dignity you destroy may be your own. And my link is in the chat. And uh, I love you all. And thank you, Tony. Roger that. Roger <laughs> that. Okie dokie. Uh, Wes Cagle, welcome to the big leagues. You are now a streamer. It is time to get a brand. Plug it. <laughs> well, there's no brand. I mean, I had some, uh, some documentaries that were, uh, uh, absent from the uh, National Archives, but uh, YouTube kept gigging me, so I had to delete them all. So now there's just nothing but a few, a few, a few cat videos. <laughs> a few cat videos. Well, Catterday is a thing on the internet, and thank you again for letting us uh, <laughs> pop your streaming cherry, and we hope that we can hang out with you a lot more in the future. You're always a ride in the chats. You're amazing at what you do. I'm glad that you gave Hasbin Hotel a second shot and saw that it wasn't as bad. And I was happy to actually perform those songs for you. It's like, finally, no protests. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, Disney Sheep Herder. Hey, How's the uh, herd? The herd is awesome. I'm, I'm telling you, man. Uh, I make the absolute worst videos on YouTube. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> my, my it's surprise. It's out of my lane. Hey, I'm telling you, my su subscriber account just went over 3,000. That's and, nice. Uh, yeah, well, it's all because of the sheep videos. Hell, 1,500 of them are from Ireland. Because uh. so, yeah, you can check your <laughs> analytics to see where everybody's from. And I got like 52% from Ireland. So I guess they love sheep videos. Hail to Big Dave K. Arrived late. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not trying to plug anything because uh, I think I got too many because I guess they expect me to put videos out all the time. And, <laughs> that's, what, that's, uh, that, I, that's what YouTube does. If they see a profit margin, they will milk you for it. Yeah, and I get emails and texts and it's kind of crazy. Uh, I, I, I'm having fun with it, but I, I don't think, I think it's, I'm, I'm above, I'm going past my pay grade right now. Right. <laughs> So yeah. and I don't do live streams. I, I get on with y'all occasionally, but uh, so I'm, I'm just probably hurting there. there. Well, that's what a reactor side chat is. It's just a bunch of guys shooting the shit, you know. Occasionally, we have some of the feminine persuasion on. Shout out to Scarlet Fever and Mary Ashby, the Queen of the Wrenches. It was um, yeah. amazing. I believe your membership was given to you, uh, Big Dave K, by Radioactive. So uh, you got no, that. No, uh, little, you that. got that strontium ninety from him. Uh, so be sure to not wash that out of your hair and let that just settle in your scalp for a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, uh, with that stated, I'm going to go ahead and I will sing us out. We'll do Lock Lomond, and then we will always do our radio uh, sign-offs as normal, where we will the play real, the real anthem. Yes, before, never, before, forget the anthem. never forget before the anthem. Never forget the anthem. Huh? Before you sing, I hit I hit a milestone. Thank you for 777 subscribers. I appreciate you all. Oh, I'm gonna go you play one the lottery. Congratulations! Yeah, you're lottery jackpot. Thanks to everybody jackpot. making me the luckiest host in all of YouTube. I love you all. All right, let's go ahead and sing this tune and get out of here because Lord knows I'm gonna need my voice later, <clears throat> especially if I'm screaming Irish punk, swallowing the mic, right? <laughs> 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 <clears throat> All right, a little Loch Lomond is Scottish, but I suppose it's on the same 
same bit of dirt. So. <clears throat> A my on bonny banks and my on bonny braes, where the sun shines bright on the hoyaman, where me and me true love were ever one to gay, on the bonny bonny banks, oh the hoyaman, I'd ye talk the high road and I'll talk the low road. I'll be in Scotland afar ye, but me and me true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks, oh la la, man. Twas there that we parted in yon shady glen on the steep, steep side, oh ben man, where in a purple hue. The highland hills we view, and the moon coming out in the glory, man. Or ye talk the high road, and I'll talk the low road. I'll be in Scotland afar ye, but me and me true love will never meet again. On the bonny, bonny banks, oh, la, la, man, the wee bear to sing on the wild flower spring, and in sunshine the waters are sleeping, but the broken hearted canes nigh a second spring, though the wife who must cease fry the greeting. Are ye take the high road, and I'll take the low road. I'll be in Scotland afar ye, but me and me true love will never meet again. On the bonny, bonny banks, oh la la. Body Banks of Loch Lomond, and uh, a very, very happy St. Patrick's Day to each and every one of you. Thank you guys for all of your support. Your Muslim uncle says, Is it getting That's foggy right. in here? Missed me eyes for the only live music I might hear the Saints Pops. Hey, tell me. I, yes, yes. Do you have like uh, one more minute for one more song, and I'll do something for uh, St. Patrick's Day so that it will at least be. Irish? Well, I sung my Irish ditties earlier. Oh, I missed. I missed the. I I heard some of them, but I could I could do one if you want, or we could do it later. It doesn't matter to me. Well, I figured we was just gonna hang out at Jedi Bills and get all of that out. But if you want to do one, we can. Uh, Saber the Doom Squirrel says, "Cool. Next time I will sing that song as intended. My version is good. Thank you." And. <laughs> You could just say thank you. I'm right here. <laughs> right here, I'm, Disney I'm, sheep. Right, right here. Here we go. I'm going to do one verse of the most violent national anthem ever. You ready? Oh no! This makes this makes the Star Spangled Banner look like a song about taking your kid to Disneyland. Actually, that might not be that peaceful either. We'll sing a song, a soldier song, with cheering, rousing chorus. As round our blazing fires we throng the starry heavens o'er us, impatient for the coming fight. And as we wait the morning's light, here in the silence of the night will chant a soldier song. Soldiers are we whose lives are pledged to Ireland. Some have come from a land beyond the waves, sworn to be free. No more ancient silent shall shelter the despot or the slave. 
tonight we man the battlements go errands cause come woe or we'll mid cannons roar and rifles peel we'll sing a soldier's song thank you wow. all right that's wow. all my friends in the republic of ireland Oh, the Irish right, national dude. anthem, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thought he's going to sing the black and tan song since Big Dave K. All right. <laughs> well, uh, Britannia, celebrate St. Patrick's <laughs> All right. Okay. The, so most of the Beatles were Irish. Liverpool is a big Irish town. Paul McCartney. That's not not a coincidence. <laughs> we wish you all a wonderful and jubilant St. Patrick's Day. We recommend that you drink responsibly. Please get an Uber. Do not drive yourself. Have fun. And most importantly, make sure that you don't hurt yourself. Because a lot yeah, or of anyone people, else. Or anyone else. So with be, that be stated, I like to recognize the broadcasting methodologies of old. First with radio and then with cable television. So with my Franklin Delano Roosevelt, I shall finally say good night to America and all the ships at sea.